Ideally, this November, I would like to have more hours than I've ever had. So, let's go. Ready? And... Alright, let's see. Ending A. And it's correct? I try to be correct. I try to be. Exactly, Mars. Oh, yeah, hold on. I forget Twitch chat. So, we actually do resets until we get to the, uh, the beginning. Once you get to a key, then we go from over there. Thank you, Misupa. Thank you, Dalu. I, I try to be correct. I like... I don't know. I, I like my job. I like what I do. I'm doing good, Rosalind. Hope you have Oh, I don't spell here. We gotta run. All right, chat. No reset starting now. I'll put on my hat later. Yeah, I've already done 5th I've already done, like, a fourth of my hours in the first... I guess, you know, that makes sense. In the first five days, I've done a fourth. It looks like Squall today. Probably because I've actually kind of been enjoying having my hair be down long. I don't know. It's getting cold again, so it's not super bad. Also, I haven't in here. Hope you're doing good. All endings require that key, yes. Also, I hope you can hear the game okay. Hopefully, it's not too loud. Um, Clock Tower is weird. This is the only game I have to play on my TV. Because the audio is out of sync if I don't do that. No, I need to get everything hooked up. Oh, yeah, Selena. Like, all right, if I dressed up like an Uncle Sam or a Bandit Keith, like... Do you think that would go over well, or is that bad? I wanna- I wanna come up as very American, because I don't know any Americans who have been in RT in Japan. Like, I don't actually know. In America! Because <laughs> Punchy was British. Okay, okay. So it's fine? I, but now I'm actually in the thick of it! You know, now I'm actually kind of there, you know? Pan loves the American stereotype. Okay, okay. No, you don't want to be a cowboy. What about Kakona? Hey, brother. There's a reason Bandicoot exists. I'll have their asses off. Okay, okay, okay. Why would I dress up like Colonel Sanders? Wait, did I get God RNG? No. 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 There's no way in hell I got the God RNG. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell. No, there's no way in hell I got it. Is Bandit Ignatius happening? Yes. Down American from Siren? Oh, they won't get it. If I was running Siren, that would make more sense. I'm not running Siren, I'm running Dead Rising. Oh, yeah, I guess KFC is a Christmas over there. You're actually right, hold on. Okay, thank God. No, no I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, good RNG, but not God RNG. Alright, we're good. No, no, this is good. This is good. Uh, getting God RNG means I would be pissed because it means I threw away a 1 in 80 chance on a fucking no reset. Alright, didn't get it anyway. Alright, well, that's why I run this category. Alright, you know, this actually isn't a bad spot to be in, though. In France. Why France? This was Hulk Hogan. I want to wear, like, a full-blown American suit or something like that. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, I gotta think about how I wanna do it. And I have to talk to, like I said, I'll have to talk to Selena about the how Dead Rising works and just some ideas. No, I'm not gonna mount a fake gun on the wall behind me. Oh, I think it would be funny to keep the French flag behind me. Because then people are gonna wonder, why is he dressed as an American, but why is there a French flag? And then, uh, my favorite part of, uh, again, chat, my favorite joke about the French flag is, it's not really a joke, it's sort of the case. I'm not French. I am literally 0% French. I have no French blood. Nice. Nice stuff. So. It should be interesting. No, I'm not gonna do face paint. Something wrong calling, I do not know. I want to learn about any faux pas. That's the main thing. I have to learn about basic etiquette, I suppose. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, well, isn't there something like, I, ha uh, I have to introduce myself as Watashiwa Ekudi? One, because my name's a bitch pronounced, and my actual, I, oh, chat, I learned. To say my name in Japanese, like, Ekudi Shisu, but, like, that's not the case. Well, I thought there was a difference between, like, uh, some of the other ones, because there are certain eras of formality. 
Yeah, Ekudai, Ekudi, Shisu. But Ekudi is what everyone calls me, because, you know, the, the ending is a bitch to pronounce, and it's not really natural. So everyone just calls me Ekudi. Yeah, Ekudi. Because whenever I get called up by anyone, it's just Ekudi. I did tw I did that already, Jables. That's how I know I'm 0% French. I don't know what I'm a quarter of. I'm a quarter Native American. Right, right. That's what I learned, but, like, the problem is I thought Boku, like, Bokuwa was a certain era, like, area of, like, respect. Like, you need to be, like... It's very confident or some shit like that, right? Or is that Orewa? I don't know. Again, that doesn't mean anything. It just means I have blood. No, I know what that means, Manicor. No. Already, yeah, already is very informal. I know I can't use that one. Yeah, yeah, I know I can't use that one. I was gonna use with Tashiwa. Tashiwa Ekudi. No, I would say Ekudi. No, not Koriwa. Ori, Oriwa. That's very informal. Like, hey, like that. You know. I do have blood, that's it. I thought it'd be Watashi wa Ekudi. That, that, that's simple. Oh well, yeah, I'd be formal because I'm introducing myself in an event, right? Also, I... Alright, I think they would look at me and go, Ah, yes. This guy... Is definitely, you know, not going to know. Does he know? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble for saying Watashiwa. Don't be afraid. I, I'm not even going to be using the Gaijin card. I am the Gaijin card. Look at me! Look at me! Even currently! Gaijin card only works I don't look Asian? I don't look Asian! I was doing bloody fangs and freckles. Hope you're doing good today. No, that one says you're already dead. So. Yeah, I don't think anyone's expecting perfection from me. Which is, I'm A-OK -okay with. I just... Exactly. Be polite and be formal. There we go. Kind of lurks with peace and quiet. Well, hopefully you're, uh, hopefully you get some peace and quiet. Well, no, I'm gonna be doing it from my house. I don't even worry about anything like that. Just started. Uh, I've been announcing the exciting news that I am going to be participating in the Winter RT in Japan speedrunning events. Uh, I'm going to be uh, doing a speedrun of Dead Rising over there. Well, not over there. I'll be remote. I'll be doing it from my own home. But I will be on the RTA in Japan screen. And, uh... Yeah. I get to I get be in Japan. I get to be in the uh, Japanese speedrunning uh, community, in a way. Be formal? Uh, exactly. Be polite and formal. Then at the end of the run, shotgun a beer, crush the can, and shoot a bottle rocket on my window. Very plan. When's my run? The schedule's gonna be out on the 13th, I think. So we'll 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 know soon. Oh god, I messed up the thing. And chat, you know damn well I'll have to be Budweiser, the king of beers. I miss the dialogue skip shit. Yeah, they do. Uh our team Japan's fucking huge, by the way. If you do not know chat. The event is massive these days. So, like not adding light? No, no, no. You need, like, you need stereotypically American. No, no, I wouldn't... You wouldn't be able to tell about sake. Unless I just had a bottle of sake oh. or a cup. Yeah, RTA Japan got large. They're a big event. A really big event. Primal work? That's all good, Ros uh, Rosalind. Question. Did you use it recently? 
Which game did I get in? Dead Rising, all things. Is there a channel link to them? Uh, yeah, there should be. Um, I saw it uh, for RT in Japan. Um, they should be on Twitch. I'll link it day of as well. Well, you have to do Budweiser. Like, if you're doing American beer, you gotta do Budweiser. I don't have Strong Zero. I'd be down to drink Strong Zero if I don't have Strong Zero. Two years ago recent? Oh. No. I was gonna say that, um, what's the word? Um, for Prime, sometimes if you use it, like, and you're right on the, like, the day that it ran out from one side and was renewed again, it could have issues. Correct. It is specifically only in Japan and, you know, a lot of the, uh, I think the Southeast Asian area. Are you getting a strong zero this month if you meet up? Yes. Let me know when exactly what day you had in mind, by the way. I'm gonna for the next two weeks, alright, I think it's I think next weekend. Bring a ton of you? Oh hell yeah. Fuck yeah, okay. I'm down. I'm oh there you go. I am absolutely fucking down. Thank you, little crow. We yeah, had Twitch chats. Uh, I might be meeting with Selena sometime this month. Get to say hello. And then I'll tell her all about uh, RT in Japan. I'll tell her the, how Dead Rising will go. Why is the ETA 10 hours? I'm doing every Clock Tower game and spin off. Or the Lady of the Knife go? Oh, she just vanishes. Trying with Mannequin, they've been with Tier 1 for 28 months. Enjoy the emotes so, and the scissors once again. The thank game. you very much. Hope you're having a great day. Evil. Yep. Hey, I do some long streams. There's some long categories. So. It is the fun stuff. Right, so you chug a strong zero. I do want to chug a strong zero. But, I mean, even then, though, it wouldn't make sense for me to drink strong zero because I'm an American. It would make more sense for me to drink uh, Budweiser. Because American. I mean, it would be funny for me to whip out a strong zero. I mean on stream. I mean on stream. I mean on stream specifically. But also, it's more the fact of after trying strong zero, do I really want to, uh, what's the word? No, no, no. You want to think absolute stereotypical American. Chat. There's one answer to stereotypical American. Like if some, if you have another country looking in. I have no idea. I don't know. See, I want to ask Swordfish, Selena. I want to ask Swordfish. The answer? Oh, it's awesome. I love doing this with salt. The answer, Budweiser. Easily Budweiser. Burgers and Budweiser. Burgers is also the answer, yes. Where's my gun? I can't do guns for multiple reasons. Also, I don't want to I don't want to do guns. I don't, I don't want to seem uh, entirely unhinged. Hi, Vatake. Uh Kan Bonwa, Genki Des. Oh no, again. People outside of America assume all Americans drink Budweiser. That is the case. Trust me. And then they'll call it piss water. No, craft beer is not the true option, because then you have some random beer that just says, like, I don't know, uh, goat citrus, I don't know. But light also work well again. That's still an offshoot of Budweiser. Oh no, full full Amer full full American is definitely gonna be Budweiser right there. South American drinking Budweiser right now. Wait, I never got the staff. Uh, Coors? No, not Coors. Again, chat. I'm going for most absolute stereotypical. No, they won't understand the Natterday. I gotta go for a Budweiser with American bandana or something. American beanie or hat. Yeah, you told me that, I think. I'll have to try. Although, I can't only. Really, I, I usually posting in Discord is usually better because I can check it out there. And then the music channel. I have an American flag in the background. I like the French flag, though. It's a nice flag. Alright, there we go.
But yeah, Bathake, I'm uh, planning for RTA in Japan. Uh, I'm thinking of what I want to do. No, I'm not doing the Confederate flag. No, 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 no. I don't want to. No, no, I don't want to go that. I don't want to go like that. No, no. There's a multitude of issues with that one. I'm not gonna do that one. Also, I live in California. R regular American flag. I want. I want the red, white, and blue. No. You drink or not social events? Same Mars. Same. By the way, this isn't me hating IPAs or anything. It's the idea that I've, you know... No, I no, I get what they're saying. I get what they're saying, because, you know, it's full of Kakona, is the thing. But that's, again, a different subsect of Kakona that's a little bit different and won't be nationally known either. Also, the other whole myriad of issues that would come from... Just pretty much, yeah, no, no, we're not, no, we're not doing that. You need the bandana. You need to look like Bandit Keith. Oh, oh, hold on, wrong one. There. No, chat, no guns, no guns, no guns on Twitch, no. Congrats. Thank you, about the gay. Uh, I'm getting, uh, Selena to help with commentary, and I need to learn Japanese. If Bandit Keith is good, chat, the rest of the idea is no, no. Also, I love, I love the, I love the OG Kakona, it's fucking great. He brings me such joy. Yes, I'll be told the Hongu Jozu. That will, that's what will happen, chat. No, I should be fine. I should be fine. I'll figure it out. Chat, we're not going to have any guns. No, stop suggesting guns. It's actually a TOS issue at that point. And if, if anything's gonna be TOS, no. The answer is no. Just assume no. So. I already have the idea. Also, no, Bandit Keith is better. You do the Bandit Keith. It is unknown the growl. It is. No, I'm not doing the camo vest. Again, chat, I already said, I'm, I, I plan, I, I want to dress like Bandit Keith. That's it. The outfit's already there. That's already a full outfit. That's, there's nothing else that needs to be added to that. Everyone knows fucking Bandit Keith. Are you sure they can see my blue? See, that's a good one, Barrel Hogs. I like that one. There we go. We're all, we're all settled on that. Good? Yes. see my wrists. They're not gonna see my pants even. They're only gonna see like this. The most they'll see is like my upper body. Now realistically, I could probably even wear my current outfit and then put an American bandana on. I might just do that. I might just wear a bandana. Again, they're not going to see my ass. How would they know they're assless chaps and why would they need to see chaps? For the authenticity. Ah, yes, they'll be able to tell. Wait a minute, that man isn't wearing assless chaps. I can't believe it. All chaps are assless. You know, you're right, Bozomaniac. You're right. All chaps are assless. By the way, the point of being is I don't really... I don't really have to mind. I was in Whalers on the Moon, and they carry a harpoon. Oh god, chat. Oh god. Oh god. Again, chat, you barely see my legs. Even if, even if I stand up, you don't even see my legs. You see like up to like here. 
to hear or so. You're not going to see my legs. I want to sit all in the back. Let's go back on my ass. It's going? No. I don't know roads to go. I got uh, rammed consistently. You can spam a dicey ram for how it went. Chat. Let unknown the growth know how roll roads went. Spam ram. Anyway, hey look, chat. Hey look, we saved Laura. Oh no, she's actually alive. I can't believe it. What a happy ending. I'm sure nothing bad will happen this time. One of the kids is the Sis Man in the second game. God damn it, Roz, you can't just sit. God damn it. You know, now I'm going to do the same to everyone else. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I jinxed it. Oh, apparently I did. Get rattled. Rattle them, boys. Anyway, let's go. Minute later, you got the platform. Good times. Good time. How many squats are you doing today? Today is Sunday, so none. I do squats on Tuesdays. So, are we rattling? Rattle, boys. Apparently, I'm being rattled, so. Oh no, I got the orange Jennifer. How horrifying. Yep. The big demon baby is the. Scissor Man and PS1. This series is convoluted and kind of weird. Fun, but that's a good way of putting it. Exactly, Mars. Oh, dang it, the key shit. Okay, fine. Well, Twitch chat, right now, uh, we're just going to be running to go to a room that doesn't really matter. It's going to be a much longer uh, run around. So, I need to play an ad in the next uh, few minutes because ad incentive deal, and it'll save for the next hour. I guess I'll do it now? Just because we're not doing the regular tech here, I have to wait because I didn't get the good RNG. So this will hopefully bypass that. By the time you come back, we'll probably be approaching the library. You'll know Demon Owl RNG. So. If you want to avoid the ad, Twitch block. Wait, ad block, Twitch turbo, or consider subbing to the channel. All of these work. Uh, as, as always, if you have a sub to the channel, you're not going to see an ad, so. All right. Anyway, I'm going to play it now. We're, it's just going to be shit like this. We're just waiting. We're going to be escaping Bobby. It's something uh, amazing. So. All right. Playing it now. Hey, you can't call me a cell unless you're paying me money. Hold on. Hold on. Exactly. I forgot. At the moment they were left, they, uh... What's the word? There we I can literally actively type. That's what we're doing. What are you missing? Nothing. As a man, made man. Also, yes, the standard rules. You don't call me a salad, you have to pay. I'm gonna wait for them then to get back. Do soccer games even need ads? I don't know about soccer games. Why soccer games? Oh, they're, oh, I see. They're talking about the ads they got. Anyway, Twitch app. So you're going to see something that kind of sucks. 
Why are kids so fun in terms of look? Uh, okay, this is gonna be kind of dark. Uh, what's the word? They're never meant to be alive. That's uh, one more minute. So that's the case, Blue Blazer. They were never meant to be alive. Yeah, uh, they were born under a blood moon and they're kind of demon children. Hey, apparently the next blood moon's in 2025. Full news. Wait, what's the Papa John's ad? I don't know what that one is. That doesn't start NATO. Also, I mean, some parts I don't do any Lord of the Salt. It's pretty chill, you know? Uh, I want to have greetings, and I want to be able to say... I'm not going to talk for the full round, but I want to talk about some sections. Definitely some parts of the run I want to talk. Howdy. There's a Blood Moon Tuesday? I thought this was on Twitter, like, I'll have, like, a full Blood Moon. Is there actually Blood Moon on Tuesday? Because so, it's fucking awesome in that case. I only heard about the one happening in 2025. Or is it one's not happening? Yeah? Blood Moon and Eclipse? Son of a bitch! Never mind then, I'm glad I brought it up. I want to see a Blood Moon. Okay, fuck yeah. Never mind, Chef. Apparently one's happening on- oh, shit, this way. That's fine. Gotcha. Okay, the next one after is 2025. Anyway, welcome back. Wow, you literally missed nothing. You know why? Because I didn't get the good RNG, meaning I had to wait. This is what happens every now and again in the run. It's kind of unfortunate that these things happen. Also, all right, now that we're the Hunter's Room. A Hunter's Room. Oh, of course. You go for mute ASAP. I gotcha. Let's check eating pepperoni from pizza and getting God Gamer powers. Hold on, let's do this. Okay. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I remember why I'm waiting. Hold on. That's right. Four percent chance of the apocalypse. We'll see, JFE, we'll see. And I wanna see alright, cool. I already tried the blood moon then. Alright, but no, no. Alright, if you wanna insult me, the the age old rule is you have to pay me. Unless you, you, unless you keep getting timed out. And then depending on how the level of insult goes, it may, to be here. I don't know, go worse. To your speed oh, boy, course. they were the tier one for 12 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors once again, and now they're golden. So thank you very much. Hope you have a normal day. Yeah, it's good stuff. Hope you're doing good. Also, no, it's like $5. Yeah, Ken, people love the, uh, the clock tower. Harsh but fair windmill. No, Pokemon Go gives to not count as payment, because I don't open half of them, I get. How far can the insults be? Well, it depends. I love have good neutral game, that's nice. Do you get four insults? I mean, you could if you want to, Cabela. What is it with 1k? What do you mean 1k? I don't follow, actually, on that one. Who said 1k? I, I saw $8. Does that mean that? But yes. Oh, good thing I missed that, by the way. Someone donates 1k. It's literally just if you're subbed. If you're subbed, you're allowed to be more cheeky. If you're not subbed, then, like, that's it. Hell, even if you're following, you're allowed to be more cheeky to a degree. So, it all depends. That was a good trade. I hope you're doing good. Maybe moving soon? Wow, I can't believe it. What I've been telling you to do so you don't have to drive how far away? I'm happy that you're actually... Wait, you're moving closer to your job, right? I'm not going to say where that is. Cause I don't want to dox you, but you're actually moving closer to your job now, right? I'm glad to hear that. I've been telling you to do that for a while now. 
Not just sending out can you. Oh, I forgot to push the button. It's fine. It's like two seconds. Don't worry. Nothing wrong with that, Snoctosis. Nothing wrong with that. How's those accents? Are we doing good? Any pun if you're not subbed? Eh, it depends on the pun. No, I cannot cheat. Uh, no, I'm not going to cheek Twitch chat. No, that one doesn't work anymore because I don't. Oh my god, I'm missing every single one. That one doesn't work as much anymore, Stark NATO, because I don't have the hair. My hair is really long now. Doing all right, can't complain. Sucks to suck? Wait, you mean for this one? Why? You sure you want it for this one? It's only gonna last it's only really gonna last until next time we do this. If you really want it, sure, but are you positive? I do this at most maybe one or every two months. And as well, I think the situational uh thing for this ending is going to might it might go away in a little bit. I'm not opposed, but up to you. All right, one on. I'll even edit it while moving. All right, uh, go. All righty. You got it. Thank you for the follow, by the way. So I was thinking about Malcolm Mew, I don't miss the newest test scene in the drive watch the Sunset each day. It's the cheeky ending? No. Alright, cool. Yeah, if you're happy with it, I'll take those points. Oh. 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 I'm to drive, you just go straight after the move like 30. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Or, or hear me out. Oh, actually, if you're actually moving, that's good. I'm assuming you're renting a place. Is there a way to lower her panic meter? It doesn't, her panic meter doesn't really matter too much in this game. It's more of a minor thing than anything. There's a lot of stated effects, but honestly, they don't really make a difference. I think the only thing is you have a chance of immediately dying if you get caught. Oh, there you go, Katrina. Sounds like a good time. Battle place up north for 1100 a month. There you go. And you know, I'm happy. You no longer have to drive 70 fucking miles. 70 fucking miles. I prefer to buy a place. Hey, I might look into buying a place uh, sometime in 20 next month. Why do you want to sort of watch me eat a burger? One, two, dread. Are you trying? Are you trying? Are you trying? Are you trying to put my savings in shambles? Are you, are you trying to... Yes? Oh, no. Now, you have to understand, the Five Guys meme is not me eating a burger fast. It's actually me destroying my savings. What a waste of food? I also think eating Five Guys is a waste of food. <laughs> Oh god. Hey. Uh, <laughs> all right, Twitch chat. I had to take out a loan to buy this sandwich, but you know what? I really did it. Are you referring to? I mean, mukbang. It's more of the traditional mukbang, not me eating a burger. I guess it's more. It's a more of. It's, I thought I'd just eat a burger on stream. That's all it means. I'm gonna eat it. I'm a slow eater. I do not eat fast that much right now. I'd probably eat it at moderate pace, in all honesty. Why would I move so I could have more space, independence, and I'm also, I don't know, getting older? Also, you know, I kind of like the idea of having my own place. Nothing wrong with living at home. I actually don't mind waiting. But I, I feel like that's the, uh, you know, that's the goal, right? You're supposed to eventually build a, I don't know, I'd rather eat sushi any day over five guys. I literally devoured, like, a fuck ton of sushi the other day. I love sushi. I will devour that easily.
Yeah, having my own place is nice. Actually, the idea I have too, uh, is because I was talking to my mom about it. I have, I'm really, I'm really, really, and sell by your work. I'm not moving over there. I'm not moving over there. There's nothing that goes on over there. No, 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 no. I'm staying. I'm staying. No, 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 no. I know I barely leave the house. When I do leave the house, I don't have to drive 70 miles. How many back in the country of the maze birds are $20? No sushi. I like sushi, though. In and out's fun. I like In and Out. Oh yeah, I guess you do. I guess I would be near Santa Barbara, wouldn't it? Oh, I need this stuff. You know, you do raise a strong point, but I feel like I'd want to live closer to Santa Barbara at that point, huh? If I wanted to live near Santa Barbara, I'd rather just. Also, Santa Barbara's expensive. Is as good as people say? It's good, but also the thing is, it's not as good as people hype it up to be. I'm saying this is someone who's from California, who loves In-N-Out. The idea, the matter of fact, is it's very convenient, usually pretty e easy to get, and also, uh, for the most part, it is going to be on the cheaper end of burgers. So you can get a whole combo for, like, I think these days it's probably, it's probably off a bit due to inflation, but it's more like 12 bucks now. But you can get, like, a whole combo for a reasonable price. That's pretty fucking solid. It's solid. Whataburger is a different feel. I'll say this right now. Having have tried both Whataburger and In-N-Out, Whataburger is more re resemblant to another California brand named Tommy's. Uh, the burgers taste really similar. I'm not even kidding. If you're from California, you know about Tommy's? Whataburger is just like Tommy's, but without the chili. It's almost exactly 12 bucks for a burger drink and fries. Yep. I mean, it used to be 10, but you know, inflation and all that. It's all fast food. Yeah, it's fast food. I like Whataburger though. Whataburger's good. I thought it was really solid. So. And although the lines are definitely accurate. Not exactly easy to get most of the time. Well, it depends on when you get it. It depends when you get it. Like, usually I don't have too many problems with some going during like a really packed time of day. Which, yeah, lunch rush? Oh, yeah. San Francisco is always crowded. That's a different problem entirely. That's called being in San Francisco. By the way, I might be, uh... Alright, so, uh, chat, I was saying, alright, so I, was... I have my thought for a moment. I don't know. I, I'm not confirmed on anything yet, but I might try talking with, uh, I might see if I might live with my brother, actually. I live in Los Angeles, though. I know about the hats. Every single time, uh, God, who is it? Vato. Darth Vato. They always say, oh, I got gravy fries from the hat for you. I got gravy fries from the hat for you. The problem is I don't eat that much food. But also, at this point, the thing is, they're not, they're not going to give me any gravy fries anyway. How the fuck would they give me gravy fries? They have to know where I live. I'm not going to dox myself. So at this point, it is I don't have any. I can send them a P.O. box. So. But no, I, I guess I, the more I hear the hat. I like the hat. Just, you know, it's the, I keep offering it. I'm always confused. I have been to the Heart Attack Grill. It is, it is incredibly mid. It worse is actually a good answer. It's mid. It's it's okay. If you don't eat bacon, it's, it's mid. It's more for the novelty. And free food if you weigh over 380 pounds. I don't want to move to the middle of nowhere in Canada. I want to stay on the west coast of the United States. Probably my plans are California, Colorado, Oregon, or Washington. Those are my four plants. Why? I like the West Coast. Nevada's cool, but it's too hot. And also, I don't really feel like how... I don't know how I feel about living in Vegas. I feel like I could roll over on Vegas. But again, I don't know how I feel about living in Vegas. I feel like Vegas is... I feel like it's too much. Too, too chaotic. I, I don't think I could be a Vegas guy, you know? I don't think Vegas is bad. It's just because I know a lot of cool people who live in Vegas. But it's just... I, I don't think I can be a Vegas guy. I don't know if I have the... Jam. I like Vegas and run out of water. I currently live somewhere running out of water. We're in droughts. Several droughts. 
Alabama is not on the East Coast. No. Everything about that sentence, every single part of that sentence, Starknado, is uh, just absolutely terrible. Every single letter and symbol in that sentence. No, I do not like that idea, no. Wait, did I talk to the girl? I did, I did. I don't live in Alabama. Down the West Coast. Well, it's co-opted with Alabama. You have to understand, I don't live in Alabama. No offense, people live in Alabama, but I want to live on the West Coast. So. I've been to Texas, but I don't want to live in Texas. That's okay. I kind of mentioned the whole idea for Vegas. I, I, don't, I don't think I'm a Vegas guy. I don't think I could be a Vegas man. And then Arizona's too fuck. Arizona's too fuck. Been to Arizona. It is. I, there's some cool people in out there. But... Hey, there was a study done recently. If you live in California, you pay, I think, equal taxes to a person in middle class Texas. There was a study done recently. I saw that. I saw that. It's only at the peak, peak level where you're kind of. Do I look like I'm peak? I look like a fucking bum. Don't come here to Hawaii. Hawaii sounds cool, but the most I'd want to visit, but even then I'd only want to visit because I have a couple of friends out there, I think. Um, I've had one friend I've talked to for years, and I would like to meet her at some point. higher taxes it just you know it, it, it's a weird spread of things yeah it's different it's different types it's different types i think i don't know the exact study because i'm not gonna lie to you i i don't know but uh yeah a friend in alabama don't you want to come visit do i you're referring to you right i mean i've talked to this person since like high school over League of Legends, and I still talk to them. I've known them for years. Please don't come to Alabama. I'm not trying to go to Alabama! I don't want to go to Al- Oh, wait, let me start I'm not trying to go to Alabama! The only thing I know about Alabama is that I think Starknado lives there. A couple people in chat might live there. And then, uh, what's the word? The Forrest Gump had lived in Alabama. No, I want to stay on the West Coast. I like my time zone. I like PST. And I'm buying that clock tower print. Wait, which one? We are, Lupus. We are. Isn't NASCAR, like, the whole nation? I, I, thought, I don't think they're limited to the South, are they? At the end then, I feel like NASCAR, I more just want to see if I can ever... Uh, you go to get drunk and watch people crash cars, right? Holy shit, chat, I have one fun NASCAR fact I saw. There was one fucking hilarious thing. It is the greatest shit. Turn left? No. Why do you want me to turn left? No. I want to turn left now. Why? Okay, chat. Someone, there was a NASCAR racer recently, and apparently he qualified for some really big race. Oh, here, you can... One turn left. Go in here. Okay. One turn left. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I see, okay, okay. I gotcha, I, I'm, I'm dummy, I'm dummy. Yeah, the GameCube man. So, some guy said he he learned a strategy that worked on the Nintendo GameCube racing game. And he, he literally rode the wall and he qualified for like some big fucking race. Now, if you're wondering what that means, normally NASCAR is, you know, you're, you're turning left into like a loop. What he fucking did, it is Mr. Dusan. He apparently went into the highest gear possible, which notably, if you try, uh, if you try to, you know, going at the fastest speed, it's almost impossible to actually steer because you're going so fucking fast. So what he did, he cranked it to fifth gear. He cranked it to the fucking maximum speed, and then he did a road full wall. <laughs> You can find the clip online. You can look at like NASCAR GameCube or some shit. 
I think it's Signalis. Literally some cinema, April. I'm, I'm gonna speed run soon. Yep, he said it worked on the Nintendo GameCube, so he wanted to try it out in real life. Some brutal on the engine? I mean, that's... They're trying to win. He gets into the ears of the flippiest car. <laughs> it's the dumbest strap, and it ain't dumb if it works. Again, chat, this is NASCAR. You're kind of meant to do that. Is there a link to that? Uh, I don't have one on hand, but I guarantee if you look up, like, GameCube NASCAR or some shit, you'll find it. Well, I mean, I've been hyping up Signalis for literal years now, so Sam. I have been absolutely fucking hype. I've been all in on Signalis. Ross Chase in the last lap of the race gained five positions in the final turn. It's wild. Have a good day at work, man. Accord. Yeah, we'll be going long today, so be a good time. Now that everyone else has found full of shit. Hey, okay, okay, never mind then. Cause I, I know California taxes are expensive. I was like, wait, are they in comparison? Let's see. Uh, hold on. Okay, okay, that's the answer now. But yeah, although in general, California is expensive. I just kind of, all right, to my, all right, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. As an acidic, to right now, wondrous. To right now. To right now. I was gonna say. Oh, yeah. It's less of, I'm saying California is good, but it's more, isn't Texas becoming like a new kind of California with all the people moving there? I heard a lot of people started moving there to pay lower taxes as a result. They're paying higher taxes now. Or something like that. It, it's, I understand California pays high shit. Trust me, I, I know all about that. It, it's more the fact that aren't other areas getting more runoff of people and basically, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, the NASCAR thing's fucking awesome. Like, it literally just happened. I don't watch NASCAR. I was like, wait, I know one thing about that. And it was fucking hilarious. Nope, this is brand new. Some guy played it on the Nintendo GameCube. Yep. Texas is the new LA slowly. Yeah. I mean, I like going to Texas. It was actually really nice. The problem is, uh, I like being on the West Coast. We do not need more people here. Hey, I know that feeling. I live in California. Trust me, I know all about it. I've had several people ask me, wait a minute, you're a California native? Or you're an LA native? Like, yes? Oh my god, I finally got a staff. Holy shit, chat. Ah, uh, it's going in the Empire. I hope you're doing good. Never front range. Is that Colorado? Oh, okay, that should be neat. Cover, change of place. There you go. Although, I'm not gonna lie. I am not gonna lie, though. I do like the idea of Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara is pretty fucking cool. I didn't think about Santa Barbara, but I like living near LA. I like being able to go to round one. I don't have a lot of joys, but going to round one and being close to airports is nice. Bobby's dead? Yep. Don't worry, he'll be back, though. No, no, the NASCAR video is definitely real. They're taught the thing that was the hoax was the uh, the t California Texas tax thingy. It's not that far of a drive. Oh, dude, going outside more than 15 minutes is absolutely too far for me. Yeah, yeah, the NASCAR thing is extremely real. That is very real. San Diego? I don't want to go to San Diego for a few reasons. Not a good place I want to be. I don't hate it, but nah. I like Disney. I wouldn't want to stay. Out in Oakland? Ah, nah. Oh, sorry, real. Holy shit, chat. Chat.
The promised son has come back. Holy fuck. I'm about to tell you the most goddamn deep cut in the world, chat. Are you ready to hear it? He's returned. Do you know who I'm talking about? I hear him. He's back. I can't believe it. I was so... Actually, for all I know, it could be a different guy. But the spirit of him is back. The spirit of this man has returned. No, not Santa. So, for some reason, every now and again, whenever I'm, I hear my window open. Yes, Old World Blues! Trumpet Man is back! The promised son has returned. He's back. I don't know how, but I hear a, low, I hear a stray trumpet in the distance. The Midnight Trumpet Man lives. I can't believe it. No, not, no, not that dad. Hey, your own trumpet? Oh. Yeah, it became a meme for a while about Trumpet Man. But now he's back. Hey, exactly. Nice that you got time to practice. Good for Trumpet Man. I missed him. Are they playing the trumpet well? That sounds alright. That never sounded bad. I just I just noticed it. Why is there a lone trumpet in the distance? Ah, there's no lizard up doing good today. A, a singular lone trumpet. Ah. Oh yeah, it's not bad at all. Yep. I try to keep an eye on if you actually hear it. Yeah, I'll hear things outside my window because, you know, the noise travels in the neighborhood, I guess. Like, yesterday I heard California Girls. The other day there was, like, a big party happening that I wasn't invited to. Um, stuff like that. Although, why would I be invited to any of the parties is the real question. But no, I'm not trying to go to Oakland. I mean, one of the big things is, that, one, I'd want to be near people I can hang out with, or two, I'd want to be near things I'm familiar with. I'm doing good. Or I'd want to just go somewhere that sounds really cool. Like, I don't know. Colorado sounds... I want to visit Colorado. But also, part of the plan that I have is... I would like to try to get a spot, but not be totally locked into it, you know? I don't want to be, like, totally, like, screwed if, uh... I ever decide I want to move out. Uh, move away from there, I should say. Not exactly move out. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to go to Sacramento. That's... I only know that as the capital. Colorado is cold. I don't mind cold too much. There you know it's a blanket. I don't think Sacramento is bad. It's just, right now, the main things I'm thinking about are Southern California, Colorado, Oregon, or Washington. I don't know. Washington sounds neat. A little bit. Sacramento sucks, but it's the state capital of California. They have state capital stuff. I don't really know. I only know it as that. I live in Japan for a year? I don't want to live in Japan for a year. Ventura? Depends where I'm in Ventura. But also, I like being close to Los Angeles. Yeah, I got the I don't have anything beyond being the capital. What's insular mean? Explain. Oh. Other than Portland. Well, isn't Seattle its own kind of area, though? Made it? How's a jangle cat? I just two hours away from any type of terrain. Also, I like mountains. I'm not gonna lie to you, chat. So I've actually been to Texas, and I thought about one point in my life, possibly, oh, what if I lived in Texas, right? I like mountains. I like being around mountains. It's weird. I like the presence of them. They're nice. I don't like flat. I don't like the flatlands. They worry me. Well, I've been to San Francisco before. I've been there, actually. Possibly. Hold on. No, no Alabama. Definitely not Alabama. What's P10? 
Exactly. I've been to places out mountains, and I can see very far, and it scares me. But I've been to... The problem is with... Alright, so the problem with Vegas... I'm not opposed to Vegas. I don't... I, I'm not a Vegas guy. I don't think I can be a Vegas man. I don't think I can live in Vegas. Like, I know people live in Vegas, but... My tan jammies are flat. Oh, God. <laughs> I get you. I get you. No, not like that. I mean, that physical, actual mountains. And this isn't a euphemism for titties. I mean, actual mountains. Most locals avoid the strip. So I've heard. Oh, did I really miss it? Jennifer, no, you have to look at your friend. Oh my god. Jennifer, why? Look at her. She just... Lot, no. <laughs> How did I get it all turned around? That's some bullshit. She turned around. Look at that. Oh god. PA does not have the town sound hole is based on. You're thinking of the movie. I think it's Centralia, where Centralia is a town in Pennsylvania that they use for shooting locations for the movie. The actual area of Silent Hill is really based off a lot of California locations and Maine. Silent Hill is entirely based in Maine as well. Like, Silent Hill 2 is actually based on a real town. It's Toluca Lake, California. Silent Hill 1, I think it's based on the general concept of Maine. It's definitely not based on a real town. But yes, Silent Hill takes place in Maine, if you're wondering. There is a canon location. It's Maine. Nope. It's Maine. That, yep, Stephen King reference. It's canonically in Maine. That is the weirdest shit, but there's only one instance in all of Silent Hill where they say a state. Y'all know what it is, chat? It's the most badass of them all. At the main location, Silent Hill takes place in Maine, yes. Canonically, it's Maine. Yeah, I'll tell you the deepest lore that tells you why it's Maine. Play novel. Play novel. And it is Lana Morda. Fucking play novel does it. Is that really canon? Play novel is a visual novel version of Sound of One. It is the exact retelling of Sound of One. It's entirely canon. The only way you'll know where Sound Hill is is in play novel. And also, the only reason why is because play novel has a line that says something like the main wilderness, meaning. All right, if you're in the main, if you're in the wilderness of Maine, it must mean that the city takes place in Maine. Which is fucking unhinged of being able to decide where the hell Silent Hill is. Where's it place? Maine. Nope, that's Maine wilderness. Like, actual, like, state Maine. Ship spell like that. Oh. Yeah, clock tower games are a fun time. Oh yeah, so I did. All right, I said the art you're talking about, Skeptical. I see this art. I see the art. Yeah, I saw that one. Uh, I like it, but I don't think I'd want to have it. Also, I don't have room for art. I have the classic issue that I don't have room for art. I like art. Makes sense. No, the Ash thing's the movie. The whole game of Silent Hill Snow. Yeah, the opening lines of something in Silent Hill 1 is literally snow at this time of year. I don't know if it's the opening line, but like, yeah, it says it's snowing at this time of year. And they remark that it's snow. I thought the movie came out in 2006. A body pillow is on my bed. The art is on my walls. It is not volcanic ash. I'm not kidding. It is actually snow. There's a reason why there's a cap next to the ash thing is it's a common meme these days that people try to quote the movie for the ash. It's not ash, it's entirely snow. Sound Hole 1, it's, the sound is snowing this time of year and it's going to be such a bad storm. Yep, it is snow. It is absolutely snow, no ash. 
It's cocaine. More accurate. It's a Stephen King reference. <laughs> it's raining cocaine. That's a Stephen King reference. This time of year, more likely than you think. Hooray, Twitch show. We get to go to the next game. Oh, shit. I need to plug it in. I'll do it after that. Our circumcision? That's about Silent Hill 4. Oh, and possibly Silent Hill Ascension. Silent Hill game was the one where you kill God. One in three, and technically zero. One in three, mainly. Technically zero, but not really. Kill more of the devil in that one. Nope. A lot of people do. It, it gets um, spread around a lot that way, but nope. I don't think anyone knows what Ascension is yet. Ascension, so far, it says the fans are going to be able to decide the lore. So technically, if uh, any if any fans wanted to push the foreskin theory, it's canon. Canon. You know already? No, shrimps. I see what you're talking about now. Oh yeah, there's currently an actual timeline where Alex Shepard can be right. He can actually be entirely correct yet. Forskin Theory? Yeah, for Silent Hill 4, some guy on the wiki kept editing and something about Walter Sullivan, uh, his whole dilemma is about him losing his foreskin. Yes! Thank you for getting subs to Lonesome Walker. And scissors Lonesome Walker. Thank you guys very much. Hopefully you're having one of the day Yeah. All right. Anyway, Twitch chat. Um, I'm gonna be setting up the next game. So for one, let me do this. Two, we're going here. Alrighty. If you're wondering, yeah, actually, I use different screens for Clock Tower PS1 and SNES. It's weird. Time for Clock Tower Mobile. When do you want Clock Tower Mobile chats? All right, really quick, Twitch chat. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. I need to go under my boss's desk to satisfy him and give him uh, the setup for the next game. Uh, I'm gonna play an ad during this time. Why? That's gonna remove the ad during the run. Bowie, oh my God. What timing? Bowie, I'm gonna give you a shout out, but uh, I'm gonna hit you with all, I'm hitting you all with an ad and I apologize for that. Um, what timing? I'll give, you a yeah, I'll give you a shout out though, hold on. It's time for ads. Yep, so really quick, let me break it down for you uh, before uh, the Raiders are wondering why the hell are you watching that. Stay out of the house. Is that the Puppet Combo one that came out? Hope you enjoyed it. Welcome on in, everyone. So, the plan right now is I'm going to be doing Clock Tower PS1 next. Uh, this is Clock Tower 2. We're going to be changing the title, I think. Am I? I don't think I have to, actually. Nope, I don't have to. Okay. I'm going to Clock Tower PS1. I need to go into my desk. I need to move some plugs around. They're set up here. Nothing is happening except for swapping the game, right? So during this time, I'm going to play an ad because otherwise I'll have to play it in the middle of the next run. I'd rather not do it during the run. I'll rather do it during the time where I'm just, uh, you know, moving shit around. So, uh, yeah, you can enjoy, uh, enjoy the song. I'm gonna play the ad right now, okay? If you wanna play the ad, ad block, Twitch Turbo, or consider subbing to the channel. They're appreciated. Uh, welcome to the Raiders. Uh, don't worry, you're not gonna miss anything. It's just going to be me plugging shit in and going to my boss's desk. So, I will be right back very quick, okay? Stand up, touch your toes, go to the bathroom. About three minutes. Oh, God!
Oh, wait. One done. Oh. That was a medium smith. Alright, there we go. Alright, you need your list, I am ill paper. Hopefully you're able to get it. Alright, hope you enjoyed the music. Welcome back, everyone. They're back from the ad. What does that mean? I literally played everything in. I are Dewey. Thank you for the two and four months. Enjoy the emotes and the little scissors. Thank you. Hope you have a wonderful day today. Thank you very much. Today we're doing some block tower. Don't be broken. Don't be broken. Why aren't you working? Game. Game. Thank you. Thanks, Cozy Eyeball. Alright, doing we get a flow? Being good. Alright, now we're back. Bowie, how was the stream? Hope you had fun with uh, the puppet combo game. Boom, boom, boom. I like, I always like the finger guns, Cozy Eyeball. It's a classic, classic fucking emo right there. Already? We're watching the intro. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. The evil murderer lived. All the victims were slashed to death. Oh yeah, we have to watch it. You know we have to watch it. No, hmm. it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. Mm -hmm. The giant.
iron scissors. You know what? Having Clock Tower for Daylight Savings is fucking 300 IQ, and I can't believe I didn't think of that. Here it is, the Burroughs Mansion. We have to go there and look around, or we'll never solve the mystery of the Scissor Man. You gotta be joking. It's way too dangerous. Way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere. What a game, huh? One after another. The horrifying. A lot of games that was rough. No worries, Bevan. Hope you're doing good. Sitting in train to uni? Hey, hope it's going well. Hope uni's been treating you well as good. Or, as well, I should say. Not much. I'm a clock tower marathon. We're long today. It'll be a good time. Hope you've been having a good time at school. I'd love to hear that. Yep. A lot of games, even with the, uh, even though they're only, you know, releasing Tran or something, or, you know, they had Japanese releases, uh, they also featured, what's the word? English voice acting. Yep. Azura Kylar. Thank you, man. By the way, Bo, I'm giving you another shout out because you got the ad. Hold on, Bo, the Nifty, you get a shout out, and then Azur. Oh, God. Oh, God. Azur, why does your name have a Z in it? I use the Z button. Yeah, yeah. Are we doing Buyo Buyo mode? Not for the first run, no. I might give you a little buyo buyo later, but we'll see. Name of the shadow as well. Oh no? All good. We have, I'm not just able to give you the fancy one too. How is Silent Hill? Welcome, Raiders. We have. Meow Mix. Mersha. Theotharis. Rotten. Sumerian King. Osiris. Well, good morning, everyone, and Dr. Kylar. Yeah, Dr. Kylar is nice people. She does a lot of RE mods and general horror gaming. Imagine the Slurpers. Oh, yeah, they fucking suck, don't they? You're in five ads? Wait, how are you watching ads again? The ads are done. How are you watching them again? The, the pre rolls are off. You shouldn't be having any ads. Unless you tried avoiding the ads and then re watching them because Twitch will punish you for that. You should not have any ads currently, no. She's stuck in limbo? Makes sense. She. Katrina is a she. Hey, I have never killed Barden. Not even once. I've never killed this man before. This is struggle then? No, this is Clock Tower PS1. Uh, a lot of the, like, uh, like, Kendo campaign ones has been going. So far, so good. We started on, uh, the original Clock Tower SNES, just finished with that side. Now we're on the PS1 games, so we're going here. Uh, as well, just kind of talking about general happenings and news in the general sense. Balance mode exists, but I don't turn on balance mode because balance mode actively makes people sick. So, I do not want to have balance mode at this moment in time. I may, I may turn on bounce mode for Helen's campaign. I may consider having it on during parts. How's it going, Aggie? Hope you're having a great day today. Hope you're doing well. How's it going, Tenendo? And... Alright, there we go. So, this game is pretty chill. That's not also called Clock Tower 2. Just use the Japanese naming convention. It's so easy. Alright, here's what you get. Clock Tower... This game is called Clock Tower 2. Clock Tower 2 The Struggle Within is called Clock Tower Ghost Head. The original Clock Tower, just call it Clock Tower, The First Fear. There you go. It got fucked up somehow. It's because the original Clock Tower never came to North America. So it made sense that they would name this one Clock Tower, because you can't have a Clock Tower 2 without having Clock Tower 1, and it'd be weird. In part yeah, you can toggle the mode. Doing all right? Glad to hear it, Aggie. Glad to hear it. Also, as in for all, it's morning to you. Yep. Oh, yeah, Aggie, you hear the good news? I'm gonna be, uh... I got into RTA in Japan. Pretty much, yeah. I'll be, uh, Isan Sweater. Yep, I am fucking shocked. Congrats. Thank you, Kyler. Thank you. Uh, I'm fucking shocked because, uh... 
I don't really speak Japanese. Thank you, Josofo. Kyo made some great art. The art was pretty good. It was pretty good stuff. It was the, uh... Friendship ended with GDQ and ESA. Now RT in Japan is my best friend. And then having the handshake meme. Yeah, this one's chill. It's a lot of shooting the shit and uh, mashing circle. All good, Katrina. All good. That's unfortunate. But luckily, uh, you should be good now. All good. Get your food. Thank you again for the raid. Hopefully everyone will be nice and comfortable here. You're entering a uh, clock tower all day long for people who are coming on in. They accept English comms. I have someone commentating for me, but also I'm going to learn how to say certain things in Japanese and nothing else. There's going to be the, oh yeah, I memorized how to say this, but, and the sentence explaining it, but I don't know how to actually speak the language. So it's going to be that. What about horsecock? Why are we talking about horsecock? I missed the context here. I mean, for that's why we love Juo. I mean, for the song. I showed Juo that song. Someone showed it to me. Let's see. Huh. Let's see. Juo does have some memes. Learning a quick introduction. Oh, no, I want to learn introductions and a lot of the major tricks in the game, what I'm doing generally. Possibly. Anyway, chat, emote only mode. Spam McDicey Grill, because we're just grilling, for God's sakes. You don't have grill? I don't know. Show me emotes with skeletons in them if you don't have grill. I guess Bone Zone won't work, though, because of the emote only mode, but if you have a skeleton emote, do that. I'll leave it on for until it says one minute has passed. That is a skeleton. That's also a skeleton. I do like frogs. He counts. Random shadow of the prime game for 44. Four. Four. Like Jin from Legal Legends. Thank you for the prime game, Random Shadow. Enjoy the emotes in the city once again and hope you're doing great today. Thank you very much. That's a frog. I do like frogs, though. It's fair. That's skeleton leg. It's skeleton hats. I don't think Wallace is a skeleton. Although he's as pale as one. I guess that counts. But yeah, Aggie, what do you have going on le uh, lately? Are you killing more Hey, I'm just saying, Cradilly got to fucking Whitney, man. Talk all the shit you want about Cradilly. He got to Whitney. As much as I've seen Ironmon, getting to Whitney is a goddamn feat. Just saying. Alright, by the way, welcome back. Getting to Whitney is a fucking feat. That was a chameleon. I'm being good. Is close to greatness and never achieved it. It sounds like he achieved the exact greatness he needed. I believe I died in Metapod. Okay, he limped his way to Whitney. I wasted two hours of my life. Hey, he got to Whitney. The fact that he got... You know how many runs I have seen not get to Whitney? That's like fucking Gym 3, isn't it? But le gym leader is Whitney. Whitney is known for her milk tank. But when Iron Mon, it doesn't really matter, but Whitney's normally considered to be a, you know, like, third gym, a decent, like, stepping stone. But the whole thing is getting to Whitney's not easy, especially in Iron Mon, since so many Pokemon which run. So, all right, all right, chat, if you don't know what Iron Mon is, let me explain. Uh, Little Aggie lately has been doing a Pokemon mod called Iron Mon. Uh, this is something that amps up the challenge immensely by giving you a lot of rules. The general rules are you're, you know, um, you only get one, one Pokemon. Uh, I think you start with it and you have to use it for the entirety of the game. You're not allowed to train in the wild. You can only use train trainer battles, shit like that. It makes it very difficult. Plus, the mod itself amps up a lot of the Pokemon in the game. So, you know how the rival fight is like level 5, level 5? No, it's level 5 and they're level 8. You have to try a lot harder to win. They kind of make it much, much, much more difficult. 
So the thing is, Aggie took a uh, a Pokemon that is seemingly bad, but he got to the third gym with it, meaning it's not bad. Because clearly, it's based, because he's, he's one of the best. Also, the way Aggie described him, apparently the, uh, the Pokemon in question, which was one of my favorite ones, had one of the worst movesets he's ever seen, and some got, uh, absolute fucking shit stats. It's not Nuzlocke? Oh no, it's also Nuzlocke. It's also Nuzlocke, sub. It's not bad, though. I mean, it's one of those things where if it works, you know, it ain't dumb. It does suck like a pan, have you taste? Yeah, it's not as like on steroids. One Gen 1 with an Arbok? That's awesome. I like the idea of Iron Mon. I like watching it. Hey, I'm I'm just saying. Apparently, the Credilly was one of the weirdest move sets and uh, some of the worst stats that he nicknamed Ecdysis. Got to the third gym, and Aggie killed him. He killed me. It did not die because he's weak. He made a misplay. It's the slow march. You can't go fast with that man. You let him die to a crit. Just saying, Aggie. Just just saying, man. Just just saying. Just saying. You did not you could have healed him. You had you said he can take the hit, and then he got crit by Woodhander. Wood wood ham Woodhammer, Hander. Oh my god. Woodhammer. You underestimated the Metapod, like you underestimated the Credilly. <laughs> Assassinated. It was a weakness, a weakness of skill. One might say it was an issue. That may or may not have some skill involved. What was its moveset? I think it was like shockwave eruption. Uh, I don't remember entirely, but from the way Aggie described it, he mentioned he literally had to make someone struggle to death. Like, he ended up getting into a round that was so bad, the opponent had to kill themselves. Repeatedly. We all know, I am not full- when have I ever been full of co- Chai, can, can you name one time and full of copium? Come on, name one time. And then name like five more times after that, because I know you're immediately going to say my neutral game. I did have excellent neutral game. Signalis? I said Signalis is great! Garcia isn't married? He is married. I hope I'm finally getting a milkshake. I got a milkshake. It just wasn't the one I wanted. I did get it. It looked like someone drank from it. I never wanted to move to Alabama. I have never wanted to move there. Downfall is better. Don't you get started because then everyone's gonna come out of the woodwork. I'm gonna hear from I'm gonna hear from Nolly. She's like, oh, you see the cat lady so much better. I'm gonna hear from Cat. Oh yeah, the cat lady's so much better. I'm gonna have a bunch of people come into the stream and start telling me that downfall, oh, downfall being better copium. I, uh, you know, that's fair, Zexans. That's a genuine one right there. Yeah. Yes, they've been dating for a while. You think you only date for a week? They've been dating for a while. It's a long memory of when they met Wonders. What, do you think, you think she still lives in the dumpster too? Also, look, they misspelled Scandinavia. It's Scandinavia. Hey, my sushi delivery was fucking perfect. Immaculate, in fact. Is it still dating? You are technically dating someone you're married to. That is a fair a, a, a thing to say. If you're married to someone, you can be considered to be dating them. Do have any married people in chat who can confirm or deny that? Is that a sentence you can use? Because I'd use that sentence. I mean, you'd probably just use you're married to them instead of dating, but you're not technically wrong saying you're dating someone. If you're both married. Yeah, it's post-game dating, exactly. How goes it? It's going good, Marvin Nation. Hope you're doing good today. I'm married, we're just friends. Ah, oh, perfect, thank you. Thank you, Storm Spine 2. See? Perfect. <laughs> just friends. 
Exactly, Talon. Call your wife your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> oh god, that one's cursed. Oh yeah, I have my ex-girlfriend. Here she is, isn't she lovely? Yeah, exactly, it's like calling a tank a gun. Anyway, chat, look how fast this level is. On your second one. You see, chat, I want to be a best man at a wedding. I want to be a groomsman or a best man at a wedding, and I hope it's for someone who doesn't totally hate me. Because I, I would, I, I want to do it, but also I don't want to do it because I feel like I never talk to that person again. But it's the whole, welcome back, everyone. I've always wanted to see that done. For someone who, uh, you know, uses like a lot of the same people for a wedding. It's the, welcome back, everyone. <laughs> for all the guests, there's more than one way. <laughs> hey, do I have, no, I don't have. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, How's it going, Corp? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Hope you have a nice day. Alright, chat. I want to show you something funny. I'm losing time here because it's funny. So this is Buyo Buyo, right? And Buyo Buyo is strange because it'll make any living thing bounce. So we are wondering, uh, as a jump scare, what happens is if you talk to that security guard, his head will fall clean off, right? Meaning the security guard must be dead, right? All right, watch, 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 watch. For some reason, his head doesn't bounce, but his body will bounce. Save him? No, his head will fall off and die! Anyway, I want to show you what Buyo Buyo looks like in the next scene, because uh, chapter 2 having is hilarious. I'm going to turn it off I want to get back to the next chapter. It's not going to be on forever, but it'll be on a little bit. I need the boing music? You only get boings in a level 5 hype train. If you want to try to get a level 5 hype train, you'd have your boings. Until then, uh, no. Right, but you can say that they're dating, technically. It's not totally wrong. That's not a weird They've been two on for five months. Enjoy the emotion the once again. Thank you. Did he stay alive? Uh, he is bouncing, isn't he? Also, here's how I climb ladders. Look at her go. My God. Look at, look at her go. Is this crowd control? No. So the Japanese version of this game, if you get 100%, you get something called Buyo Buyo mode. It's just the onomatopoeia for bouncing. So it makes all the characters bounce. This is an official game mode. I'm letting you have it until the end of the next chapter, because it's funny. However, if you have it on for a full hour, it gets kind of, uh, you get a bit nauseous, so. I'm showing you a little bit, a little bit of Buyo Buyo, a small amount of Buyo Buyo. I watched World's Finals this week? No, but I heard about it. You call your wife your girlfriend sometimes? See, exactly. Yes, yeah, so you can have your boings if you get a level 5 hype train. Don't you worry, I'll be I'll be done in about seven minutes as a heads up. And I can't turn it off and actually not not seven minutes, uh more like more like five, like four or five. Well four, four or five minutes. Not seven, four or five. I play league, I've been playing league since season two. I have stopped playing league for the past five months or so because I quit. Uh because I needed to quit the uh, video game cocaine. But I am, uh, I plan on playing 10 games in January. So I can get plat and then never play again. I don't have a wife. You get plat, what if I get diamond? I just want to get plat, I just want the, the good skin. I just want to get plat, I don't really care about diamond. I already had diamond. The thing with plat is I can get high enough in plat to where I can just decay and not have to worry. In diamond, I'll decay out of it. I've already decayed out of diamond like twice. I got to diamond two at one fucking point. I'm not bad at the game. I just... Yeah. No, I'm not going to the marriage store. I'm not trying to get a wife currently. I feel like you just kind of end up having a wife at one point if it feels right. I don't think you just plan on getting a wife, chat.
Didn't they get rid of the decay uh, below gold tier? I think so, yeah. Oh, below good. Yeah, yeah, they did. Well, not, no, I, mean, I was diamond. Diamond's considered good. So is plat, technically. Can be also might go to jail. No, I don't want that kind of wife, no. I'm not buying a wife. I just keep telling you I'm dating. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> just keeping it real casual. We've been married for 10 years. Real casual. All right, time to click on this man's ass for one minute. You're back. Welcome back, Trunksy. No, I'm not getting a mail order bride. I don't, I, I'm kind of happy in my current state of being. See, once you're dead, gets it. I'm married to the grind. I'm a, the Sigma grind set chat. There is a bouncing command. I'm not going to do a marriage speed run. Yeah. Damn. That is true, Core, actually. That's true. Why are the bounce at different frequencies? And you know some dude, bro, in all ways, we all kind of bounce at different frequencies. We don't all bounce the same. Not just life. Anyway, the main thing I wanted to show you with Buyo Buyo mode is coming up after this uh, little split here. Once you finish the cutscene, I'm gonna turn it off, so don't worry. I don't get hookers now. Look, they're bouncing in the couch. I just love them. Look how cozy they are. Bouncing right on in. <laughs> sir? Sir? Look at them go. They're so cozy. And there's... Bouncing. Oh, it's fun. It's fun in small doses. Everyone bounces. Exactly, Chris R. Marks. Chat, you can spam cheer while they bounce. Nah, they'll be fine. Oh, God. All right, so once this level is, I think, near done, I will stop it because there's something I want to show you in this level that's fucking hilarious. You, like, you have to see it. Oh, dude, cheer. This one's a cheer. A little cheer. You can't tell me cheer's not bouncing, you know, you know damn well it's bouncing. Yeah, but I didn't say the other one. This content is the best soundtrack. The caps lock. Ah, maybe. Pumping your arms is bouncing? Who said anything about pumping your arms? I didn't say that part. <laughs> you can't type copium on that one, you know I'm right. Oh, apparently pumping your whole body isn't bouncing either. Oh yeah, you know you know where I got the music from. Anyway, here's here's one of the fun parts, chat. Ready? Comrade, this is Buyo Buyo mode. Look, a chandelier! I sure hope nothing bad happens. So it used to hang in the Barlow mansion. Yes. What wonderful times those were. Except for I like how long he fucking stares. He's Oh, don't worry, the chandelier will be bouncing in a moment. There, it bounced. I'm well, enjoying the fun. Oh, you just stand there? He's still bouncing, he's a liar, look at that chat. He's still bouncing. He's still bouncing. It only bounced once. Oh, he's dead now, never mind, he died. Well, that's because I'm using fastest speed. 
Okay, chat, so the last thing I wanted to show you is uh, Nolan has to hide. He's not hiding in a closet, right? Now, Nolan's actually a master of stealth. What does that mean? Uh, just watch how he bounces. All right, chat, quick, we gotta hide. Quick, Nolan, get in the closet. Now, Nolan likes to make sure he's covert, so what he's gonna do is he's gonna be peeking out from the top to make sure the scissor man doesn't find him. See, right up here. You think the scissor man's gonna see him? Nah. Okay, okay, okay. Back to normal, back to normal. Buyo Buyo is now done. We're back to normal, chat. Back to normal. It's fun in small doses. Yeah, it, it, that's why in small doses it's fun. But not entirely. You know, I could have made Buyo Buyo a sub goal. Can you send Buyo Buyo to GDQ? I've tried it. I don't think, I don't think they're going to take it. Yep. I like how I kill every time I run this game, chat. Every single time I run this game, I always... I always waste time doing this. I mean, from the way it sounds like, they already know one of my submissions. I know, this is an actual cutscene in the game. He's watching cartoons. Hundred K people? Nah, I wouldn't get a hundred K. Nah, I get I put in the time slot that doesn't get a hundred K. That was a Roadrunner cartoon though. Like literally if you like PV, when I ran a haunting ground, I remember it. I was running haunting ground right, right when it was my turn to go up. The stream died. Or they had a they cut the stream. I got timing RNG. Well, yeah, stairs are hard, man. I mean, what can you do, right? You know, I don't know how I fall for that every time. I would fall. I try. Oh, it's just a man always bounces. That's what he does. That sucks. I mean, it went well, so it didn't really matter too much. But no, I wouldn't be getting the uh, the hundred K. Also, not gonna lie, RT in Japan's coming popping off. I think uh, I think I might be doing better than GDQ lately. In fact. Cyan. Cyan. Slapped? Yeah, with an umbrella, too. Bash his head, and you're damn right we did. How hard is it to get a hold of a giant pair of novelty scissors? There's some giant novelty scissors you get spirit, but they don't. They have a weird handle. And also, I would want to make cosplay ones, so I think it'd be fun. But we'll see. I can't believe Twitch had made fun of my copium. How's it going, Iris? Great to see you. Oh, Iris. When do you want Clock Tower Mobile? Grab the fucking thing, man. What the fuck? There. Boom. 
You have to attack the mask guarding the late nights midnight snackies. I did not bash Barden Skullin. This one is actually Dan. I actually, I actually pinpointed it by the way, Shiroi. Uh, the the decoy scissor man goes to the library. Uh, real scissor man goes to uh this house. Wait, I go to the wrong room. I think I did. I did. That's fine. You know how I know? In we'll see it in God scenario. In God scenario, God fires six bullets at Scissor Man, and he doesn't like he he shrugs it off. Barden gets shot once by Helen in the second scenario, and he's bleeding. So clearly, guns don't work on Dan, but they work on the decoy. So, in that case, the decoy must be in the library, not here. Because that's how they have the scissor man show up in either area you go to. They probably just planted one in each. It's actually really cool. I had to do some thinking to lab out why in the world half the things happen. It also make a lot more sense for a child to be watching cartoons as opposed to a grown man who's a criminology professor. I mean, it's hilarious that sounds, and then beating him with uh, over the head with an umbrella... Uh, not quite. I want to put some dirt in your eye. Boom. I did to him. I did the Spider-Man shit. I think telekinetic powers. Good question. Move the channel off your friend. Nah, he doesn't get the he doesn't get the uh, the dignity. Pocket sand. Yeah. Well, he's talking about Barden specifically. Oh, thank you, Tim. Tim, best boy. I can't believe it, chat. Oh, we do appreciate Tim in this stream. He knows about Drip. His pink shirt, his cargo vest. Oh, Tim. Huh. Let's see. I'm looking at Twitter. I'm playing the PS1 mouse. Nah, I'm on controller, but I do have the mouse. I do have the mouse, but nah. How far is fashion falling? Hey, maybe it comes back. Fashion is cyclical, by the way. See, chat? Fashion is cyclical. We're going to be seeing this red jacket in the short shorts again in, like, ten years. Will we be able to see any of the RT in Japan run? Yeah, it's going to be on the RT in Japan uh, Twitch channel. So. So. It should be fun. And I'll, I'll definitely be announcing a day of where to find it. I'm excited though, man. I get to be RTA in Japan at Dices. You know, that's the new that's the new arc of 2023, chat. That's the that's the arc right there. I go from where the fuck this year was, and then it goes. Hey, wait a minute. Who do you think is the biggest creep of the clock tower series? Do you count haunting ground or no? Because you count Haunting Ground, Ricardo. If you don't count Haunting Ground, uh, have a good night, E-Man. Sleep well. It would probably be Harris. Harris is meant to be. Like, there's no good... Even if Harrison paints it in the good light, doesn't paint him in a good light, he actually leads you one of the... He always leads you to bad endings. And also, his whole arc is that he's a 35-year-old man lusting after a 15-year-old girl. And, you know, he ends up dying because of it, or... He's just... He leads you to death. 
nothing about him is good and he's not painted good. And call me Val, the raid. How was the stream? Oh, we get some good rest. Welcome, Raiders. Tell me all about it. What are you doing? And yeah, that's your Tian Japan channel. They do a lot of streams throughout the year. Uh, the winter event will be in December. It's going to be exciting. You know what else is exciting, chat? I was Ghost Song. I'm going to hear about that game. I hope you had a good time with it. Chat, you know what else is exciting? I'll tell you. King of the Silent Hill! November 19th. I'm going to be hiving this shit up. I'm going to get a Twitter post from GDQ sometime this week. It's going to be good stuff. But, uh... Yeah, there's a difference, I guess, between the two. I guess Harris is mostly foiled, and you don't really see what he truly would have done, while well, Ricardo actively is implementing his plans and trying to. Which, you know, obviously very, very uncomfortable. But, yeah, biggest creep would be Ricardo easily. Easily. And Ricardo is full of bad intent. So, pretty hard to, pretty hard to have anyone creepier than him. But, yeah, King of the Sun Hill. Or the winner goes to Disneyland, the loser... No, the losers are not going to Silent Hill. Oh, that's going. That's... Aulo. Hope you're doing good. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing good today. We're doing some clock tire marathon today. It's going to be a fun time. Look, we're going to England. That's the true horror. I'm glad you censored England with the follow. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, I don't think you have a larger creep than Ricardo in really almost any horror game. Outside of, like... I really don't know. I also, I'm not trying to have a creep debate either in these games, because it gets to uncomfortable territory. So I'll just say, uh... The knife facing out split head dog. Hey, how do you know I would be plagued? Maybe I would be just... I'll be like Laura. I'd have a good time in Silent Hill. Yeah, King of the Sun Hill chat's gonna go well. By the way, at this point, at this point, chat, I'm pretty sure I have everyone. So I have told all of my commentators, all of my racers, anyone involved, I had told them that if, you know, if they would like to, they are allowed to talk about it as they'd like. Also, I am going to skip that split. I don't trust it. So I have everyone all saved, all slated. It's gonna be good. I have uh, given them instructions that if they would like to speak about it, they are able to how they like. What did I tell Peter? Peter, you're in King of the Silent Hill. You're going to be spectator during, uh, I guess, my segments. Full official announcement. I'm waiting for the official announcement to get GDQ art done. I have the GDQ art done, but it needs one change because it's, it's good so far. But, like, there's one thing I forgot to add. And, you know, the guy that listens to uh, Dad, he sucks, but, like, he doesn't really suck any more than, like, a lot of characters. Also, I like how Harris just dies. And then you hear it. And it's official? Yep, it's official. I can't believe it. Oh no, I can't believe it! Harris died! Can't believe it. I never would have guessed. Oh no, what a valuable character that was lost. If only... He didn't. Don't worry, Scissorman's weakness is... Coats. He dies to live being a creeper? I thought you were gonna say, uh, in half. Because he got cut by scissors. It's probably segmented. He's like an early 20, he's like a 20, like, uh, what? He's like a 2010 speedrunner. Segmented. I feel like a fucking dork making that joke. But you know what? I made it. I'm happy with it. But yes, anyone involved in the event is allowed to talk about it at this point, chat. Feel free to ask around if you like, but uh, uh, yeah, just be hyped for it. A lot of people are uh, definitely uh, going to be uh, watching it. I want to make the official GDQ announcement on the GDQ Twitter soon. I'm just waiting for the uh, the promo art to be done. And ooh, it's going to be good. I have, all, I have all my picks, and I think it's going to be uh, very suitable for a lot of the games. Some of the picks, um, I definitely wanted to have certain ideas behind them, and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Or hopefully they will turn out well. Anyway, chat, I'm gonna ask you a question between star, sun, and moon. Uh, it's gonna be one of the three. We're gonna find out the answer now. I'm gonna tell you to remember this later. If you forget, uh, you'll be considered dead in the game. In-game. Not real life, but in-game. 
Let's play a fun game. Is it star, sun, or moon? That's star. No, not it's not grenade. No, I didn't say now. Pita. No, it's not pita. It's not paper. It's not sun. Chat, no one... I'm not telling you to guess yet. I'll tell you in a bit you'll guess. Also, I was going gun goose. Exactly, Drip. But yeah, it should be really fun. Like, also, Sonho 1, I'm so happy I got that fully slated. Uh, I was waiting on Sonho 1 and Sonho 3. Sonho 3, I think I have it figured out. Like, I have, a, I have a good person in line for that one. I just, I was wanting to see if we can get one other person, but they might not be able to join. Nothing bad, just I think they might be busy. Well, I say, for anyone I ask, there's, there's nothing bad. There's nothing, like, no problems. And some people have different schedules. So it's like, oh, when is it? Blank time. Oh, can't make it. It's not that you know who I'm thinking of. Thank you, Battler Man. Yeah, the runner's really good. But for Sonic 3, the runner I had in mind for that one's really good. It just, I think they might be busy. Or they might be just less active. So it's like, I'm not sure if I already are able to get a hold of them. Uh, a few people tried. And we're just waiting to see. But also, you know, we have a also really good runner in mind as well if they can't. Also, I'll tell you right now, in case you're wondering, uh, actually, I guess I'll, let, I'll let them announce it, but the runners, I tried to really stick to people who actively run the games. Because I know, like, uh, you know, in many cases, there's a lot of, uh, what's the idea? I guess the idea of personalities doing uh, a lot of the runs. Um, some of them have people who are personalized doing runs, like, for ex example, uh, I've already mentioned I'll be doing Sonal 2. Why am I doing Sonal 2? Because by me doing Sonal 2, we get Shishijima to do Sonal 2. Because realistically, the only person who fits the way that Shishijima can do Sonal 2 is if I do Sonal 2. Which may be wondering, wait, aren't there, isn't there other runners who can compete with Shishijima? There is. However, that runner is also competing in another game. And the whole thing is I had to make sure that none of the runners double dipped. And that's been a big fun part, because I have to organize 14 unique people between seven games. So. That's gonna be cool. And also, this is like a big thing I was talking about. Like, I've been saying about a really late lately, uh, especially the past, like today I found out, yesterday I was actually able to sleep earlier, actually it was good. But uh, yep, no double dipping. Uh, none of the races, I mean, so, some of the commentators might be racing. But um, for in terms of a racing in a game, all, every runner is unique. Only one runner per, you know, only, I guess, two runners per game, but no double dipping. So, like, if I'm, uh, let's go, for example, uh, Punchy's running Shattered Memories. Punchy's not running any other game. He'll be on commentary for other games, but he'll not be running any other game. Uh, I'll be commentating for every single, I'll be commentating for all of them. Uh, I'll have, I'll, although that commentary is my usual commentary. And what that means is, if I need to chime in, I chime in, but it's mostly me just overseeing. Because I oversee all the- I oversee everything I have to. That's part of the job. There's a single game in the marathon I don't run. Nope, I run all the sound home games. I run all of them. So I know all of them, I know how to talk about it if I need to. Stuff like that. It's also why a lot of this is able to come to fruition. Yep. Um, god, I- I want to wait a little bit longer, just in- oh, hold on. Talk to the thing. Like, in theory, a lot of the runners may have already talked about it. Like, I don't know who's all mentioned it yet, but... If you've a chat, who do you have you heard anyone talk about it yet? Because obviously people confirmed right now are you have Punchy, you have Nub, uh, you have me, obviously. I already mentioned Shishijima because I mean, you know, in that case it makes sense. Um, I know Brizzle's talked about it. I already mentioned Mr. McSqueezy's talked about it because he also helps uh, you know, uh, he's one of the mods who I was talking to about setting things up. Hey, good taste in runners, Ravenloft. Good taste in runners. I will say, uh, I think I already mentioned this too, but y y it's pretty obvious. Cat's probably involved somewhere in there. Shmumler, Shmumler will be running. Shmumler will absolutely be running. Yep. Come on, you know, you know he had to do homecoming. You know he had to do homecoming. Yeah. 
You know damn well he had to. Nice, D-Man. Nice. Uh, homecoming, I'll tell you right now, it's going to be a race between Schmumbler and Tiggleton. Uh, I planned this months ago. Um, at the time of planning, they're the rank 1 and 2 respectively, and I think these are just two really good runners who deserve a spotlight for that. Schmumbler already runs home pour. <laughs> no. <laughs> no downpour, because I don't have infinite time in the planning. Also, I really don't want to, like, have a race of three hours of... All right! Here's the here's the cutscene. Oh my god, they're watching the same cutscene. Oh my god, what a race. Oh my god. No, that's not fun to commentate. There's nothing to be done there. I'd, I would unironically rather have Book of Memories, because at least it's active. Or play novel. Oh my god, I can't believe Runner A mashed the buttons faster than Runner B. I can't believe it. Oh god, you're kidding me. Really? I got RNG'd? How the fuck did I get RNG'd? Okay. Let's do this shit. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Awesome. Oh god, I got lucked. Okay. Dead end. How was the runs? I got RNG'd bad. If the run's not dead, luckily the game is good continues. That's going to say, it's X. I didn't match the buttons about it. It's hard actually to get that Alright. It's rare, but it happens a lot. What? Oh no, Scissor Man doesn't, he never spawns there. That's incredibly rare to get that spawn. Alright, chat, but luckily there's a way of dealing with it. Watch, here's the funniest shit in the game. If you're playing this game casually, by the way, just do this. This is infinite. This always works. They do, if you want to roll the record. Always do this. This works every time. This will never not work. Thank you, Nexus. Hope you're having a great day today. That will work every single time. If you're ever playing this game, just do that. It's hilarious. I found that casually. It's so stupid. I love it. I'm glad I already confirmed Barden to be alive, by the way, because I didn't even be dead. <laughs> got that? Oh, I love it. And thank you. Yeah, I think I got most of the uh, most of the stuff out there for the King of the Silent Hill. Uh, I'm trying to think what who all is doing it. Um. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't mind talking about it. Chai, would you like to know? Would you like to know uh, the runners? Would you like to know? I don't think I'll take the wind out of the announcements because you might not know a lot of the runners anyway. Now that that's a bad thing, just I don't think you're gonna know a lot of the runners anyway. How's it going, Egunis? Yes? Okay, okay. I'll tell you now. I don't want to tell you now. I, you can wait. I'll tell you now. It's not bad. It's one of the perks of following the stream. Welcome on in. Thank you for the good luck and the good day. Hope you're having a good day as well. All right, clock. All right, Silent Hill. I only won't tell you Silent Hill Three fully because Silent Hill Three we're still waiting on. But I'll tell you everything else because they're all done. The only one left is Silent Hill Three. Okay, chat. Take it easy, VJ Smith. Silent Hill One is going to be a head-to-head -head race between Brizzle and Aaron. This one was pretty obvious that you heard me talk about Silent Hill 2, because you're wondering, wait a minute, doesn't Aaron run Silent Hill 2 on hard mode? He does, but I can't tell the different runners. I'd prefer not to, because then the event's much more, uh, you know, we, we keep it more uh, diverse, and this keeps the, the theme up. As well, realistically, Aaron's kind of a powerhouse, so it's more likely to be even between me and Shishijima. As you can see. So that's Silent Hill 1 and 2. Uh, Silent Hill 1 will be commentated by Mr. McSqueezy and Punchy. Come on, was there a better choice than these? I think Silent Hill 1... Oh, Silent Hill 1's in the back. Silent Hill 1 in the bag. Easy. Silent Hill 2. Uh, I already mentioned the race is going to be me and Shishijima. Oh yeah, Brizzle's great. Oh, both the runners are great. Aaron Brizzle, both great runners entirely. Very good runners. Uh, Silent Hill 2 will be commentated by Punchy again, but also by Maxi Loves. It'll be a fun combination. 
Uh, because you know, a lot of people do run multiple of the games and it makes sense to have them. Like for commentators, I tried to pick a lot of people who work with the runners, but also, you know, they they kind of have a, a thing in that game, so to speak. Ms. Scarlet Tanager. Hold on a minute. The Tangerine Raid. How's it going, Dragon Blade? Welcome, Raiders. How's it going, Ms. Scarlet? What are you doing today? I'm going to come in Castle Plot Immunity, kind of. How are you enjoying Signalis? Because I fucking love that game. I'm going to speedrun it like next week. Or this week, I should say. Finish Ignalis, it was literally, I know I don't use this word lightly, Miss Scarlet, but literally cinema, right? Literally cinema. You're starting the speedrun tomorrow? I might start the speedrun tomorrow. Don't tell me, I might do it. Literally cinema. As a Munson Freak, welcome everyone, I'm McDysis. I'm talking about the, uh, the Silent Hill marathon, uh, Silent Hill event I have coming up with GDQ. Uh, we're talking about Clock Tower, and also, Miss Scarlet, I don't know if you heard the news, but I'm going to be running an RTA in Japan. Boom! It's good. November's been a good fucking month so far. I like November, chat. I like November. It's been a good goddamn month. Is anything cool in Signala speedrun? Yeah, the game's fucking awesome. That's what's cool about it. I don't know about actual tech, but awesome goddamn game so far. But we'll see what happens. I'm sure more stuff will get developed over time. I did panic a bit. I don't speak Japanese. I need to work on that. But yes, I'm also talking about an event I have coming up on the GDQ channel. I am running a si day of Silent Hill races called King of the Silent Hill. Let's play on King of the Hill. Yes, you can make the King of the Hill joke. I will not be making it myself. You can say, damn it, Bobby, during the day of the event if you want. You can type it in GDQ chat. In fact, it's encouraged for you to type in GDQ chat. Just know I can't make the same joke. But you can, because it's, you know, that's how it goes. We'll see how it goes for us and Alice, though. Attempt snap Also, I like how the game panics and gives you the very end dialogue here for some reason. I don't know why it just does. It just sort of stacks. Exactly. But continuing on, we're talking about King of the Silent Hill and talking about all the runners. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you all the all the talents involved in the King of the Silent Hill so far that I've played picked out. I think it should be good. Okay. Four. Silent Hill 1, it was Brizzle, Aaron, running, and then commentators will be Punchy and Mr. McSqueezy. Makes sense there, no problems. Silent Hill 2, I'm having, uh, it's going to be me and Shishijima racing, and then it'll be commentated by Maxi, and it'll be commentated by Punchy as well. We'll have a, a dynamic duo there. Uh, Silent Hill 3, I can't mention all the runners yet because we're still waiting on one of them, but I will say one of the runners is Death Tropes, and they'll be going against a to-be-determined runner between a couple of people. I don't want to say who yet, just just in case, uh, but the commentators for that one um, are looking to be, so far, Catlink, and there may be another commentator, but I'm waiting to see. Just in case. What is RTA? Real-time attack, but RTA in Japan is an event of Japanese speedrunners. It's really cool. Well, no, because, uh, you know, uh, we wanted to go really with a lot of the general community of a lot of Silent Hill runners. Uh, Kat is a legendary Silent Hill 3 runner, but, you know, in terms of, like, for the event, I wanted to make it a lot more of a, hey, this is between a lot of the people who are really just putting in the work on that leaderboard. However, Ravenloft, uh, Kat will be commentating. The thing is, for an event like this, the racers won't be commentating because they have to race. So it's going to be more of a casting, so Kat will be telling everything should be talking a lot so that's why cat works really well in that one yes it will be rta in japan uh just that on twitch by the chat was it star moon or sun that's right it was star and you picked anything else you died i'll be doing dead rising this scarlet it's gonna be a good time and cat is great so yeah i talked with cat i talked to cat about it uh cat will be commentating for that also how's it going Trekkie? which it's gonna be it'll be really good ravenloft i think it's a really nice spot as well like, not every runner who is really, you know, like, really into a game is always the, the top of it. And for the King of the Silent Hill, I wanted to reach out to a lot of the general community you might not get to see all the time. However, for a lot of people who do good commentary stuff, I also wanted them to be involved on the commentary side. Because, you know, there's a lot of people who are very well versed in the game, but they, not, might, they might not be, like, the top, top runner. So, it kind of satisfies both requirements, which is nice. So, with Silent Hill 3, uh, it's felt good about that. Cat's all cleared. Uh, I know she'll talk more about it when she's uh, feeling better. You can also give a shout out to Cat too. Or right, use the Cat command, because I know she's been feeling sick lately. Sound of four. So this one's going to be really fun, and this comes a lot from my knowledge of the speedrunning community. Chat, did you know that there is a very strong Sound Hole 4 community in Latin America? 
uh, like a good chunk of the top runners are all Latin American. If you do not know this. Yeah, it should be a fun clinic. I'm excited to show up Dead Rising. I don't know when the time's going to be yet, but they're going to tell me next week, I think. Yep, uh, as you all know, chat, I'm pretty, uh, you know, pretty invested in the uh, Latin American speed. Why is that? They like Silent Hill 4. And, you know, Latin American runners and horror go hand in hand. There's always been a good chunk of uh, people uh, in uh, Latin America who love Resident Evil games, for instance. RT in Japan will be on the RT in Japan Twitch, uh, which um, was shouted out in Twitch chat. I just RT in Japan, that's the whole name. Um, for the Silent Hill one, I'll be on GDQ. Oh, yeah. But going to Silent Hill 4, the way I decided this was I wanted Zarks and Matt Gale to be the runners. Uh, both of them are, um, I, well, let me double check. I want to say they're both from Argentina or Europe. I think Argentina. Let me double check. I know, uh, my commentary of that game as well is going to be very fitting in addition to that. And I've worked with them before and they're very good. Yeah, they're both from Argentina. And respectively, it's rank one and rank three for Silent Hill 4. Like, these are some absolute high-quality runners in that game, and it makes absolute sense to have them. We have the world record holder versus third place, and I think as well, knowing that game, what can go with it, it's going to be a really interesting mat a matchup. Yep. And, like, the thing is, you're not going to immediately know about Zarks or Matt Gale. Like, they're really good runners, and, like, you know, they're not always able to get the GDQ spotlight. So, especially with my work with the Latin American Hotfix... I can't believe I wanted to, you know, Ecdysis wanted to be able to showcase a part of Silent Hill 4 you never get to see. So, Silent Hill 4 especially, I felt really good on this one. And then adding into this, continuing on the Latin American side of this, I picked a wonderful commentator. I've worked with her before. She does great stuff. And I'm absolutely letting her take the reins on this one. I'm picking Chuleta B. Uh, Ch me and Chuleta already talked about it. Chuleta is amazing. Uh, I've uh, had her commentate on a run of Silent Hill 4 before. I think she actually ran one on... Um, the commentary she did was very, very stellar. So, uh, with that, I think Silent Hill 4 is going to be very killer. Now, they ended up, uh, implement, uh, you know, just mastering a lot of the strats you see now. So, I think that will be quite neat, and I'm excited for that. And like I said, a, bar a large part of this event is being able to focus on things that you don't always get the immediate focus on. So, that's why a big thing for that is being able to get the runners who are, you know, rank one and rank three. Um, Silent Hill Homecoming. Get, you know Schmummler's in there. Easily Schmummler's in there. And then as well, I mentioned the other racial, the uh, Tickleton. And, hold on, uh, we're right at the end of the game. Ooh, all right, this man's back again. Look at this dude. Damn, roll of the raid. Thank you for the raid. Tell me all about what you're doing today. How is the stream? You're doing some plot. Project X Zone, what's that? I don't hear him. Anyway, let me show you something hilarious. Yeah, I hope you had a good stream. What's Project X World? I know what that is, but we had a good time. Check it out. You beat Bayonetta 3? Nice. Raid from another genre? These things happen. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. You literally do this every time. Nah, it sounds like you had a good time. Hope it went well. We're doing a clock time marathon today. That's what I'm talking about my Silent Hill marathon, which is going to be kicking ass. So, chat. You remember very often what I say with Homecoming? What do I say? What do I say with that game? It's in regards to me running that game. I said there are very few runners older than me. Right? Do you know who they are? I'll tell you. Nub Zombie, UFO Techie, Starwin, and Sasam. Which, funny enough, all of them are going to be on the crypt to some degree, or, you know, King of the Sound Hill and the crypt. Um, with commentators, I can't have too many, so uh, even with the way I had it, um, like, there's so many good picks, but I ended up going with uh, Nub Zombie, Starwin, and most likely Techie as well for Homecoming, because a lot of them put a fuck ton of work into the route. Is the Horrible Games Marathon. I was peaking a little bit during Elbleed for that marathon. Emerald, hope you had a good stream and hope you enjoyed Bayonetta 3. If you're coming in, we're doing a silent, uh, we're doing Clock Tower Speedrun Marathon. 
How was the marathon? Hope it went well. Games demos are my favorite games. Yeah, I was speaking that a little bit. I think Elvie was doing pretty well. Uh, one part of it. I did to see it on. Yep. And Star went, dude. Star went literally wrote the book on early homecoming. So. Oh, enough. Every little fires. There you go. We're exhausted. I bets. I bets. Well, thank you for the raid. We definitely have some weird games happening today. And, uh, it is a good time. Although, I, uh, we are at a time where we might be on break in a moment because of the credits. Uh, so just a heads up, nothing might be happening for the next three minutes after this cut, after the cutscene. So we get the cutscene, but then I have to pee. Yes, yeah, during these marathons, it goes long, and we have just giving the heads up. But I hope you had a good time. And then I, I just got the shoutouts. Cool. Thank you, Iris, for the shoutouts. The Emerald is a good, uh, you know, they, uh, they raid the stream a good amount. They do fun games in this, uh, from what it seems. A lot of the one Super Robot Wars game. Oh, I need... I need the knife. Okay. They're good? Yeah, you're good people. I don't think of anything bad so far, have you? And then Horrible Games, I think one of the new marathons that's been coming up. There's been a lot more marathons coming up, which is nice. I've been enjoying seeing them. I don't really want to run in them, but just because time-wise, I feel like I'm always really spread, but I like watching them when I can. Anyway, uh, GG, GG. Yes. We're doing all the Clock Tower games today. SNES, PS1, PS1 again, Ghost Head, 3, Haunting Ground, Nightcry, Remothered, Broken Porcelain, Clock Tower Mobile. All right, Twitch chat, so here's the plan. We're going to watch the ending cutscene. I'm going to finish telling you about the Silent Hill event. And then uh, I'm going to go pee after that. Uh, when I'm gonna, During the credits, I'm going to play an ad because I have to do it for the pre-roll month. And then as well, literally nothing happens. It's three minutes of credits I can't skip because I'm on the Japanese version, which is faster, but the credits are not faster. How many days we've been yes, it'll be happening. So, Homecoming, like I said, the way that's going to work. Schmumbler versus Tickleton. And then it's going to be having Nub Zombie... Techie and Starwood commentating. As well, uh, I definitely want to give an honorable mention to Sasam, because Sasam put a fuck ton of work into that, and Sasam's actually going to be running on Crypt this week. So I feel that's kind of a, you know, it, it, it fits. Sasam's a great runner. Uh, although, I, fun, fun part of Sasam, I want to give a shout out to them. Uh, I'm really hoping I don't jinx it because I've broken their computer twice on accident. <laughs> Not intentionally, I just remember they do Crypt, their computer breaks. So I'm hoping it doesn't happen again. Have a good night, Katrina. Sleep well. Nolan. All right, Shattered Memories, you know it's Punchy. Uh, Punchy will be going head-to-head -head against Starwin. Uh, Starwin and Punchy, they're both the Shattered Memories. You know how that goes, and the interesting thing there is it's going to be PS2 versus Wii, but it should be equal enough where it's not going to be a problem. Uh, as well, that is likely going to be commentated by Techie and Nub. Uh, you know, they know a lot of the Westerns, they know a lot of those games. It's going to work quite well. Uh, and then last, but not certainly not least, we'll have Soundhole Origins. Soundhole Origins is going to be ran by Techie and Exterior Emma. Uh, Emma's put a lot of work in that game, and Techie's apparently kept up with it. I know Techie has had many, like, he's done many showcases of that game. Uh, he definitely enjoys that game. And then, you know, that's going to be Punchy and Star One commentating, because they know Origins. A lot of the Western ones are weird, because Shattered Memories and Origins are kind of this weird spot where a double dips are, like, the same few people. But, yeah! We'll be doing all those. That's going to be King of the Silent Hill. Um, I'm excited. I really hope you enjoy that. And uh, yeah, I got to pee. I really got to pee. So chat, stand up, touch your toes. Be right back time. We're on a break. I can't skip the credits. I have to wait for the rank. Um, stand up, get a drink, do what you need. It's break time. I'm going to play an ad because nothing's happening right now. Uh, I'll remove the ads for the next run. Uh, if you want to avoid the ad, uh, consider subbing to the channel. Download an ad blocker, Twitch Turbo. There, I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get more shoutouts to people who raided because I don't really like having people raid into an ad. So there's horrible games. It was a speedrun marathon about, as you can guess, bad horror games. You know, horror games, awful games, fun combo. Uh, there's Nerm World. Uh, they do a lot of uh, fun gameplay as well. I've been in Bayonetta, and there is Miss Scarlet. Yeah, she's doing some knowledge. She does spooky stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go pee. Stand up, touch your toes. Ad. Enjoy the music. Oh yeah, Star vs. Punchy is going to be classic. It'll be classic.
having a good time. After it, does it fade automatically? Eh, a little bit over. It doesn't. There we go. You cannot shut out these nuts. There we go. Come around to my fucking mail. Here's room muck. Well, now we're back to business, chat. Okay, we didn't miss much. We're good. There's credits. Okay, ready? Time for Helen. Back to business. Okay, I am all good. I'm refreshed. Alright, what did I miss? Oh, we're good. Bad chat. Hopefully you think good things about it. I'm pretty excited. I think it's a pretty damn good set list of fucking games. We've got some good runners, some great commentators, some great runners. Good runners, good commentators, great shit all around. So, I'm pretty excited for it. I put a lot of uh, work into planning it. I had to reach out to so many fucking people. Uh, the amount of uh, just general, like, where I had to do as well, the in context, some people is also kind of just like a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. I think it'll be a good time. And hopefully you do too, Chad. Anyway, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh god, my... There we go. Chair. Okay. Now we're doing the Helen side. For anyone who doesn't know, Helen side is the, um... It's the inverse. A lot of people don't know this. I mean, maybe you do, but Clock Tower PS1 has two characters. Sounds good, big text. Take it easy. Get some good rest. You have Helen and you have Jennifer. Helen is actually the one more people play, while Jennifer is the one people don't know about as much. Uh, the reason why is because you have to do something in the intro to get them. It's kind of weird, actually. But you will see. You will definitely be seeing. Well, there you go. We did, Search 9 I fucking love Signal. It's literally cinema, and I plan on speedrunning it ASAP. So, that's gonna be fun. Literally cinema. I see how that works out. Yeah. Game are we on? We are on Clock Tower PS1. After this, we'll go to Ghost Head. Uh, not really. Because the thing is, a lot of the games are developed by people who are just kind of related to some degree in the official Clock Tower sphere. It's sort of weird, but it's accurate. Thanklin Inland Empire. Yeah. Oh. I hope you have a good rest of the night so far. Day. Realistically, Haunting Ground would stem from Clock Tower 3, Nightcry would stem from the original games, and then Remothered's more tertiary because it stems from, uh, you know, Nightcry. So it's kind of a weird way that they all relate, but also it makes the marathon more entertaining because you get more game. I don't think anyone complains about getting more game in all honesty. Which, nothing wrong with that. Yep, Remothered comes from Nightcry. Well, kind of. It also came for just wanting to make a general Clock Tower remake. But a lot of the people who ended up working on Remothered worked on Nightcry. And that's how a lot of the contacts were made. So. There's also the Clock Tower Twitch team, which is kind of like a lot of the Twitch teams on Twitch that name themselves after franchises. There we go. Anyway, Twitch chat. Oh, it does, doesn't it? In considering this game, to play as Helen, you talk to this guy once. You always have to talk to him once. If you've talked to him twice, you play as Jennifer. That is the, that's the man. It's kind of funny because you wouldn't expect it, but yep, he's the whole way you choose character. It's fucking weird, ain't it? Cool, but weird. There we go. God. Well, yeah, that's how you know it's about Jennifer. This whole game is a strange one. Hope you're doing great, Tragic. Why is it weird like that? So Harris's character is a weird one. He's meant to show kind of a weird obsession. He's 
quite literally, I guess, a pedophile. And his arc is not portrayed in a good light. You know, that's good, it's not, but like, yeah, he his motivation is he's attracted to Jennifer. So. This game gets to some dark territory that's, you know, surprisingly there. You just woke? A. Hey. That would be doing great though, tragic. Also, the weirder part though is that Nolan here is 25. By the way, this man does not look 25 at all. He looks older than I do. This man is 25, and he's also attracted to Jennifer. Kind of, in a way, it's weird. Like, Nolan gets talked about a lot, but his whole arc is very strange. Because he uses Jennifer, but not... I don't know how to word it, because it's going to sound bad, but it's not as bad. If that makes sense. Because hear me out for a second. Harris is creepily under uh, attracted to an underage girl. Nolan is taking advantage of one for journalism. So really, is it worth... Uh, how do you feel about journalism? Is it still bad? It's more the idea of using Jennifer's attraction to Nolan to get his story, but he's not actually doing anything with her. Like, it's scummy, but in theory, it's like... Uh, I mean, when you're comparing it to a guy who literally corners Jennifer and unless he's murdered, he plans on doing bad things, like... It's bad, but it's not Harris bad, if that makes sense. You know? You can kind of see why it's like... I'm not trying to paint it in a good light, but like... Realistically, he's just kind of a dick. Correct. Thank you, that works, Torso, yes. Well, yeah, it's all the games. I do long categories, see Right, but also, Nolan's not exactly evil, he's more just... What's the word? He's more of an opportunist. Because he actually does help Jennifer, like, sincerely. He actually does. Um, Jennifer asks him to go to the old man's house to go get the demon idol. And then as well, you know, in the end of the game, Nolan actually saves Jennifer from, uh, Dan. He's also meant to be Jennifer's love interest, which is more one-sided and is confirmed to not really work, but it's weird. He's in a weird area. Let's just put it that way, and that's a, that's a better way of putting it. He's weird. And then meanwhile, I have fucking Harris here. Harris is never good. But the cool thing is we don't worry about that now because we already did the Helen route. We already did the Jennifer route. Now we're in the Helen route. The Helen route's really cool because they changed the story. Also, the Helen route's cooler by far. It has less creepy undertones and you get more of a interesting story. Uh, the reason why is because Harris takes a side role where he's kind of just, you know, vaguely attracted to Jennifer in a weird way, which, you know, that's not good, but he doesn't really act on anything, which... I guess, good that Harris just doesn't... He's not a total piece of shit. But also, uh, nice digital... Well, maybe not nice in this case, but nice to you, Digital Alley. The Clock Tower story goes weirder because... Barden and Harris aren't necessarily bad people, if that makes sense. I remember thinking, didn't you just say this guy's attracted to a 15-year-old girl? Yes. But... How do I put this? He's attracted to someone, but normally he's not corner her in a creepy London mansion and help help a murderer kill people bad, you know? He's more of a, he's kind of a creep bad. I, I think there's a degree within those of like, a guy stealing candy bars, a man's eviscerating people in the street. There's a difference, you know? How long is it there between SNES and PS1 again? You mean time-wise between the games or time-wise between the, uh, no, not good because he's not a killer. Like, realistically, it's the idea... You know, let's let's have this. It's one thing to have an intrusive thought. It's another one to act on an intrusive thought. That's the idea. That is the idea. No, but it's still going to the point. Well, no, I think that's the word I'm looking for. It's an intrusive thought. It is time-wise in the story between Mansion and this. One year. It is exactly one year. So Jennifer is 15 in this game. She's 14 in the original. That's the thing I want. That's the word. And the idea of intrusive thoughts in the Clock Tower series, there's a really good um, motivator or motivator theme with that, where intrusive thoughts are a huge fucking deal. 
What's an intrusive thought? It's that thing that tells you when you're driving, you may have had this once or twice, the call of the void, the intrusive thoughts. It's, hey, I'm in a car right now. I should open the door. You know that's a bad idea. You know very well that's a bad idea. You should not open the door while in a moving car. That, that is not smart. But, you know, I, I, I know when I was younger, I had that thought. It's like, oh, you know. Yeah. You never had that? No, that's right. Well, if you don't have them, that's good. But they're intrusive. It can be many examples. It can be like, oh, what if I, what if I threw my cell phone into the, into this canyon? What if I, uh, like, it's something that you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't do, but you have the thought of it because it's intrusive. Call the void is as it's called. It is not safe to open moving car doors when you're going seventy miles per hour on a, on the five. I'm talking about on the freeway. I'm not talking about like in general. You should absolutely not do that on freeway. No, do not do that. But of course, but again, like obviously it's a little bit more, a little bit dark, but also Mike Lee Swords is much more positive. I can eat all those hamburgers. But sometimes they can be graphic or violent, but they're called intrusive because they're not something you would normally be doing or want to do. Yeah, it's kind of like a sanity check. It's something that sort of pops up and happens a lot. And the thing is, you're not defined by your intrusive thoughts. That's a big thing. You're not defined by this. You know you're never going to actually open that car door in the car. You know you're not going to throw your cell phone off the cliff, but the thought popped up. And it's a quick, no, 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 we're not doing that. No, that, that's a bad thought. No. No, no, no. Nothing wrong. I think they can be different levels as well, though, Cabello. They're not all really dark. Like a good example, Mike Lee Story said, I can eat all those hamburgers. And you see a big mountain of food, and it's like, I can eat all the hamburgers. It's good. It's actually really good that you don't have them. Something like we light something dark. But what I'm going with this is in Clock Tower, one of the effects that it happens canonically throughout the game is the idea that the Demon Idol amplifies and makes a lot of the characters act upon their intrusive thoughts, right? What do I mean by this? So, uh, let's take a look at the franchise. Uh, you have the original with the Demon Idol. Obviously, you have Demon Children. That one's not as easy, but let's go to another one, this game. Why do you think the dog that's been with the old man for years is just randomly mauling him? Dogs just don't start mauling people, Twitch chat. Like, after being very, uh, you know, good for years. The Scissor Man has a presence of making people act on the worst of their intentions. Yes. So, the idea behind it is a lot of the game characters aren't bad. Between Helen and, uh, you know, Harris's, or between Helen and Jennifer, wait, am I not doing the thing? There we go. Between Helen and Jennifer, their villain isn't actually a villain in the other scenario because they're not being persuaded by the Scissor Man to act on that intrusive thought. They're not being offered the promise of what they want. Well, no, but the presence of Scissor Man and the presence of his stuff gets people to be worse. It's the presence of both him and the Demon Idol. How's it going, Weaver? Hope you're doing good. How's it going, Red Tamaki? How's it going, this is why many animals start being much, much more mean. They end up being much mur like more murderous. Dogs aren't normally mauling people like that, especially after being good for years. You actually see in this campaign, the old man's dog mauls him. And he's like, wait, you've never acted this way. Oh no, I'm dead. Harris, while normally kind of a creep, is not normally acting on the idea of preying on a 15-year-old girl. And then Barden, while being a very, uh, you know, while he's not the best guy, he's not normally murdering people. So you can kind of catch the drift. That's wild. Hey, well, well, well I'll be doing some Dead Rising. We're doing a lot of Dead Rising soon, I'll tell you that much. And Rising's gonna be a great fun time. I'll tell you that right now. There you go. Run. Thank you. So, it's one of the interesting plot points of Clock Tower that you don't really get to hear about much more often. So, I hope you enjoy that Twitch chat. Yeah, Spoon! I love all the franchise games. That's why we have the scissors next to people's names. 
Twitch chat, if you have a if you have a sub, spam McDicey Evil or Piper. Show off your scissors. That was new from New York, we didn't get. Clock Tower is a very interesting franchise that honestly that's you know what, I can make a whole video on that topic, and I really should make a whole video about that topic. Huh, I never thought about that. Well, maybe I'll have my next video on it. That's a very easy video idea. It'd be like 10 minutes. Just talk about the idea of uh, intrusive thoughts in the Clock Tower series. And then also, furthermore, chat, let's go to Clock Tower Ghost Head. And Clock Tower Ghost Head, I mean, the only problem is they do kind of renee on the plot later, but it's still kind of the case. They had it. They had this similar thing going with Clock Tower Ghost Head when they fucked it up. The idea behind it is you had a, you know, very nice little girl who ended up going on a killing spree. She ended up murdering her family. Wait, does she make it spawn here? What the fuck? I know you do that. Cool. Yep. Cock tower. Stop. A large part of clock tower is the idea of corruption. There we go. I should have stayed in the stairs. Anyway, don't worry. If you're in the elevators, they're always safe or dangerous. Yeah, the first half of Ghost had to continue the theme. They get the demon idol, and then that happens. You need that emo? What, the evil? Oh, yeah, it's good. You know what it's about? You know the movie Scream? It's the movie Scream. Spoon, name of the tier one. Welcome to the swarm. Enjoy the emotion of the scissors. Oh god, wait a minute. Chat, look, there he is. And thank you very much, Spoon. Hope you're having a great day today. I'm glad you enjoy the scissors. Kill! 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 Yeah. Morning, Soul. Guess we're good. How's he affect the computers? He really like he really appreciates. He really- oh, no, no, alright. For that one, I like to believe that the Scissor Man set it up beforehand. He knew- oh, like, watch, when she entered the room, this would be hilarious. I made it so that whenever I pass by one of these computers, it's gonna be motion detected, and the computer will turn back on from sleep mode. He's- you know what he did, chat? He, like, activated the mouse with sound effects or something like that. Yeah, I'm glad you've been- I'm glad you have been enjoying it. Yep, we're doing Nightcry. We're going all the way to all of them. We're doing a fuck ton of games today, Chad. There are going to be a lot, lots, a lot of them. Okay. Yeah. Nightcry will be later. That is why it is so long. That is why it is a 10 hour ordeal. They are considered scissors in this game. They're a very specific brand of scissor, but they are scissors. Thank you for dance. Hope you're doing good today. Thank you. What the fuck? Dude, what's in that mouse? Oh, yeah, that's weird. Cool. Sorry to hear about the melancholy day, but I hope you are able to relax. And yeah, Octar's going to be fun today. And as well, I did announce all the runners of the King of the Silent Hill Marathon. So, exciting people, and I hope I hope you enjoy it, Twitch chat. Uh, I put a lot of work into drafting it and thinking of everything of how I wanted to form it, so... A lot of fun work to be had. And hopefully you'll feel better soon, Soul Kiss. Whether it be something bad that happened, or it's a general, like... I know, you know what, chat? I know a lot of people are getting into something that they like to call seasonal depression. We'll do Clock Tower Mobile at some point. I don't know when, but we'll find a good point to do it. Seasonal. I'm not seeing music. Seasonal depression is pretty heavy, but. 
Hopefully, for many of us, it will pass in due time. Uh, personally, I do not have it myself, but I know plenty of people who do end up getting it as it gets colder, as it gets darker. It just, uh... Oh. Right. What is RT in Japan? Glad you asked them there. RT in Japan is the Japanese speedrunning event. Work at a bar and people have been seen more destructive as late. That seems right. No, not reasonable. Seasonal. Yep. Oh, hey. Alright. I'm not, uh... What's the word? I'm definitely not... This isn't gonna sound like cheering for it. But I do want to say, Solkis, that it is quite nice to continue to honor the memory of a, uh, you know... Of a fallen family member. Being able to have that memory and remember the good times is nice. Am I gonna get stabbed? I might. Thanks. Okay. It's Marvel? It is. Vitamin D supplements are good. I got like a... got like a bunch of them. Uh, I don't get sunlight. I'm always in the dark. I don't get sunlight, so I have to take vitamin D. I'm pale as fuck. Yeah, RTA in Japan is like a uh, Japanese GDQ, so it's a really fun event. They've been staying on their own. It's really nice, and it's uh, ran by a lot of Japanese speedrunners. So uh, I got accepted, and it should be quite exciting, uh, but I need to give commentary in Japanese. My vampire? Maybe. I know the feeling, Sublime Mime. I need to take more of my pills. I actually didn't take them. I've been taking them for a little bit, because I keep forgetting. But yeah, uh, so faulty. On um, the part that I'm saying as well, though, and uh, I definitely agree, it's admirable. Um, because you know, in many cases, death can be a pretty heavy topic, and I know you can talk about right now. It is a very heavy topic, in fact. But it is also, in some ways, a natural state of life. Uh, preferably, it's much better to go through natural causes other than unnatural, uh, because you know it's much much more grim. Yeah, I'll help with commentary. But also the idea that we are able to remember the, you know, our loved ones who have fallen is very sweet. And while it's never easy to, you know, have to have to live with that, we have many people who are quite special in our lives and one day can just be gone. Being able to appreciate that time that you did have and being able to also remember them even onward, it keeps their name alive in some ways. Um, so really, that's the best way I can really put it there, so... It sounds like you've definitely, uh, you know, done uh, Day of the Dead. Yeah, I love Day of the Dead. Uh, Day of the Dead is a great holiday. It's past, actually. And being able to remember those before us is quite good. So. Oh, there you go, Battler Man. Yeah, it should be neat. I get to be, uh... R10 Japan now. I am an RIJ runner. And I have Selena helping me. Which is, I hope it will go better, although. I hope it will go better. It definitely sucks with the uh, nose. I have been burning a lot recently, but it's better now. And appreciate me even more. Oh, yeah. I know lately as well, my grandma's been happy that I ended up talking to her a decent amount. I'm going, I think, here? Uh, my grandma's definitely enjoyed being able to tell me stories of her, her past. The other day, my grandma told me that uh, she's been eating, like, oatmeal like oatmeal and milk for like the past many 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 years did i put up uh from them uh i think so i'm not quite sure i'm not gonna lie to you in the past few uh i, I haven't been waking up early at all lately <laughs> so my sleep's been kind of fucked but i think my mom may have done something so it is unfortunate Either that, or he might do something this month. But we'll see. But. Well, hopefully you'll feel better soon. Alright, come on. And then police station. Perfect. Got it. But that is the way I definitely like to, to word it. Although, a lot of... Uh, Elvis friend, Dashin, passed on 21st, has just been inc inconsolable. I absolutely know that feeling, once upon a VCR. 
Especially in the world of pets, it is quite hard to lose our, you know, our little friends. Uh, they are quite, they're quite nice to us, and they're there for uh, and the entirety of their lives. And, you know, we end up kind of uh, living through that. I know personally, I'm at the point where I kind of mentioned uh, when I want to uh, get my own place. I don't, oh god, I need to ask, I need to ask my brother about that. That's gonna be a deal breaker, actually. I don't want pets for like two years. I have had pets for the past 18 years of my life, and uh, five, between five dogs, uh, two of them have passed. One of them is probably going to pass in the next year, and then uh, one of them passes a few years after that, then the other one's young as hell right now. Oh no, it's not a bad thing, though, if that makes sense. It's not good, but at the same time, we're there for all their lives, and especially if it is peaceful, peaceful means it's a lot better than otherwise, because... Realistically, they can only get so old. My old man dog died at the age of fucking 17. He died at 17. He was old as shit. I love him. But he was fucking 17. My old man now is also 17, I'm pretty sure. And he's almost 17. I had two 17 year old dogs. Like, I'm not saying, uh, you know. I'm rooting for them to pass, but also, like, I've seen my young, uh, my old man eat now. He does this thing where he'll get next to his bowl and he'll get right on in with his face. He'll do, like, a, like a flying eagle because he can't bend down as well anymore. He's still eating well. He's still doing good. He's still cozy. He has his old man moments, but, like, I, I do know that his time will be coming soon. He is very old, but he's doing good. He's not suffering. Hopefully he won't be either. Seven days shy of ten years. Aww. That's nice. You have a lot of good memories with her. I give her a nice little grave. Um, I'm sure to honor that memory. I know I still go outside and I see my old dogs because uh, I have two dogs uh, next to a tree outside. Uh, we uh, we planted our first uh, uh planted. Um, the first dog was buried by a persimmon tree. Uh, because also I, I'm not gonna lie to you. This may have been why he died. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a joke out of it, but my dog ended up getting doggy diabetes. And I know fruit has sugar in it, but he would keep eating persimmons because they'd fall off the tree. So he would spend time outside, and he kept eating persimmons. So we buried him by the persimmon tree because he loved that persimmon tree. I don't even know what a persimmon is. He just kept eating them. I think it's a fruit. Yeah, and like his, um, you know, he was, he was like, I think like 12 or 13 or something. He wasn't young, but he also wasn't, he wasn't old, exactly. He, he, was, he was decently aged. You don't think that activates diabetes? But what about in dogs in the sheer amount? Because I don't know how he got doggy diabetes. I just know he got doggy diabetes. He had to take do like, dog insulin. Also, there's the dog murdering the old man here. See? Oh no, he's dead. Oh yes. I'm not sure what does to us, Admittedly, I'm not too sure what does. I just know it's something to do with sugar, right? I don't know how dogs get it. I really don't know how dogs can get it. Like, with people, I get it. You have type 1 and type 2, which type 1 usually is... I know something you're, with, you're born with, uh, something with blood sugar. And then type 2, I think it's just... Type 2 is like diet, right? Admittedly, I'm not the most well-versed in diabetes. I don't really know a whole lot about it, barring uh, people have to normally take insulin and have uh, proper sugar balance. Blood sugar, I think. Pancreas doesn't produce insulin. Yeah! The body can't make enough insulin to process sugar properly. Gotcha. Wait, I d oh my, I didn't match the button enough. Type 2, you're insulin resistant. Type 1, you just don't produce enough. Makes sense. I don't know type 1, you're like, it happened, like, you're just kind of like, you're essentially born with it, kind of, or it develops later in life, but it's, you, you're just kind of luck of the draw, I suppose. Type 2, you're insulin resistant. You always have diabetes, can't eat too much fruit. But I guess, I guess what Torsby is saying is that uh, my dog could have just had issues with insulin later in life. Oh, hold on. Wait, what? Oh my god! I hate this button mashing. 
I don't know. I'm getting worse at PS1 button mashing. Maybe that's what killed the Haunting on old record. Hold on. Code was triggering diabetes in people? Really? Why? Alright, they're done strong. It might be. Counter? Alright, hold on, hold on. Let's go. I'm getting too old. New Shush over there, hold on. There we go. He's hey, look, I won! Sorry, this is my better neutral game chat. Me Supa with the raid. Can I have a mod give a shout out to Me Supa? What are you doing today? Do do like both of them. Do like the the regular shout out and then the fancy shout out. If you can, I can do it in a moment though. Uh, infection, infection. Actually, I think I can do it right now. Hold on. S O me. I got, it, I got, it, I got it. me super. Bayonetta, hey, uh, Bayonetta RTA. Uh, Kanbanwa, uh, Genki des, uh, Watashi wa Ekudi. I don't know how to say horror games. Yes, hey, um. I will be speedrunning in RTA in Japan with the Dead Rising. It's random if you're being chased. I do all the Clock Tower games. For Twitch chat, uh, Mi Supa runs Bayonetta and Clock Tower 3. She is also, uh, she also knows uh, Batake and Swordfish. Hora, 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 or, uh, or the gi. Gi or ge? O, uh, ah, uh, or, uh, no, no, so. Is it, is it stone? Is it gi or, or like, which, wait, which one? Wait, hold on. Ah, e, e, e. Or the gi. Like that? Ga, like game. Game. Horga. Horga. Ge. Horga. Okay. I ain't gonna how's it going? Ge. Ge. Horga. Like that? G. Wait, G or. You pronounce it Horga. Okay, so is it. Okay. Wait, I don't think I'll instrument. What am I doing? All the Japanese are always the same. Yeah, remember it's A E O U, E. Right? There's the ones A E O U E. Soge. Oh, I know Kusoge. Yeah. Oh, so Horoge. I get it. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get that. Yeah, I get that so much. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, hope you had a good time, Isubo, with Bayonetta. Did you, uh, have you played Bayonetta 3? Because I heard, I've been hearing about that. Hi, Swordfish. Sword Hub. Sword Hub. RTA acceptance. I am excited. I am excited. Oh, uh, uh, I need to, hold on. Hold on, hold on, I want to, I want to type this. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, try, plan to try RT in the future. Good luck. Uh, do no. I can Hold on. All right, there we go. Hold on, hold on. I'm I'm being really dumb right now. Uh, hold on. I'm going to here. I'm I'm literally wasting time to ask a question right now. Uh, swordfish. Sword. 
Swordfish, I want to, uh, I want to drink Biru, uh, for RTA in Japan, but I don't know if I'd get banned. <laughs> yes, I literally drafted the sentence. <laughs> Why oh, put it in a translator? I want to see if I can drink Strong Zero, you know, like, like, drink. His swordfish did Peon for GDQ. He had his face painted like the Peon, he, and then he chugged a strong zero. And I thought that was awesome. It was great. I love that. That was probably one of my favorite runs I ever watched. He just showed strong zero, showed it to the camera, pounded it. All while looking like the Peon. It was good. It was a fun one. So I want to know if I can if I can pound a Budweiser or something stupid like that. Uh, American beer. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. I do not know. Yes, I'm asking if doing the meme is okay. Yes, I'm curious. I'm curious. Like when I when I get it, I don't want to get banned. I just got accepted to an event that's new to me. Like I like a lot of the stuff they put on. I like I, I watch all the RTA raids, all the all the uh, RTA in Japan horror raids. I like watching the runners do that a lot. Wait, did I go to the news station yet? I don't think I did. Nope. There. As long as you used to drink, I don't need an excuse to drink. It's I, it's more the legend, the legend of just you know, doing that. No, I don't want to be the first and last American on the stream. No. I don't want to get banned. No banning. No. Uh, hopefully, Swordfish will get back to me. Hopefully. As I'm curious. Oh. But yes. I'm not going to retire an RTA legend. But I am quite excited. I am quite excited to be a part of it. I didn't think they'd actually take... I thought they would take Silent Hill PT. I, I, I didn't think they would take... Um, Dead Rising. No, I'm not going to drink an alcohol-free beer. The whole thing has to be done with uh, Budweiser for the full Kakona. Hey, brother. It has to be the meme. It can't be just anything. But I'm cool not doing it, too. I'm cool not doing it. Kakona? Yeah. No, no, Sapporo wouldn't work. That's Japanese beer. I need the American beer. Because during GDQ, Swordfish did the Strong Zero, which Strong Zero is a Japanese Chuhai. It is... Imagine, like, you know White Claw Surge? 8% goes down like candy. Kakona? It's an American stereotype. It just means, hey, that is very, like, very American. It's like if someone tells you they just ate a triple deluxe uh, cheeseburger. And, like, five of them. Hey, brother. And it's Kakona. It's just a meme. It just means really, like, stereotypically American. Yes. But usually in a light-hearted way. Well, White Claws? Yeah, it's, so it's similar to that, but it's even sweeter. It tastes like candy. I've never tried one personally, but I've only heard legends of it. And I want to try Strong Zero. I might be able to try it soon. Selena said, uh, if you, you know, uh, she visits the, the States again, we hang out, she's gonna give me a Strong Zero. They have alcohol-free alcohol? Yeah. It's a lot for people who try to quit and also who just want the taste of alcohol without the actual getting drunk. Oh no, the floor broke. I like to taste beer to quit drinking alcohol. Honestly, I like, uh, I actually had hop water before for that. I like hop water. It is, tastes like grass, but it tastes like water. Which is actually really nice. I don't think I need the ski first. I think I can go a whole nother way. Water is good. I like hot water.
No, this doesn't work. I have a double IPA. Well, I also like to drink actual. Also, I don't drink. I don't drink as many IPAs anymore. I try to avoid them as if I can. I, I will drink them if they're available. But usually, I try to order something lighter. I like IPAs. They're just really calorie dense. Like, I figure I'll rather just drink more light beers or more like less calorie things. I care about calories, man. I got to count. Our right, guy. Yep. Sounds about right. The heavy stouts. I mean, I'll drink. Also, I'm not gonna lie to you. The more I hang out with people, the less my like, the less my restrictions like. The only hard restriction I have, even when hanging out with people, is uh, the pork one. I don't eat pork at all. But I'm not gonna lie, chat. If I ever complain like, oh, too many calories, yada yada yada, shit like that, I don't care if I'm with friends. I will absolutely be a degen and eat like a fuck ton of food. <laughs> I don't mind actually. It just you know, I tend to try for my own well being. I try to keep myself under certain things. Like today, I I'm gonna try just chilling for the night after. Guys ain't bad. I know that I'm bad. But I like to lose. I you know I like to maintain my weight or lose weight. I'm trying not to act a fat boy mode. Trust me. You know, eat a lot and work out a lot. Again, I'm managing myself well. I don't really mind the whole... I don't need coaching on it. Why did I kill this guy again? I thought there was a thingy here. Oh, it just tells you... It gives you the note. Yes, yes. I, I, I balance my ship properly. It's Again, I, I, I'm not trying to look for a life coach right now. I know how to manage calories. That's not the problem. I'm merely just saying, you know, it's very easy to just... Do what I do. Oh, wow. I didn't drink a bunch of IPAs tonight. Guess what? I just saved myself from drinking a bunch of calories. I can drink later things, and then I save them. And let me do other things. Yes, it is the balance entirely. Name of the fall. Ah, of course, Wonders. Of course. Of course. But yeah! But Twitch chat as well. Uh, Going back to Arte in Japan for a second... I think Swordfish is setting up another horror raid. Uh, I think I saw uh, me Super might get involved in that one. I think they announced the games list, but I couldn't read it. But I know they have another one on docket. I've been liking the RTA raids. I think they're really cool. Like, the RTA raid is an awesome way of doing it. Exactly, Torsui. And that's good. You lose a lot of weight by not drinking. Like, hell, I got, like... From TwitchCon traveling, I went up to like 182 or something. I'm back down to mid 170s. Why? I stopped drinking for like a couple of weeks. I stopped drinking until Halloween. Oh, I started gaining weight. I just cut something out. It's that easy. No sugar. That's the way of doing it. That is the way of doing it. That's good. There's many ways of doing it. We tend to know ourselves well and what we got going on and what we don't got going on. And then doing so allows me to binge when I want. Like, chat, I'm going to start behaving again. You know why I'm going to start behaving again, right? You know damn well why. Chat, American Thanksgiving. Eat what makes you feel good. Oh yeah, I feel good being able to drop some weight, get down to the low end, eat like a fucking animal during Thanksgiving. I want to attack my plate, man. I'm like, ah, my sounds. I'll growl at my food. That's what I'm gonna do. Like a fucking awkward high school teenager uh, talking to his crush. I'm gonna growl. Attempting to put on weight, it's not impossible for some reason. It's harder to put on weight because the amount of fucking food you have to eat. I absolutely do not envy anyone who has to healthily gain weight. Being able, healthily gaining weight is the hardest shit. 
If you're wondering, what is the hardest thing to do? The answer, healthily gain weight. To properly gain weight is hard. I think that is the hardest thing you can do in the world of like anything of weight. Keyword healthy. That was Nicole doing good. Congratulations. We need some cheers up in here for congratulations. We need a cheer. Chat. Spam McDicey cheer to cheer for RT in Japan. I was. We need some cheers up in here. Yeah, there we go. It's the perfect emote to cheer us on. Thank you. I don't know. I'm still looking for him. I wonder if Goldman is still alive. Uh, you hate being on way. Oh yeah, again, like I do not envy anyone who is um on the issue of like they need like their doctor tells them they need to gain weight or they're in the muscle area where they need to gain weight because gaining weight's not easy if you are trying to eat healthily. Gaining weight is easier if you're eating like shit. I I've, I've done that. I know my life around that. Uh, how did I do that? I would make a plate. I would be really hungry. I'd make another plate. And then when I got hungry again, I'd eat that second plate. It's a lot of unhealthy eating. But healthy eating is just trying to hit a certain amount of, like, everything. Nutrients, everything, and it's very specific on how much you have to eat. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I'm mean, trying to gain weight, and I do not envy that. I know very well how, uh, how tough that can be. Good morning, Dark Fantasy. Hope you're doing great today. Hell, uh, there's a lot of, I had a buddy of mine who would, uh, he's, alright, chat. I had a buddy in college, and this guy, this guy, his resting caloric weight, so if he wanted to gain weight, he had to eat over this. 3,000 calories. He wanted to gain weight because he was like fucking like six foot six or something like that. Really tall dude. Okay, I'm playing Dead Rising. I'm doing Dead Rising. And he wanted, I think, to get up like 200 or something like that. Oh, I have the batteries yet. Hold on, the key. Oh, no, I don't need the key. That's right. Uh, 15 kilograms or whatever, still constantly active, and that's why I'm doing it. And then, the problem with that is being active is good, so you have to eat a fuck ton of food. And then also, there's a lot of time and eating a bunch. Like, I remember, uh, I remember my one favorite stories, uh, with this guy, because he had to eat a fuck ton of food, right? What he would do, we'd go to Jersey Mike's, I would get, like, a regular sandwich, he would get a giant, right? He'd order himself a giant, big fucking sandwich. He would devour this thing. We would get back from lunch. You know what he'd do next? It's the funniest shit. Wait, I don't do this room yet. Do I? No. No, I don't do this room yet. Oh, I hear that. No, the funniest shit that happened. Oh, I mean, that's pretty funny. But the funniest shit that happened. We'd get back from lunch and we'd start working. And then I'd hear a knock on the back of the door at our, our job. I would open it, and I see his girlfriend, and she has a full fucking order, order of Carl Jr. And then he would walk out, he would grab the bag, he would say all the hellos and stuff. He's like, oh, thanks. The man just fucking devoured a Jersey Mike sandwich. He devoured a giant, and then he had to eat more. Well, his resting caloric weight was fucking 3,000 calories, and he was six foot six. Oh, yeah, told me, like, the amount of money he had to spend on food, everything, it was just so fucking much. At one point, he tried devising a plan to turn his diet from, you know, like, regular food to a series of shakes. Why? He got tired- he was tired of eating all the time. So he just wanted to drink the calories, because it'd be easier. Because drinking shakes immediately does it better. Then he even told me he was gonna plan on, like, chewing gum to make it, like, more, you know, keep his jaw strong. I know very well the, the plights of someone trying to gain weight, and I do not envy it. I do not envy it at all. Shakes and beers. Well, again, the thing goes to the healthy weight. If you're trying to gain weight healthily, it's a pain in the ass. He was built different. The dude was huge. Yep, a lot of milk. Hell, I remember uh, my uh, my younger brother. He also tried uh, gaining weight too, because you know he he's he's really healthy. Uh, but you know he's not he's not a big dude. He he well, now he's he's larger now. He's definitely a lot larger. He's he's good and he's good. He's he's a good level. But, like, me, I've always kind of been a big guy. Why? I ate, like, shit when I was younger. 
And now I'm kind of in a permanent state of being, well, not permanent, but I'm much more managed. But also, I always had a bit more weight to work with. So for me, I don't have the problem trying to gain weight, I just have to lose it. Yep. See, so oh, hold on. Oh, we're doing. All right, chat. Moon, star, or sun. It's a different answer than last time. Let's see. You know your 6 2 calorie thing is? Hold on. Hey, we got it. Holy shit, it is moon. I said, your spare room is a home gym. Nice, I'm lemma. I'm nice. Oh, yeah, I bet. So I'm thick? No, I'm not thick. I'm I'm regular. Regular guy. Regular. So. I don't talk about this quite often in the world of it. Like on my end chat, right now I weigh like this morning I was 177. I want to get back down 175 flat, which is why I'm not drinking as much in the next few days. I kinda going I, I'm kinda going back to my I want to get down to low one like full low 170. Because I went from fucking 182 to 173 or 174, I think. Not 172, 174. And then after Halloween, up a little bit more. Because you know, wanting to drink and eat. And now I'm going back. Alright. Next time I have this event coming up, I want to be a little bit lower. Thanksgiving. Pay out. I got my shit managed. Why? I used to weigh 220 pounds, and then I dropped down to 190, and then I dropped down to 180, and then I got down to now I'm at 170. A 90 pounds lighter? Yeah. I remember Ray Pause. We're all gonna make it. But also, in general, like a lot of it's being happy with what you can be. Personal satisfaction is a large thing. And depending on how that goes. I know my buddy's pretty happy with his current weight, which he's like, uh, like somewhere in two hundreds. But he's also managing himself well. He works out and he he likes to drink and eat. Yep. So as long as you're able to know yourself, I think knowing yourself is the important thing there. Snip, snip, snip. Almost in that damn town. That's nice. So. But that's how you don't drink. I mean, I like to drink. My thing is, I just you know, I know where the, I know where the calories come from. You're so unhappy with your weights. You'll have to do something, VCR. Because you know, if you're unhappy, you're gonna have to make some kind of move. Not to say anything else, by the way. Like that being said, in terms of a lot of things, I think personal happiness is a huge fucking point to all this. This isn't something that I'm saying, oh, you're heavy, lose weight. No, no, it's a little bit different than that. It's personal happiness is the big idea I like to go with. Because you're going to know yourself better than anyone, realistically. Hold on. You know, the idea of knowing yourself, you're going to know where you're going to be happy at. You're going to know what things make you happy. That was a delicious mist. But let's go for some people. Some people, they like to eat. Some people like to drink. They don't want to give up everything. So there's a nice area of moderation one can have, but at the same time, people tend to know what they want to have for moderation. There's not really a one-size-fits-all solution, because very often, if you're healthy, you're good. That's the main thing. If you're healthy and you're happy, yeah. Job earns an average 600 calories a day. Yeah, I sit down all day and I talk a lot, so I have to make sure I work out. Because if I don't, then I... Yeah, I'm not going to be doing jack shit. I'd be, I'd be really conscious of my because I'm not, I'm not moving around a lot. You know what's getting all the exercise here? My fucking throat. Very well. Standing desk. Well, no, it's not so much the sitting down that's a problem. It's the fact that I don't move. I don't walk around a lot. I have to walk around. Also, no, I, would, I wouldn't want a standing desk. I, like, sitting desk is definitely needed for what I do. Wait, did you grab the battery? You did. Okay, you did. You did. And then also, there's stuff like, uh, what, doctor's visits to listen to your doctor, see what they say. Yeah. 
There we go. Uh, far ever lower than it was in most era too. I ended up losing some weight uh during COVID because I used to eat uh lunch a lot of my old job. I didn't realize how much I was eating, like you know, eating out. And then you know, starting from working home, I was like, wow, I uh don't go out as much, do I? There we go. Got it. Alrighty. Put shot. I'm gonna show you something fucking hilarious in a moment here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure five miles an hour is strip jogging at that point, or even running, depending on who you are. John Scoo. Thank you. GLHF with Clock Tower huh. Series Run EC It Dicey Love It Dicey Hyper. Jennifer, is that you? Helen? Helen? Jennifer. Oh, what? It smells good. I can't open the store. Thank you, John. Scoop the two over 17 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing great today. Yeah, it should be fun. This is Booyo Booyo mode. I'm turning it on because it's going to be hilarious here. All right, chat, ready? All right. This is why I want Buyo Buyo because this is fucking hilarious. This is gonna be uh, one of the big cutscenes where you need to uh, shoot the Scissor Man. So look at this high action gameplay. <laughs> oh no, she's crucified. All right, Helen, take a steady shot. Oh God! Buyo, buyo. Or Jennifer. She tried. Oh no! Jennifer's tripping. What are they doing? They're bouncing. And I was always under 10. That's good. I want to get back to running faster. I need to get back into running. I've been running a little bit. I used to be running a lot more, but now I started lifting because I'm getting, getting lazy. Don't you worry, Twitch Chat. I will get back into it. Or at least walking. Well, we're going to keep it short. We'll keep it nice and short. After this cutscene, it'll be turned off. I just want to show the one cutscene because it's fucking hilarious. Why did you? I remember the first time you came into my class. I warned you all about the danger of people who research abnormal crimes, finding themselves entangled in the mind of the criminal, and turning into the criminal mm. or herself. I warned you all to always be on your guard against it. No, it can't be. Let's see. I myself should have become trapped by the evil spirit of the scissor man. Ow. And Helen, are you sure the same thing won't happen to you? You wanted to be involved in the case from the start, did you not? Are you two being dragged into the abyss? No, I'm not going to be like you. <laughs> Let's see. Boom, boom. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. What am I looking for here? Let's see. I just love them bouncing. I like how he just dies and she's quiet at him. Oh, it's great, isn't it? The boings. Why did you turn it off? Motion sickness. It makes some people sick. Thank you, Syntharius. Yeah, I'm excited. I get to be an RTA in Japan. It's so hard to gain weight. Aw. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that for an egg blue sky. Remember, you gotta keep at it. That's the main thing. Ooh, I'm gonna be an RTA in Japan speedrunner chat. Jennifer. What have you? 
I have to ask, uh, I have to ask, uh, maybe a swordfish if I would be able to. Did you post the meme? Yes, he did. I, I, I've been showing it off on stream. I should I have it for this, uh, for this one? No, it's in my other ones. It's in my other ones, but I, I have it somewhere around here. Yeah. Hard work paying off. My hard work is submitting to a speedrunning event. So. You're not wrong, Dark Fantasy. You're not wrong. <laughs> Okay, I have the spell, have map. Okay, we're good. Yep. I'm definitely happy that I actually submitted it, though. Like, I was kind of wondering, should I even submit Dead Rising? But I was like, I'll submit Dead Rising. I put a lot of work into it. I've been wanting to see if I can try getting an RT in Japan. I submitted it last time, too, and they didn't take it. But this time they did. So I'm surprised. I'm really surprised that it worked out. I can definitely tell you, I wasn't expecting it. I was not expecting it in the slightest, Twitch chat. Yep, Dead Rising 1. Dead Rising 1's back on the menu. I like the game's movement. It's nice. But yeah. I can't believe it. Dead Rising 1. Oh, God. I'm not ready for Dead Rising 1 again. But I think I may have fixed the lag issue. I want to test it out hopefully soon, but I think I fixed the lag issue, chat. I think I actually may have fixed it. I did a lot of tinkering with my settings. By the way, has the stream been looking better the past few days? Yes or no? Like for anyone who's been watching. Do you think it's been looking better a little bit? I hope so. Oh, no, I mean, on mine, I want the, uh, the, the intermittent lag to go. I think I figured out what it was. You can't tell the difference? The problem is, I don't think I've played a game, uh... I don't think I've played a game that would have shown the difference yet. Because most of my games have been rather light, like Signalis isn't really a heavy game, Bug Island's been console, this has been console. We might be able to tell... I, I think I may have crowded. I think I did. The problem is, I don't know if I've played a game that's had it yet. Nice. That's the way of doing it. I forget people can watch Twitch on TVs. No, no, I played Escape from Bug Island. It's not Dead Island, sorry. Escape from Bug Island. Okay, GG. Let's watch the ending, chat. Oh, it's great. Bug snacks? No, not bug snacks. I gave him predated bug snacks. Although it's kind of bug. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Twitch chat, Twitch chat. I, I, I always look at Twitter when I'm doing things. I saw uh, me super tweeted about the fucking Strong Zero. <laughs> oh, God, I love that. I love that. It made me laugh. I like that. Hey! Yes, tw uh, yes, Twitch chat. GG. Any day now? God, since you had it, you had a time. Don't die here tonight is the dream game. It's already guided for Saw. Let's check it out. That's great. I like that. I like that. I like that. Anyway, we're going to watch the ending. But I like this ending more. It's so sweet. It's a sweet ending. I hope you're doing good today, Philmore. I hope you're having a nice one. Don't upset.
A couple of games into the marathon. We have plenty more a coming. Too late anyway. I'm telling you. Hey, thanks for the follow. The old die here tonight. Why does that sound familiar? I'm gonna look at that up. You will die here tonight. Oh yeah, that does- oh wow. That does look that already guy in, holy shit. That's cool. That's really cool. When's it out? Uh, demo coming soon. Okay. Yeah, that's neat. Holy shit. Oh, that played audio. Yeah, yeah it looks like Ari Gaiden. Jesus. Who the fuck wanted to make an Ari Gaiden game? I mean, I like it, but Jesus Christ. Anyway, Twitch chat, up next is Clock Tower Ghost Head, also known as Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. This is a be right to back moment because this is going to, uh, yeah, I can't skip these credits and we want to make sure we got the ending properly. So, break time. I'm going to play an ad. This is going to make sure that we don't get an ad during Ghost Head. It will be good. Oh, my back. Now, if you want to avoid the ad, consider subbing to the channel. Download an ad blocker. Glitch Turbo. As well, this is a normal be right back. So, hey, follow the stream if you've been enjoying it. Check out my social media. Consider subbing if you've been enjoying it. I'll mention that again just because I usually do that during the breaks. Hey, don't worry, Skip. I'm glad you've been enjoying it. Yeah, it's fun times. Our next game is going to be uh, Clock Tower 2 The Struggle of In. That's the bad one. Uh, I have to actually do a lot of console switching. Not console switching, but ghost head switching. And right now, it just credits. So, it's a be right back. I'm glad you've been enjoying it. Yes, chat. Stand up. Touch your toes. Stretch your legs, get a snack. I'm gonna probably get more water here because I'm oh, water. I'm gonna get rid of this can. So, all right, three minutes. All right, I'm playing ad. I'm not missing anything. It's just credits and music. So, alrighty, be right the back, chat. Be a right the back. All right, playing it now. Iris, you're in charge. Break legs if anyone misbehaves. Yes. Saul Goodman. Daddy, the rape. All those games and demos. Oh, 
Alrighty, Teddy. How was the how was the stream? Good. Nice. How are you doing, Brangu? Only for you two is only done. Oh, nice. We had a good stream. I'm Dices. I'm doing a lot of spooky games. We're doing Clock Tower Marathon. I have a banana. I'm waiting for the credits to finish so we get to our next game, which will be Clock Tower Ghost Ted. One of the worst ones. I don't know how Teddy, uh, I don't know how Teddy timed it there, but he did. typing but maybe uh I, honestly that seems like I, I don't know if that's i don't know what that is but uh probably all good uh you've been here for a while apparently i'm assuming a cat stepped on your keyboard or autocorrect yeah it feels like a phone in pocket mm -hmm. nothing bad hmm What's the fastest clear time of any game? Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Golden Freddy, a category you die instantly is in like point something seconds. There. Kind of can't beat that one. Rip. Yep. Yeah, uh, I can't really beat that one because it's literally like a uh, category that's like barely any time. No, I didn't get in trouble with GDQ. I'm not getting any troll GDQ. By the way, Twitch, I've heard of Teddy, did you see the meme yet? Because uh, we have the uh, <laughs> friendship ended with GDQ and ESA. <laughs> now RTA Japan is my best friend. So. I love that meme. It's fucking hilarious. I love it. Perfect. No, I'm not gonna get fired for a meme somebody else made. Yep, some runs are just really fast, and there's not really much you can do about it. Yeah, I love the con. I'd buy a Japanese PS2 for this game. Do you applaud laugh? I don't. Well, it's more the thing. Like, I can, I can, I can enjoy the meme, but I don't want to make it on my own Twitter because. I feel like someone would take like, oh my god, he, he look at what he posted on Twitter, and like I can't explain it. Meanwhile, here you can actually see it. it's like, yeah, no, no, it's fine. Someone can hear me talk like, yes, no, 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 we're okay. You know? It gets rid of that area of like, I, I don't want any like GDQ conspiracy theorists who are like, oh, he actually hates GDQ, see? No, no, I, I like GDQ, I'm cool with GDQ. I'm still working with GDQ and hopefully I get into the next event. It just a dumb. I also wanted. I wanted to do the meme of the. Uh, you know, this is the guy wearing like the like the sweatpants and the hoodie, and it's like dressing for my aunt's funeral, and then j dressing for blank. I wanted to be a uh, GDQ games list. Uh, just the guy in the sweatpants and the like the the hoodie, and then RJ in Japan games list. The guy in the suit. <laughs> I wanted to do that one too, but. I... Oh god. No, no inside information. No, no, I, I work for GDQ. I have a job with them. Oh, yeah. I was watching those sound. They would see me laughing. They see Twitch chat saying things. They have Mike plays with Prime Gaming. Six months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you very much. That would have been easy. Well, also, the friendship meme is better. I think the friendship meme is way better. It just, I, I was considering doing both. No, it takes place in Japan in the Japanese version, funny enough. They localized the location for some reason.
Second place in Bound? Uh, maybe, actually. I mean, actually, I have a... I have a 59 in this category, apparently. Be super, you have a Kyo one. You have the Kyo emote. Yeah. Kyo. Kyo already on there. I like Kyo. Anyway, uh... Let's get on. Let us... Again. I learn any Japanese for the... Yes, actually. I plan on learning Japanese sentences that I don't actually fully understand. I think that'll be fun. Zawa. Yes. It's gonna be fun. I don't think I'm definitely hoping that by the end of this I'll have more grasp of just general language and certain phrases. Because I definitely feel like if I learn the entirety of how to read something, even if I don't know what it is, I should know what it says by the end of it. Because I'm practice, you know, if I'm practicing certain phrases. So I'm not gonna know anything useful, but I'll definitely know about the uh, like you know, other st other stuff. So. Hey, once upon VCR, they even the tiered one. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and welcome to the swarm. Hope you are having a great day today, and thank you very much. I'm glad you've been enjoying the stream thus far. Hold on, there we go. When is RT in Japan? How much time do you have for practicing the language? So here's the thing. I'm not quite practicing the language. I know that's going to sound weird. Oh, how are you going to do a Japanese event without you understanding or how to speak Japanese? I originally planned this to be, to be a 10 minute run because I'm not going to lie to you. I thought they would take, uh, I thought they would take Silent Hill. I didn't expect them to take Dead Rising. So it's a two-step plan. Part one, I'm going to have an IRL buddy of mine who, uh, he, he does translation. He's an IRL friend. He can cook up something for me that will definitely, uh, work in the way of getting what I need to get. I took the wrong Silent Hill. No, they took a good Silent Hill game. They took the UFO stuff. That's good. I, they took good Silent Hill stuff. But for one, I'm going to type up most of the major cliff notes of a Dead Rising run, how I would normally give the commentary, and then I'm going to send it over to a friend. He's then going to help me uh, speak how I normally like to speak, and he will uh, help me be able to read that. He's also going to help me be able to know how to read that, right? So what's the backup plan? What's the secondary thing? The secondary thing is I, uh, one of my friends, one of my streaming friends, uh, Selena, uh, you know... Selena Hill or the Strong Zero Queen. Uh, we can call her the Strong Zero Queen. She told I, she's one of the ones who helped me learn about Strong Zero, her and Swordfish. But Selena, uh, she did the Silent Hill transmission. She's a friend of the stream, and a while ago when I mentioned us in RT in Japan, she actually offered to couch for me because she can speak both English and Japanese. Yes, the first pro horror gamer. Uh her. Um so she's going to help with a lot of the commentary. So I'm going to walk her through what a Dead Rising run is like, what I would generally talk about, and just a lot of the stuff going on with the game. And then also for some parts, I would still want to speak because, I, you know, I don't want to just sit there the whole time playing a game. I would like to do some speaking. So like that, Twitch chat. I'm able to read subway signs of this hiragana katakana. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm literally just gonna have the pronunciation of the words. Also, I was going Magando, but good. Magato. Also, hold on. Look, this isn't a game. I know, Matt. Probably doing good. Welcome to the stream. So, that is the plan. I'm literally just gonna have it be. Written down how to pronounce the words. I'm going to then uh, just hope to God that my buddy uh, can translate something good for me. Also, I'm paying him, so. It's also an IRL buddy who I know does translation work. He's a good dude. So, it's not going to be just be typing up an essay in, like, Deep L or something, and then, like, oh, yeah, you know, I can totally do it. No, no, I'm going to have something more, like, how it would actually be spoken. But also still have a hint of, you know, me in it. I don't want something too too ritzy. That makes sense. I, I think my buddy is the perfect candidate for that. And then also have, being able to have Selena help to clarify anything if needed is also good. 
I was stressing about it. I'm a fucking eight right now, man. I didn't think I would actually get into the event. You know? <laughs> like, how could I expect to get into the events? Oh, I'm gonna have fun, but it's still ter it's still terrifying, dude. Punchy was nervous, and Punchy speaks like Japanese. He's actually decently uh like he, he has jail PT level. That wasn't Tyler. I just tried to get in that way. Punchy did not get in this time, but he was in the last event. No, not the Virgin GEQ. They're both base, but RT in Japan's more base. Yeah, he got in the last event. He did English of the Dead. But also, he was nervous, and he actually speaks the language pretty well. Also, look, kick. <laughs> hold on. Oh, hold on. Not there. Let's do... That. Oh, this game's fucking hilarious. Yeah, she did. Uh, phonetic pronunciation or single English approximation? I don't know. I'm gonna have to talk to my buddy about the idea I want with it, and then hope I can uh, get something. Oh, the wrong way. That's fine. There you go. So that is the case, chat, and uh, I'm excited. I think it will go well. Um, hey, apparently I'm getting better at just being able to introduce myself. I'm slowly learning at least how to, I don't know, introduce myself to people. I see chat, now I can say, uh, Horde Game. Uh, Horde Game. Streamer. Uh, I, but how do you say speedrun in, how do you say, how do you say speedrun? RTA? I think it's RTA, actually. That's what a lot of the speedrunners say, they say RTA. Oh, of course. Makes sense. The RTA? Yeah, that's what I mostly know, I think. Nice. But we will see. Going good, dev man. I'll be doing good. I'm uh, kind of uh, loving the fact... Oh, wait, wrong way. Kind of loving the fact that we end up... Uh... One of the game is loadless. Dead Rising... I mean, Dead Rising does have a load remover, in fairness, but... Uh... Nah, we're good. RTA. So, that will be good, chat. That will be good. Alright, good. Go this way. Good stuff. Honestly, Ghost Head's not a bad speedrun. Of all the point and click games, it's definitely better. Oh, it's spooky, Jesse James. It is spooky. Mm. Subject, object, bird. Makes sense. But that will be the case, Jets. I'm just saying, I accidentally get myself into a lot of things without thinking. But I think it'll go well. I think it'll go well. Also, I just want to make sure I treat it professionally. It's a great honor to be able to uh, be in more events. I did play Song of Horror many moons ago. Not recently, but many moons ago. I was going to play the highest number of times. Probably Clock Tower, Dead Rising, or Silent Hill 1. Maybe Haunting Ground. I don't really know. There's uh, quite a lot of them, actually. But I'd probably wager Song Ho 1, maybe? Or Clock Tower, just because it's so short. Apparently, my top five games, according to Spe uh, according to Twitch, are... Also, Clock Tower's in the mix. I don't know where, but it's definitely up there. But my top five individual are... I know one Japanese Dead Rising speedrunner, but I think Selena should be good. Yeah, because I don't know if uh, Skin Gold speaks English. It might be harder to 
Uh, get the idea I want behind that. Meanwhile, I know Selena doesn't be very uh, good for me. As an English student cutscene run? It's been a while. Oh, it's remote. Remote. Doing it from home. My top five games are apparently, um... Dead Rising, Silent Hill 1, Haunting Ground, Parasite Eve... And I think Silent Hill 2. It's the creepy girl. She's been corrupted by the demon idol. I'm glad the headache's gone. He's the best part of the game, by the way. And then she stabbed. It's fucking wild, the story of this game. Why, why is she in stabbed? Because she's currently possessed by a demon. Tell me the story gets weird. I think there's two... Alright, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm pretty sure the story of this game is that they had two different ideas of what they wanted to do. Do I normally do the English version of this? I used to do the English version more, but I used to run that on emulator. Now I just do the Japanese version because then it's faster too. Japanese is faster by far. Oh, there you go. See, there's a demon in her. With the demon idol. But also, we skip most of the cutscenes anyway, so you don't really see a whole lot of them. But you get a lot of the same moves, like the kick. Okay. Alright, Twitch chat. Now, here's where the run goes to die. Ready? I must be very careful not to fuck anything up. Here I am, at the site of the murder. Okay, good. Oh boy. Should we snatch X food? You're not allowed to take my food. I already had a banana. Anyway, you still get to see all the all the bat shit uh stuff in this game like this, watch. By God! That's Alyssa with a steel chair! Bomb. Then Alyssa tears her in half. Then you can talk to a, a guy who like has the same fit as Hank Hill and the haircut. I call him Hank Hill. It reminds me of Hank Hill. My God, they're broken in a half. That's the other idea. No, no, is that Raw? Is Raw's making pulls again? Sounds like a Raw's bowl. No, no gremlins attacking. No, no gremlins. It's a Raw's bowl. No gremlins attacking. Not allowed. No gremlins. I need my fridge. How are you gonna steal my fridge? Also, Twitch chat, if you're wondering, is there any cool speedrunning skips? Uh, it's this. You just keep doing this. You grab a broom and, uh... Pop. And then, uh... You just keep doing it. No, no, Reese. No, how's it going? Uh, I don't actually know. Maybe. Bots okay with no more. He's kind of the king of this game. Wait, you just keep doing this every time. I'm not gonna play all the cutscene any more than that. You get the two. And I guess whenever I deliberately fuck with this section, I get really bad at, uh, just, uh, doing this, so...
Also, all right, so Ghost Head's a weird game uh, design-wise. It's going good. Hope you're having a nice day today. Reese, I announced my King of the Silent Hill events. I said all the runners and commentators. I'm excited. I think a lot of, a lot of good peeps are a part of that. Yep. So, there's only one runner I'm currently not talking about, because there's still to be determined, and that's for Silent Hill 3. But otherwise, if you're curious on them, feel free to ask. I'll tell you the runner and commentators. Uh, they're also allowed to talk about their own area, so there's that too. It's going good, Inland Empire. Welcome back. Elevator. Down we go. And the last zombie killed will be good. Back inside. Yes, it is It is good, I would say. Wait, no, not that one. It's not that one. It's this one. There we go. Nice. Make sure I got that. I'm not going to fuck it up this time. We'll be more than fine. I got to make absolutely sure I do everything. I got to get rid of the amulet. I got to get the gun. I got to do everything right now because I usually fuck this up. Also, there's a key right there. There we go. See? Nice and easy. Okay, got the amulet, got the key. I need to get the locker in the sink. And then I have to turn into baits. I've done all the Alyssa stuff right now. I don't need any more Alyssa stuff for a while. Uh, so turn on the lights, go to the locker, then the sink. You don't do it in this order, then the lights turn off, they have to do it again. There's a lot of convoluted shit in this section. See, now I have a gun. And then the light turns off, so I can't search anything if I wanted to. And then after this, here's what we're going to do, Twitch chat. Oh no, here's a guy, I better avoid him. Wait, Alyssa, what are you doing? I can't believe it. Kick him in the dick. So, chat, here's the problem with the Clock Tower Ghost Head game. In Clock Tower Ghost Head, the only way to transform is by getting into combat. And in order to beat the game, you have to play the game as both Alyssa and Bates. Or, uh, Chu, or Sho and, uh, Chu, I think. You, you, yeah, you, okay, you. You and show. So, what's the problem you might be asking? Well, the problem is that I need to do a couple things as baits. I always forget them. This game's a weird game in general. Is your favorite, uh, most known speedrun? Uh, yeah. Either SNES or, uh, Haunting Ground. Best ones easily. How's it your thug? Going good. Doing the Clock Tower games, and I am in RTN Japan. So I am excited. Also, doing some Ghost Head. I don't know how much you know about this game. This game's fucking wild. It's so stupid. I love it. But also, I hate it. But I love it, but I hate it. A little bit of A, a little bit of B. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is normally the part of the marathon where I fuck up somewhere and then the whole thing dies. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen today. Maybe it won't. We will see. Night key. Why does Rodel have so many Polka Melly songs? Uh, he, he likes Polka, and sometimes it's more efficient than having to make a whole song about a parody when he can do one quickly. Efficiency, that's why.
Is there a medkit over there? Or is it over here? No. Is there not a medkit? Oh, fuck. I guess I should get it later. Nope, get it later. Ever play Nightcry? Yes, actually. I've been wanting to make a whole ass video about Nightcry for the longest time. I uh, ran it. That's actually my first ever real GDQ run, in fact. I love Nightcry a lot. Well, I mean, part A, part B. He's a polka artist for one, but also can consider the following. You can make a lot more parodies for songs if you do a polka medley, because you, sometimes you don't always have ones that you want to do, but you kind of want to do them. You know? And also, it keeps track of a lot of the trends of the era that you can't always get to that you don't have full ideas for. That's my guess. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong on the on that part. But yeah, uh, Nightcry, I know a lot about it. I know a lot about the development. I played it back and forth the entirety. Uh, hey, you're going to be seeing it later. We're doing it today. Um, Nightcry is a game that is brimming with passion. It is absolutely a, a big pile of steaming passion. Also, yeah, that's actually where the Crave emote comes from. Uh, Crave and... Uh, the other one. Assets. I'm dead. Well. It's all good. Unlucky was in the head. Good kill. All right, got it. Rock scissors? Yes, Nightcry. So the problem with Nightcry, though, is while it is brimming with passion, uh, it's also a crock of shit. But it's my crock of shit. And I love Nightcry. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's good. At all. He usually calls it polka, polka, uh, polka medleys, though, Gex. Yeah. I know it was in control, it's the glow. If you're not glowing, you're you or Alyssa. If you are glowing, you're Bates or Show. Oh, uh, well, you're gonna see it later, and I'll show you some of the fun parts too. Hey, which movie? Oh, the parody scene, I gotcha. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you Nightcry is good, but also with Nightcry, there's a whole other issue, and that issue becomes, uh, well, the game wanted, I think, 350, uh, I wanted $300,000 on Kickstarter, right? It wanted that much money. They got 316, I, I think like $316,000 or something like that. Now, they didn't have a high budget, um, it had a lot of prominent backers, though, and, like, when you see Nightcry, I'm gonna tell you some people who worked on it, and you're gonna think I'm fucking with you. But, no, it had a lot of big names on it, it had a lot of good backers. Like, it's kind of wild how much really went into Nightcry. But, they barely made their money back, and also, it's kind of a chicken or the egg, because on the one hand, a lot of the issues are definitely due to budget, but on the other hand, a lot of the issues are due to some weird designs. Like, you can't really, like, claim some of the wacky fucking deaths are dedicated because they didn't get the money for it. Hell, literally, the, uh, the very first death of the game is advertised on the Kickstarter, and, like, a lot of people make fun of it because it's so fucking silly, because it's so out of left field. Also, like, there's a part where you die in a washing machine because you just tumble to death. Uh, if you go look at ice cream, you get jump scared. And, like, they're very, very campy. Yeah, the director of The Grudge was involved. Uh, Masahiro Ito was involved. There's a lot that goes into the history of Nightcry. And, I, again, I would love to make a video about it or just learn how, but I don't have the time all the time. Anyway, uh, for those of you who don't know about this game, uh, here's this. I don't want to play the cutscene right now. I accidentally skipped it. It's a rail shooter. You have to kill 30 of them. The order is man, uh, nurse, uh, doctor, nurse, patient. Meaning the only one that will ever be primed to attack you is what uh, the order. So if the doctor's attacking, the nurse, if she gets close, will just walk away from you. 
And a nurse and a man? Right, men can be nurses. However, that's very obviously a doctor right there. That's very obviously a nurse. That's just the order here. No, it's not a stereotype. She's dressed as a nurse. That's all it is. And that man right there is definitely a doctor. They're wearing a doctor's outfit and a nurse's uniform. And then a, a patient outfit. And it's all the same patient, too. They only have three models. They're not going to go beyond that. Yes, I'll go full body. Full body right here. The shotgun is very efficient. They're also all green. Now, you have to understand, this is actually a representation of American healthcare. <laughs> oh, God. The symbol, get out. <laughs> Hey, tell me I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. Oh, I got the zingers. Oh, okay. All right, now comes the time of the run where I forget how to play the game. So I pull up my notes. It pretty much is, isn't it, Roz? But yeah, like, honestly, I have a whole lot I want to talk about it. Clock Tower is a series I can talk about to death. Like, the more more talking out loud today, I actually realize I have another Clock Tower video I want to make. But the problem is, I might just make more like that Silent Hill video. Like, I don't know, uh... I don't know how many of you watch the Silent Hill trailer video, but I really like more freeform stuff instead of having it just be, like, hardcore script. I, I Maybe I still want a script outline of what to talk about, but, like, I do like the freeform I had a lot more. I felt more comfortable. Like, a lot more comfortable. I didn't do bad either. So there's that. That was great. Thank you. I'm glad that you think so. Um, I want to make a Clock Tower one about that because Clock Tower has a theme throughout the entire franchise that I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk about, which is the theme of intrusive thoughts. I think saying, I have a video about Clock Tower, and it's about intrusive thoughts in the Clock Tower series. Because realistically, if you're wondering, where does Clock Tower excel at? Will they ever reboot it? I think they might. At some point, it'll come back. I mean, it already got rebooted. They got a game in 2021, chat. It was a... It was cinema. Peak cinema. Well, the thing is... So... Uh, you're with how much of the Clock Tower series have you have you seen? I've been 2021 Clock Tower Mobile. You know what? I will make that video. I'm absolutely going to make that video. I think it's a great fucking idea. No, no, it's intrusive. It's the idea of intrusive thoughts. It's not specifically OCD. It's the idea of the Clock Tower series, when developed by human, consistently focused on the topic of intrusive thoughts and how the villains affect them. I have a very, uh, I have a pretty good angle on the whole thing. I do know exactly how I'd want to word it, and every Clock Tower game has an example of it. I wouldn't say this is the most infamous one these days. I definitely say I think Clock Tower Three might get that title. A lot of people seem to know about that one because of the, uh, just more people had access to it, I think. Love the second game? You mean Clock Tower PS1, or do you mean this one? Hold on. Wait, hold on. Let's, uh, talk to her first. Our third? Yeah, yeah, all right. We do it. We do the order properly here. Just because otherwise I get confused the fuck out of for people. This game's all right, but it has too many design flaws. Neat game. Just a lot of issues. What's the issue? Look at this shit. So, also has anyone cheating? You know, though, if you've never seen this game, the problem with it is it's a point and click game. That's not a problem. That's not bad. But the only, the only way to beat the game, it requires you to transform between Alyssa and Bates. Alyssa is the regular character. Bates is kind of a new character who gets guns and shit. She has a little bit more power than the other characters because uh, she has the ability to use gun. That's good, right? So here's the dilemma you might be wondering. The dilemma is that the only way to become Bates is by removing the amulets in your inventory and getting attacked. 
meaning it's entirely based on an enemy. So a lot of the game requires you to get into combat and then losing combat, which also requires you to be uh, having the ability to lose a health state. So you can see I had to get back to blue. There are three health states, blue, yellow, and red. If you're on red, you're dead. You can't win. There's no way of mashing out of it. You won't be able to mash out of red. There's no way. The only thing you can mash out of is yellow and blue. So you're always going to be in yellow as baits unless you heal, because you had to take one tick of damage to get to baits. Now, the problem as well is that certain requirements force you to be Bates or Alyssa. In the hospital, Bates has one command that she needs. Or, I guess he needs. Bates is weird. Bates is a cruel alter ego of Alyssa. And they actually do gender them differently in a weird way. This is really strange because the game locks you out of, like, let's, you know, bathrooms. Only Bates can go in the men's room and only Alyssa can go in the, you know, the ladies' bathroom. It's really weird they just wouldn't let you go in either one, because, you know, every other game just lets you go in whatever fucking bathroom you want to, but this game made it a game mechanic to where, okay, you're playing as Bates, only in the men's room. I guess it's politeness or some shit? I don't fucking know. But both of the characters will internally memorize that. Oh no, I'm dying, and the only protection is in this bathroom. I guess I'll die. Cool. Hold on, uh... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh... Oh, I still say bait. Okay, I'm bait. Oh, I say bait, that's right. Wait, it's not even going to the bathroom. It's physically entering the bathroom. I feel that's so much worse, right? That makes sense. I mean, it's a Japanese-developed game. It is kind of funny, though, because, like, all right, I'm about to die. Well, I lived a good... I had a good run. <laughs> I had a good run. <laughs> Very polite. Also, look at this long-range shotgun. Oh my god. But the problem with this is that if you kill all the enemies, as you can see right now... Also, yes, uh, Lissa uses uh, weapons like chairs, which are actually better than the guns, funny enough. And Bates will use weapons like guns. She actually can't use chairs. And Alyssa can't use guns. You see the problem here. At a certain point, if you don't manage the enemies properly, you're going to be shit out of luck. Because the only way to turn back into bait is to get into a fight with an enemy and lose the fight. But also, you know, get out of the fight. And then, you need to make sure you have an enemy. If you kill them all and you accidentally become Alyssa again, you can softlock. The game is absolutely a pain in the ass. I'm not even talking about bullshit like the samurai crushing that's infamous. Which everyone knows about the samurai crushing. Which, I mean, all the games do that. They all, all the games have something that's like, Oh, hey, uh, you're doing this? Okay, you fucked up. Alrighty, uh... One moment... You don't have ammo as base, you just, uh, die. Uh, you could, unless you find another gun. You still have to know where the other guns are. Also, certain puzzles only relate to Alyssa or Bates. A good example here, I'm Alyssa again, right? Why? Because if I decide to go into this room as Bates, I can't solve the puzzle as Alyssa, who has an easier time. Which is fucking hilarious. This room right here. The act of entering this room. I'm bouncing what the fuck. That's weird. All right, stop bouncing. The mere act of entering that room has given me the Alyssa puzzle. The Bates puzzle, I don't remember how to do. Also, Alyssa can destroy people with steel chairs. She just is straight up better because she can kill enemies and keep them down. With Bates, you have to shoot at the right spot. So you have a pistol. If you didn't hit the brain or wherever the parasite is, you have to kill it. So. Why, is my, why is my game shaking? It's so weird. Well, again, Clock Tower 2 is kind of weird because I feel like they went into two different plot lines. Like, I didn't feel like they were trying to make it two different plot lines. I feel like they started on one idea, and then later on, they really was like, hey, no, Resident Evil, guys. Resident Evil exists. We can do it now. Well, I don't think the game was meant to be zombies. The way it, like, chapter one and chapters two and three are two very different games, and they don't even relate. 
like they sort of relate with Alyssa, but realistically, you can cut out chapter one and make an entirely different game out of that. And chapter one is admittedly the best part of the game as a whole, which is kind of hilarious. I think what happened is in chapter one, they likely wanted to make a game more like Clock Tower. Meanwhile, once they got past chapter one and ended up going to, you know, chapter two onward, it was like, hey guys, remember Resident Evil? We need zombies. Where are the zombies? Oh, fuck. Just spray them everywhere. We have zombies now. The reason why is because Clock Tower Ghost Head goes back into that theme I talked about. Which is the idea of, you know... Uh, intrusive thoughts. In the beginning of Ghost Head, you still have the idea that the, the enemy in that area is getting corrupted by the demon idol. The presence of the Barrows family, the presence of the Scissor Man, or any remnants of the Scissor Man, because the demon idol made its way throughout the entire franchise and is canon from the first game. The only thing that relates from the first game comes up in this game. And it's such a cool idea that uh, the entire family ended up getting uh, just corrupted by having the mere presence of it. And it ended up kind of going to their most intrusive thoughts. And then allowing them to act upon it. Wait, I didn't do that right. I thought I did. Actually, I could have been... Ah, fuck it, it's fine. Oh no, the zombies are an excuse to try to make a Resident Evil game. That's what the zombies are. This video essay? I adore Clock Tower. I adore it. But yeah, throughout the entirety of the Clock Tower franchise, there's been countless groups that end up just, you know, start they start killing people. They start living out their worst um, versions of themselves because of the influence of the Demon Idol and the Scissor Man. I think it's right. Yes. By the way, Twitch, I'm barely using my notes this run. And it's something I didn't even think about until I started talking about it a lot. I've had the thought in my head, because I always use it to explain things. And, like, you know what really gave me the idea initially? It's the idea that in Clock Tower PS1, a lot of people ask, why is the dog bad? He was such a good boy. And then I thought, you know what? You're right. He was. The line of dialogue is that the old man actually says that, what's wrong with you, boy? That you're acting strange. Meaning that the dog is not just, like, fucking Cujo. You know, it's actually kind of just... Possessed. Alrighty, good shit. All the way around. All the way around, Orange Deity. All the way around. You're supposed to do that. All the way around. You got the wrong side. If you don't interact with the, with the uh, samurai armor, you will get the worst ending. You'll get a bad ending later in the game. Not the worst ending, but a bad ending. You must interact with the samurai armor in the early game. If you do not, you are screwed. Right, that's if you don't do it. If you do it, you don't get that. If you don't look at it, you do get that. All the way around. I think I went the wrong way. Eh, not the end of the world, it's fine. It's not, it's not like a bad wrong way. It's like an all right. Right. Just remember, though. It's the other way around. You must look at the statue. If you do not look at the samurai statue, it later will kill you by getting crushed on you because they throw it on you. By the way, that actually does get explained. The idea behind it is uh, your cousin's uh, been crammed inside of the uh, samurai statue and he's also possessed. So in the first level of the game, you end up having two stalkers chasing you around instead of one, uh, depending on the room you enter. So by activating the statue, it won't be around later to crush you, meaning that's the idea behind it. And a lot of people won't activate the statue because either one, they're afraid to talk to it, or two, they just, you know, don't want to do it. It doesn't chase you, don't examine Correct. You won't, you have to examine the statue and activate it. If you don't activate it, uh, you won't be able to do it. So you must do it, in fact. No, he, uh, what happens if you don't activate is your cousin dies and they just throw it on you like a prank. It's pretty fucking funny, actually. But also, all Clock Tower games have that. And the original Clock Tower, uh, if you don't, uh, view the early game stuff, yeah. Why do you think that not tying a ramp statue would mean you screw yourself in the later half of the game? All Clock Tower games do this. All of them. 
But what about Clock Tower P? What about, you know, Clock Tower of Jennifer and Helen? Oh, yeah, you didn't get the flashlight level one? And guess what? You fucked yourself. It's not. All Clock Tower games do this. You didn't grab the oil can? You can't get the best ending. You didn't grab the, uh, the flashlight? You can't get the best ending. It's, uh, just a part of Clock Tower. Hell, you didn't free the crow? You can't get the best ending. A lot of these things require... I mean, it's good design. It's Clock Tower design. That's the thing. It's very known in the Clock Tower series. It's what they do. I don't think Clock Tower is as cryptic as Siren. I mean, apparently Sunsoft's open to licensing it, so if Dead by Daylight wants to do it, they probably could. Not even kidding. The problem is, though, I don't think they can make it anymore. Or if they did, it wouldn't be the same. As I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually thought about a Sister Man killer, and then later on, the killer idea became what's now known as the Dredge, which is the ability to teleport to lockers. The problem as well is the best design for a Scissor Man killer is going to be one of the worst ones because nobody's going to be happy with it. I guarantee it. And no problem recycling mechanics. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, I can actually tell you straight up how you would make a Scissor Man killer, but you're not going to like it. No one's going to like it. Guess what it is? Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Yep. Tripping. You would make the power panic. Uh, when the panic meter starts filling, uh, they start tripping. Well, tripping's a really good idea when you think about it. It really enough is something in the Clock Tower franchise that's been very consistent. The more you panic, well, no, they can base it on the whole franchise and just have like you know stumbling, tripping, or being more vulnerable. Like you become exposed if you hit full panic. And you start uh, taking like a movement speed uh, to kind of buff. You kind of mix all the games. Uh, the actual design you'd probably want to pull from PS1 because it makes the most sense to have Dan be the guy and not have it be Bobby. Because Dan can theoretically come back because he just kind of goes in the void and you don't really see him again. But then the idea is, you know, the games in Clock Tower have you have going from full health to red health. What you would do is the more you're kind of jump scaring the enemy, kind of like Sadako, uh, you would end up leaving them to become exposed. So you'd probably have a lighter effect of that and combine it with the idea of jump scares, kind of like the dredge like I talked about. So, a lot few more people are playing it again. I've been playing Haunting Ground since 2018. <laughs> so, Haunting Ground is not going to ever happen for, uh, like, they're not going to make a DLC for that. I love Haunting Ground, but Dead by, it won't go to Dead by Daylight, I guarantee that. I'm assuming they make another, uh, they make a remake of some shit. Look at all the items I did. Okay, we're good. Chad, I'm actually doing really good. I don't think I need my notes for this game anymore. I think I finally had a point. A remake would be great. It'll probably be more of a HD remaster than anything. I don't see a spinoff for Huey. You know that already exists and nobody plays it because it's boring. Believe it or not, people don't like playing as the dog. I know, I know you're being, I know you're joking, being cutesy, like, oh, dog, cute. No, no, no. There's a playable Huey mode, and nobody likes it. Literally, nobody wants to play it. Oh, this is red key. Yeah. Oh, of course, Iris. But in terms of having like Clock Tower DVD, like I actually have put some thought in that. And I definitely think the idea of panic is the best way of doing it. Scissor Man's weird because Scissor Man isn't exactly short. Scissor Man is more, um, what's the word? It's a hunch. Scissor Man's approximately the height of Professor Barton, who's considered to be, I think, one of the taller characters. Yeah, it's a hunch. Uh, Scissor Man's height is whatever Barton is, and he's decently tall, actually. Even as Dan, he still ends up being. Isn't he usually controlled by a child? Not necessarily. So, in Clock Tower PS1, uh, the Scissor Man is indeed meant to be um, Dan. However, it's not quite Dan in the way you expect it. Mainly because Dan isn't exactly the most normal character. While he's a child, Barden and Dan end up being the same height, or Harris and Dan end up being the same height. Now, I'm pretty sure uh, two different hated men are at the same size as a child. He has a way to kind of contort his appearance you don't quite see. And this could be assumed reasonably. 
So realistically, the act oh, hold on, I still get in combat. The actual height of the scissor man is whatever Professor Barton is most likely. So he'd probably be average, not small, believe it or not. The only original game where it's oh, I, I had to die there. I didn't have the health for that. And I, like I said, I need to take damage. As uh, going jo uh, Jojo, Can we just call it Ghost Head. It's more of a spinoff, and it's easy. Just ghost calling it Ghost Head makes it way simpler. Ghost Head, Clock Tower, Ghost Head. So the thing is, this actually goes back to the whole video idea I had I'm going to make. It's all onto the idea of corruption. Clock Tower is very much in the idea of being corrupted. Hell, I think one of the original endings that Hifumi Kono wanted, or like, I think it's like, it's something with the book, I think, is that Jennifer has a nightmare about being like the mother of Bobby and Dan. And like, that's fucking wild, isn't it? And like, she essentially becomes Mary in one of her worst nightmares. The idea of corruption is a huge fucking thing. Believe you me. Yeah, it's going great. Right? I can't believe it, THK, right? Anyway, also, a uh, Europa, here's a funny thing. So you see how I got rid of that amulet? I, I grabbed the amulet to take off the amulet. Why? Because if you're baits during this cutscene, you die. If you're wearing the amulet, you also die. So you have to, if you're baits, put back on the amulet so you can turn into Alyssa, so then you can take off the amulet so you then turn back into Bates so you can go into this cutscene. If you do anything else, it's immediate game over. You get a bad ending. That's it. It just... GG. It's over. Yep. That's why I had to drop the amulet. I had to get rid of Bates so I can become Alyssa. I mean, again, you die. Yes, you just die. Do you get hints for that? The hint is make a save before it happens and hope to god you didn't softlock. Or buy a strategy guide because you lived in the 90s. The hint is subscribe to twitch.tv slash ignisus. But you got Nintendo Hotline? This is a PlayStation 1 game. So, uh, nope. Ah, uh, zone to Zaku Guardian. Thanks. Yeah, it's been a good time. We got Clock Tower 3 brewing after this. will be a good time. Exactly, Sunrise Shortcake. This isn't a hospital. You got dragged to an underground lab. How did Signal Game end? If you haven't seen it, I recommend watching it for yourself. It ended. Like, literal cinema. Now, I don't use the word cinema lightly, chats. You know me. But, Signalis is literally cinema. Don't you know that, chats? Literally cinema. Why is that game bouncing? What the fuck? Hey, thanks for the fall. I highly recommend checking it out if you can, Drev. Almost done. Easy enough? Oh, yeah. More cinema than Escape from Bug Island? Yes. This one? Yes, okay. Come on. Yeah, I kind of realize how fucking weird it is that some games do really well here. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't expect Escape from Bug Island of all fucking games to be so good. Like, it was fun to play, and it's really weird what games do well. Like, here's my favorite example. Hey, guys, here's Hit New Game Scorn. It's a really cool puzzle horror game. Crickets. Hey guys, here's a piece of shit I found in some goddamn bargain bin called Escape from Bug Island. And then it's the funniest shit I've ever seen. Here's a crock of shit I found. 
Oh god. Also, it's kind of weird though, because it's not even necessarily a game that should be good or bad here, because Signalis did fucking great. I have played Harvester, actually. I like Harvester. Kind of. Parts of it. That is true, they rule. How can I forget about the, uh. God, I fucking love the meme, by the way. It's the, uh. What's the word? The, uh. <laughs> you have. <laughs> Lizard women, dog men, and barbed wire. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, hold on. It was, uh, wait, no. Dog men, lizard women, and non-binary barbed wire. It was the, uh, all the, we counted all the, uh, the basics. Yeah, I played, uh, Michigan Report from Hell a while back. Wait, hold on, I, hold on. Just making sure I get, hold on, just making sure I'm good here. I'm, I'm right at the end. Okay, amulet, yes. No, you don't combine them. No, they were not barbed canine men. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. Oh, no, we, we made the joke about end by uh, barbed wire because, like, it listed, like, dog men, lizard women, and barbed wires, like, the three things in a chapter. It's like, wait, what? Why is, why is these the listings? And it kind of fit in the modern age. It's a fun time and a, a fun meme for everyone. Exactly. See, I like the three gender joke when it's fun, but I don't like it when it's mean. I don't like being mean in that case. Like, my favorite uh, joke with trans people is the, uh, do you know how a trans samurai kills their enemies? They slash them. It's a dumb dad pun, and I fucking love it. That's why I also like the other one as well. I like the, uh... Ah, yes. There we go. Yeah, surprisingly enough, there's a lot of jokes you can make without being... mean. Or directly mean, I should say, even. There's kind of, I guess, what's the word? The weight of it? You'll pay that one? Hey. <laughs> it's a simple one. It's a nice pun. Although everyone hates puns, but everyone loves puns. Everyone loves to groan at puns. I like puns. Unless they're not using guns. Uh, Bates has the uh, the spirit of an American man in her. Well, uh, Alyssa does not. Been a long time to get that one. It's fun, though, when you do get it, though, Hooded Yoro. Exactly. If you're not punching down, I think that's the difference. Like, there's. All right, let's go. Like, I'm. All right, by the way, I'm just gonna say this. I'm gonna say the like the thing. I'd be wondering different ones. Like the difference here between let's go because you you know you hear a common one and people mention uh, this is obviously one that's in bad taste and it's usually annoying too. It's never funny. The um the 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 helicopter one. It's always annoying. People are trying to do that to like just make fun of them, demean them. But let's go a good example of another one where like. Because, you know, they mentioned the, the three genders joke. Usually it's mentioning, like, weird things how are weirdly stated in, like, forms. And, like, they add, like, a third option. It's like, ah, yes, we're covering all of our bases. And it's usually a more inclusive thing that's much nicer. And it's not really mean because it's usually kind of having it in a way that's like, okay, this is all just sort of weird and it is actually pretty inclusive in that way. It's also not punching down. And there's a lot of examples of that on uh, different social media. Exactly. There's a difference between having a joke with people and at people, so. And that's the difference. A transparent. Ah, uh, the transparent one's funny. I think I've heard that one. Transplant. Exactly. Barbed wire fits people's personality. It's not insulting them, it's barbed wire. And same sentence, you're also saying dog men, lizard women, and barbed wire. So it's a fun, inclusive way that's not exactly punching down. And you can go uh, with that, like, in a variety of different ways that they've been all around online. Especially since barbed wire is kind of badass. Hmm. Ow. Anyway, let's see how fast I can mash buttons. 
Oh, yeah, that's the one. It was cool hat. It was cool hat. I know that. I think that's where it started, right? Cool hat. Oh, God. Spare a lot. We've been the Prime game for six months. Enjoy the emotes and the green scissors. And yeah, I'll be hey, no worries. I'll be doing good. Hope everyone is doing well. A wee bit late, but congrats on RTA Got it. All right, last one. Yeah, that one, Phoenix. That's what it is. And thank you very much, Sparrow. Hope you're doing good today. RT in Japan's cool stuff. The mugs? Yeah. Cool hat. What are you? Cool hat. Uh. Hmm. Haven't you seen me before? Yeah! Alright, ready? Let's see. I can actually get a 55. Hold on, hold on. Time. I can get a 55. What the fuck's a PB in this game? Oh, hold on. Bullshit! Oh my god, I was literally mashing my ass off. Fuck you, game. Only in third place? Not anymore. <laughs> oh god. I can get better at this game. I kind of fucked around with it too. Maybe not? It would have if I did if I mashed it better. Oh, that's funny. I don't even know what my PB is though, because I, I don't run this category now. I actually do run it, I just don't submit it. Let's see. Let us see. Ah, oh, here we go. Alright. Well, at least I probably have a better time in this game, I think, technically. Ah, oh, it's in Robin. Great to see you. Hope you're doing good today. Oh my god, I I want to learn what button it is. Oh god, how's another one going? Fucking ghost head. God, I hate this ending. So, I don't know what button it is. I usually just try to mash all of them repeatedly. So, I just literally get my thumb and just ram in all four of them. But if you don't mash it perfectly, you die. The ending of this game kind of sucks. So. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, isn't this a race? Do I have a square circle? I don't know. It could be like... It's a panic button. The panic one's weird, though, because, like, I think it's more than one. Yeah, hope you have a nice day, too, Cerise. Oh, again, the plot of this game is I feel like they had two different games. One of them was Make a Clock Tower game, then afterwards it's Make a Resident Evil game. Thank God after this button spam stops. And then I get a P. Well, alright, so I hate the era of games where successful franchise wanted to jump into Resident Evil. I really hate games that did that. For some reason, there's a lot of games that are just, hey, we already had a really cool game. What if we did Resident Evil? That was successful. Parasite Eve did it, Clock Tower did it, and the only really good example I can give that did it in the strangest way is Alone in the Dark. Like, Alone in the Dark definitely did it better than a lot of the other ones, really enough. But it's weird because Alone in the Dark kind of already did, like, Resident Evil before Resident Evil. But it's definitely can be said that New Nightmare was definitely, hey, it did. That's the weird thing. So Alone in the Dark existed before Resident Evil, but New Nightmare was much more like Resident Evil than Alone in the Dark. It's kind of... So, again, it's weird. Alone in the Dark for the original games are in a much weirder spot than the other ones. Oh my god, I finally got it.
I was making a vid on the series. I love Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve 1. Oh god, you're with like, you're gonna be happy. A lot of people are gonna be happy. Parasite Eve Christmas is coming back! I fucking love Parasite Eve Christmas so goddamn much. Like, the moment Thanksgiving passes here... Parasite Eve, Parasite Eve, Par it's becoming my new, like, haunting ground grinding game kind of thing. Like, the extended haunting ground, Parasite Eve's coming in. Yep. I am ready. So. Well, in the Dark is fun. I still like the original games. Uh, 3 is the only one I kind of had an issue with, but the moment I started playing with the guide, I was so much better off about it. I think Alone in the Dark can be really appreciated if you let go of your hubris. You know, that's a weird fucking thing. There are certain games, like the better game that inspired... Well, I, Sweet Home was inspired by... Uh, oh, sorry, Sweet Home did inspire Resident Evil. It absolutely did. Like, it is straight up, they wanted to make a Sweet Home game for the PS1, but they couldn't. They didn't want to get back the license or something, so they ended up making Resident Evil. And it utilized everything in Sweet Home. Sweet Home was first game to do limited inventories. It kind of had the whole mansion horror vibe. It had quite a lot. I actually really like Sweet Home. It doesn't come up very often because it's kind of in a weirder area. I should run the old category of Sweet Home again before they found the really wacky shit. Because, uh, yeah. But I also need to speed around with the wacky shit. Yep, the moment Thanksgiving passes, we are doing Parasite Eve. But Parasite Eve 2 I have complaints about because it's more like Resident Evil than it is Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve 1's much more in the RPG and like, okay, this is awesome. And Parasite Eve 2 takes away much more to the, uh... You find Ace? No, but you can clip through all the walls in the game. And you end up fighting the final boss at like level 8. It's kind of insane. Parasite 2 also did kill the series. However, it's weird. Anyway, chat, really quick. I'm going to get back on this conversation in a moment. However, I need to pee. More importantly, we're watching the ghost head credits because I need to have it. How's that happen in an RPG? Look at the world record. That's the best I can say. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's wild. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyway, enjoy the credits. Uh, we're going to be right back with Clock Tower 3. I'm going to be setting up the game once I'm back, and then we'll be good to go. We're going to be getting to the back, uh, you know, about halfway point of this marathon. So. That's because Zyla Crest was made to be Resident Evil. Anyway, I'm going to be right back. Enjoy the music. Uh, stand up, touch your toes, grab a snack. The credits will be rolling. Use some long ones. Uh, if you haven't enjoyed the stream, follow the channel. It's appreciated. Feel free to check my social media. It's all there. And then I'm going to play an ad. If you want to avoid the ad, consider subbing to the channel. Use your emotes and scissors. Also, Prime Gaming exists. Uh, last but not least, Adblock and Twitch Turbo exist. Anyway, enjoy the credits. I'm going to go pee. So, be right back. Oh, all the versions of Parasite Eve should be fine. All right.
Tommy. Hey, did I run the ad? Chad, did I run the ad? I think I did, right? Yes? Okay. I think so? No ad for you? Ran it. Okay. Where's who going? Who didn't go? Um... I still need to do more setup, so I'm hoping it's not going to be in the clock tower at 3. Hopefully... No, no, it should. It should. As long as you go fast, it won't. As long as you go fast. I'm gonna add the whole screen. You got eight? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good. I'm in a horror puzzle game for a rookie. You play all horror games and never play the puzzle ones. Uh, Silent Hill is normally a good place to go. Only Silent Hill games are pretty uh, solid as a whole. Let's play those. Uh, try Sonal 2, or 1. Honestly, if you can do 1, do 1. If you're not having a time, try 2 or 3. Um, I'd say 3 is probably the most accessible and the one people tend to get the most into. Sonal 2 is a bit weird, but if you like it, you like it. A lot of people, I mean, it's one of the best ones if you can get into it. The problem with Sonal 2, though, is that if you don't get into it, then you're gonna have a bad time. Because not a lot of people can do the intro. Uh, it's a bit slower, admittedly. Like, I would say Sonal 2 does have a problem. It's not a perfect game. And the main problem of Sonic Hill um, 2 is that the intro is just sort of slower. And normally, it's the matter of fact of are you able to get to the point of being in the... Uh, can you get past the apartments? If you can get to hospital, you're going to love it. If you can't get to hospital, you're going to hate it. Eh, honestly, you can play Sonic Hill 3 without playing 1. Um, I definitely recommend one, but some people don't like the tank controls, nor are they used to them. So, that's kind of the issue there. Yep. Wait, so a lot of people in Sonic 2 drop off early. I'll say it right now. It's a very common thing. Like, everyone loves the game, but there is the common complaint that Sonic 2 has a problem in the early game. Oh, God, that was a good crack. <laughs> Jesus, that hurt. In a good way. What a crack. Alrighty. Now I get to check out Discord. Oh, God. That's funny. Apparently, Weird Al was uh, giving some fun advice about his movie. <laughs> I like that. Game of this, Clock Tower 3. Say. Oh yeah, well no, he didn't say sure. No, no, he just said he said very probably no. There's no way of watching in Australia. And then he said they probably have a torrent of questions. I don't know what you're talking about. That was my tally. Clearly, yeah, clearly he's clearly just being very sincere on how he's responding to the question. He's definitely uh you know, he's answering their torrent of questions. And he's keeping them at bay. Anyway, let's go. Yay! X again works on confirming shit. I love pushing X. 
No, not that rain. So the Weird Al movie came out, and someone on Twitter was asking Weird Al if there was a way to watch the movie in Australia. Uh, the movie wasn't available in Australia, so he uh, pretty much he gave very cheeky answers that essentially said, steal this movie. So it's funny. Yep. But he did it also using very cheeky language, kind of like what we do here. I mean, nothing. Definitely not, definitely not that. How's going an eccentric meal? You have the Mars cakes, Cozy? I do like that emote. Oh yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Everyone has a moments badge. They've been here for moments. I do like their moments. Wait, do you have one? I do not know. Yeah, we get our games from Blockbuster, like my pants. Also good craft. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, though, a lot of clock tower, not a, clock, a lot of games in general have a very weird thing with the housing word animal with the way that they handled RE clones. RE clones are a whole genre of game that have been talked about a lot. There's actually a really good video where one guy went through like every single RE clone and like reviewed them, like all of them, all of them. And my general rule of thumb is that. RE clones on their own merit can be okay. I don't think they're necessarily a bad genre, but I really dislike whenever an RE clone comes to a franchise that normally didn't have or need an RE clone. Oh yeah, I probably did. My Clock Tower, you never needed an RE clone. This game never had to be one. It came out before Clock Tower. Or it came out before Resident Evil. Making Ghost Head an RE clone to try to capitalize on RE hype was definitely a problem with that franchise that did not help it age gracefully and led to one of the worst games ever made, uh, realistically. Uh, it is not reviewed well. I don't know about that one, but uh, you never know. It came to Fortnite and uh, Dead by Daylight and a bunch of other things, but you never know. And then with Parasite Eve, Avalanche Reviews, it might be that one, yeah. Hold on. Game. There we go. That was a, I feel like a long load. There we go. But with Parasite even Clock Tower Ghost Head, these are definitely two games where I really feel like the inclusion of trying to be Resident Evil harmed the game immensely. I think the game would have been much better if they didn't try to do that for both of them. And you can tell because, you know, for one, with Ghost Head, the best part's the part that doesn't relate to the Resident Evil shit. With Parasite Eve, I mean, most of the cool things to me were the ability to upgrade the, uh, the Eve. But even then, like, I never really felt like it was nearly as good as the original with the systems that they had. I felt a lot more Resident Evil and a lot less Parasite Eve. Which Parasite Eve, you would have like a fucking like 30 item inventory. You can have as many items as you want. It was much more in the world of an RPG, if I'm like a Final Fantasy in a way. While Parasite Eve 2, you were really limited to like, I think like six items or some shit, like eight. Going from that more of the RPG and more to the horror side, I think actually hurt Parasite Eve a lot. Ah, oh, so how's it going, Nelly Q? Are you cozy? You having a good night? You know, I'm not going to lie to you, though. Magic system was kind of weird as a whole. The game also sell worse? Uh, I think it might have, actually, but I don't know. Which Clock Tower games are the most successful and best for someone who's never played them before? Clock Tower 3. You're, uh, in terms of accessibility, I mean, SNES is really good. Doing some Signalis routing testing. I am going to crush your time in Signalis. I'll let you know that right now. Let me know what time you get. I am going to smash your time. Our Clock Tower has the most glitches. SNES, actually. It's really good. Like, SNES is really good. The original Clock Tower is amazing. But the problem is it's Japanese exclusive. And that's usually a problem for a lot of gamers. Bet? Yeah, bet. 
And it's gonna be just like that time I proved that downfall is better than the cat lady. Right, chat? Yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Fan translation patch for the uh, Clock Tower PS1 is good. Or Clock Tower SNES. I did not lose three poles in a row. I lost like four. How was the final game in that series? Which one? Which one said by mine? Clock Tower? I was on King Respecter. Oh, good. We're doing a lot. Oh, oh, it's not the final game. They're making another one. Lorelei was fucking great. Um, I definitely put Lorelei under downfall, but Lorelei is pretty good. Nope. Uh, they're making uh the new ones we call I think Burnhouse Lane, and it's coming out next month, I think, actually. Burnside, Burnhouse Lane, Burnhouse, yeah, Burnhouse Lane. Yep, it's coming out real soon. Well, downfall is like cinema. You see, Nolly, the difference between the Cat Lady and Downfall is, I would say, Downfall is, dare I say, cinema. Well, the Cat Lady is good, but I don't know if I can say, dare I say it, cinema. You can tell cinema is good. Cinema is good. Cinema is always good, but sometimes it's shit posting where I'm being like, I'm being an asshole about it. I can be wrong. You know what? It doesn't matter. I beat your time in Signalis, I'm allowed to say it's cinema. I'm allowed to say Downfall is cinema. <laughs> By the way, Twitch chat, if you're wondering where the fuck the meme comes from, so a while back in the world of a, you know Marvel movies taking the world by storm, a lot of people like to compare, oh, what's one of the best movies of all time? Martin Scorsese went on the record saying that Marvel films are essentially the fast food of cinema. And it kind of spawned a bunch of memes of saying, this movie is cinema. Because, you know, calling a movie a movie is never than calling, like, a film, or dare I say, cinema. He's not wrong? He's absolutely not wrong. Marvel movies are not cinema. They're fun. They're not cinema. Cinema is shit that's gonna, I don't know, probably annoy you to a degree. Exactly. Hi, Kamizu. Strong zero, Kamizu. RTA acceptance. Uh, Kanbo Noir, Genki Des. No? Oh. Is that Owen Wilson? It is Owen Wilson. And it's Swordfish. Do you have much of a distinction? What, for cinema? Well, realistically, the whole idea of cinema is someone blowing it out their ass, because a lot of people... Alright. So there's something to be said, and I definitely want to mention this as well. There's nothing wrong with liking something that's not considered, let's say, art. Yeah! Thank you for the 10 bits. Thank you for the congratulations. Marvel movies aren't bad, but realistically, you're not going to be getting a lot of, let's say, artistic value out of them that you'd be getting out of a lot of other media. Like, I, I would- there is no way in any world I would ever compare a single Marvel movie to, like, Schindler's List. <laughs> Doing so is like, no, you can't, you can't. There's no way to hell. One of them literally strikes to the very, you know, core of humanity, one of the darkest periods of time, while the other one is rather formularic action movie. And the same thing, hold on. In the same way as a lot of other action movies, I also wouldn't exactly compare to a lot of other movies like that. Anime titties are comparable to a starry night, of course. Accessible is a film, sworn subtitle only, tall dark film, cinema, shins, lists, the king's speech, and movies. Marvel films. Yeah. Like, a lot of horror movies are movies. Like, a lot of them aren't, aren't gonna be very good. Some are, dare I say, cinema? Like right now, the movie Get Out, cinema. The movie Would You Rather, it's a movie. That movie is not cinema. It's fun, it's funny, but it's not cinema. Like unironic, but it's also, there's also irony. There's a lot of shit posting. So like, if I say Clock Tower 3 is cinema, I'm absolutely fucking with you. I didn't see Us yet, but I saw Get Out. I need to see Nope too. 
Parasite would be cinema, yes. Low brown, John Rocky, amazing, really profound. That being said, there's also a lot of trash. Exactly, Vaderpool. But also, there's something to be said that not everything has to be high brown, not everything has to be on a pedestal, but not everything needs to be. Also, yes, I like to use cinema to fuck with people too. I'll call absolute. I'll call. My, you know what? You know what? Chat. I would say Nightcry is cinema. <laughs> it is video game cinema. <laughs> I feel so bad, by the way. <laughs> Because, you know, the word cinema is an actual fucking word. And now, whenever anyone in this fucking chat hears it, they're just going to hear shit posting. And that guy's Kino, it's cinema. It's based. But, chat, there's also the best way of describing cinema. Now, you have to understand, how would you describe cinema? Okay. Video games I like. Cinema. Video games you like. Not cinema. Do you see how this goes? It's very simple. Things I like, good. Things you like, bad. Unless you like the same thing. It's good when I like it, but if you like it, then it's bad. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I love Nightcry. I love Nightcry. Oh, yeah, people will be pretentious all the time. It's fucking hilarious. Cinemas, it's, it's not so suffering. I mean, there's a lot of good movies that are pretty well, you know, enjoyed. Uh, I do not know, user. I do not know. Alyssa, where are you? Oh, of, co of course, of course, Trilog, of course. Nah, I'm not gonna lie to you. The all right, all right, all right. Hold on though. Unironically, I'm not even kidding. The Wallace and Gromit movies? Yeah, I. The actual movies are actually really good. I will say those are actual cinema. Like, not fucking with you. The movies are good. I just hate licensed video games. I think that's a fair opinion. Yeah, the actual Aardvark productions. Oh yeah, they're fucking great. They've kind of uh helped the world of animation to a large degree. Uh, are you gonna give me five thousand dollars? If you give me five thousand dollars, we'll play it soon. If you don't give me five thousand dollars, no. Although in theory, I've kind of debated on upping the value because I realize now that actual companies are gonna start paying me close to that. So, uh, the meme kind of died. Oh, it does not suck. And you may or may not have a good taste. Right. The point of the matter is, I don't want to do it, nor should you do it. You can literally wipe your ass with five thousand dollars, and that'll be a better way of doing it. And he has been on movie night again. Hopefully soon, TM. I'm not gonna lie to you. Movie nights are fun. I like doing a movie night. My problem is I've been a, a literal workaholic. Uh, Twitch chat. I have been, uh... Oh, Let's see right now. And the month, uh, uh, from... Literally November 1st, 8 p.m. So right now. So let's say uh, I'm on day six of streaming. I have done... Well, I'll tell you. Moments. I've done 54 hours as of right now. Like, right now to this very second, because we added a few more hours during the stream. I have done 54 hours. Uh, I've been uh, streaming from Tuesday till now. It has been less than a week, and I've done 54 hours. On Tuesday, it'll have been a full week. So, I like doing things, like games and movies. Uh, I've literally been working my... I've been a fucking workaholic. I like doing it. It's fun. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be streaming on Wednesday because of GDQ, but, uh, you know. Yep, ad squats are back on Tuesdays. Apple pie toast crunch? What is that? Oh, well, there you go, crap. So, that's the thing with movie night. 
but yeah, in terms of game, like in terms of sub goals or anything, like, I don't know. Right now, the only one on the dock, it's Deadly Premonition, that I think I said I'd do it if we hit 1,500 subs. Like, realistically, unless you want immediate goals or something, I don't really have a lot in mind, just because I'm still chopping through a lot of the ones I already had, so. As well, a lot of people tend to sub because they want to support the uh, stream in general, so thank you to anyone who does do that. Uh, it has been rather supportive. Keeps the, uh, the streamer rolling. So thank you. Well, there you go, Jangle Cat. Yeah. Our barbed wire the pliers. She does her best. She tries her best. That's it. Maybe they're really long pliers. Oof. All right, boss fight time. Let's do the ship. Also, my favorite part about doing the clock tower marathon is that I get to do haunting ground again with an excuse chat. I get to do haunting ground. It's great. All right. All right, let's go. It's not nothing that happens during the ad breaks. I usually just talk more or do something more like goofy, I guess. Or I do something that's more monotonous. I try to target a lot of the downtime to be, you know, hey, here's waiting. Like the saw of the game waiting. We have to do it anyway, so say that. But I still tend to talk a little bit. Indeed. Right? Can't believe it. This work. Alright, should be good. Oh, it does. Kill. Kill him. We're going to do it, chat. It's going to die. Now I can check Twitter while waiting for the spirit bomb. I don't know, I can't believe it, he died of... light. He's a gamer, chat. He can't survive the sun. Scream? Oh yeah, he died! He melted from sunlight. It is classic, I wasn't smoking. Yeah. Yeah, chat, you know what? I gotta I gotta get a good time at Signalis. We might be doing a good amount of Signalis this week. I might have to I might have to add Signalis to the voting as well. Or, you know, do something with it this weekend. Cause I I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I want a good time at Signalis. I think I can do it. And we'll have to see. It will be fierce. I did. I did beat the game last night. Alright, good. And... Okay. Let us see, chat. A book of entities. And then... Let's go. Uh... Okay, so... I'm not going to add on to that. I'm just saying... The game doesn't end... Until it's over. Let's just go with that. I don't give any spoilers or anything. But... 
I can't talk about it without getting into spoiler territory. Just, you know, keep playing it. Just remember that. Keep playing it. Keep playing it or watch the VOD? I mean, you can watch the VOD if you want, but it's more the idea of, like, you know, if you're playing it, keep playing it. Hold on. One, two... Three. Basically on a full credits roll? I would say that, yeah. And... Oh no, the clock! Hold on. How's it going, Dave? Hope you're doing good, by the way. Okay, let's go. I just know which way to turn. I don't know, it's the puzzle. I really don't know how to explain it. It's been doing it for so long. How's it going, Sinister? I hope you're doing good. Is there trying to give me a nudge? Oh, I figured it out. Oh, shit, I forgot to there's one thing I asked because I wanted to see if I can get a different ending and I loaded an earlier save also had the same thing. I had like the part I was at on another save. But then after I checked what it was, I was just dialogue. I was like, oh, okay, I'll just dialogue. So I went back to my save and I kept playing from there. I'm just not going to say what it is, but you know, I, I, a little game just came out. I'm not going to spoil it, so we're going to leave it at that. Morning, Dave. on. Ah, I got it. E. Yay! Let's go. They're laughing at uh, my great puns, like dog tide. That's what they're doing, chat. They're laughing at my dog tide joke. They went to watch my rule of rose vod. And they knew. They knew. That's what happened. It's not once a year, it's whenever I play Rule of Rose, sometimes more often than not. Oh, is that banned? I'm allowed to say dog tight. I just don't make the joke unless I'm playing Rule of Rose. Let's go. And let's see. But yes. Anyway, oh chat, it's 2.59 a.m. Holy shit, hold on, I've done it. Chat, it's 2 and 5 check. It's 2 in the time. I hope you're all having a good day today. I caught it. I didn't miss it this time. I hope you're all having a nice day. It's what I like to call the 2 a.m. vibe check. So I hope you're all doing good. I hope you're all having a nice day, Twitch chats. He's going good. I feel pretty damn good today. I hope you're also doing great today, and, uh, nice Thomas Valentine. If things aren't going well, hopefully they can get better soon. 1 p.m. For me, it's... 2.59 a.m. minus one minute. Is it an okay day? Glad to hear. Today's been a good day. I feel nice about today. I changed my clock. Uh, most of my clocks are automatic. Uh, except for my alarm clock, which I did last night, because I remember. So. Yeah, I did. It's noon o'clock? Nice. Nice. Nice in the Empire. I hear good things about Vampire Survivors. I own that game, but I know, uh, Wondrous tried talking to playing for a while. 2 a.m.? Well, now it's 3 a.m., but it was 2 a.m. Was. Now it's 3 a.m. But when I said it, it was 2 a.m. Just saying. When I said it, it was 2 a.m., chat. A nice window, nice. Hmm. And there we go. First Monday of the month. Oh god, it is. Cat, I was supposed to have a meeting today. I'll say I'm I was supposed to have a meeting today. But it got cancelled, so now I don't have to worry about fucking dying during the meeting. Oh, 
What about Vancouver? What? Me? No, I'm not in Vancouver. I don't live in Canada. I live in the U.S. of A. And there we go. By the way, Twitch chats. That's it. Sorry about knowing. No, you're all good. But no, I don't live in Vancouver. I live in California. That's all, all good. Yeah. And right now it's 3 a.m., but it was 2 a.m. when I said it. Ah, shit, I forgot to grab the item. California? Well, maybe not like that, but like regular California. Like the Cozy Frog California, you know? Uh, cozy California. That wasn't Tetsuya. Well, yeah, the way that makes it sound like is much more... What's the word? I don't really know how to describe it, but... Uh, it's more a cozy vibe, not a... Not a degen vibe. How's the cactus? Morning to the East Coast. Morning to you. Hey, another one in North Carolina. Doing good, Wicked Ray of Cobra. Doing good. Alrighty, let's go. Alrighty. Yeah, can't complain. A little bit sleepy. <sighs> but not bad. Not doing bad. But I'm always sleepy. Yeah, Alaska and Hawaii make things a little bit different. There's really only three time zones in the U.S. and then two states have their own time zone. We are. A four? Right. I'm pretty sure Hawaii has its own time zone, right? Which is minus three. I'm pretty sure Alaska's minus one. I could be wrong. Well, I, I, I'm saying from California. <laughs> I, I forget. I don't really care about the, uh, you know? I forget. It's not based out there. It's my, minus spot. Well, fucking, what, what? Minus nine and minus uh, 11. California's minus eight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about mountain time. There we go. Ah, oh, Zumola Mola. Alright, chat, look what happens to the gamers when they don't shower. Oh my god, he ignited on fire. There's mountain time? I'm pretty sure it's just Colorado. Utah? I forget Utah exists. Arizona on the west coast is mountain? I thought Arizona was west. Oh, so I think Nevada might be west too, and I think about it. Gotcha. You and blue? What about blue? No, wait, what? No, I, no. That, I, 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 no, that's. No. That's an event. No, that, that sounds weird. No. Yeah, I think so. I don't remember which one, some guy that's British or some shit. So. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about kidney failures. Oh. 
I don't know, let's hope this works. I already kind of fucked it up. Alright. Okay, and... It's a gaming event? Well, of course it'd be a gaming event. What else would it be? Yeah, this is a gaming event. Oh, I would be happy about it. So, yeah. gaming event. There you go. Alrighty, let's go. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, if I hear RTA, my first thought is never kidney failure. No. I wouldn't be streaming if I had that, no. Oh. Yes. Oh boy, time for the fight. No, I don't even want the extra arrow. Fuck it. I'm not gonna take it. No point. I guess there you go then. But uh. No. Yeah, RT in Japan is the name of an event. That's just the name of the event, straight up. Yeah, it should be good. Should be a good stuff. I'm excited. I think it'll go well. At least I hope it will. There we go. All good, Mola Mola. Hawaii sounds fun, though. I mentioned, I think, at one point I want to visit a friend out there. I, earlier today. We talked about earlier today, in fact. I'd only go if I was ever, like, invited. Like, my friend invited me to her, like, I don't know, if she ever got married or some shit, I'd go. I'd go to her wedding. She's nice. Yeah! I'll be running Dead Rising of all fucking games, which I'm surprised about. Yeah! It is kind of a good way of setting speedrunning these days. Uh, no. I'm going to have a friend with me who's bilingual, and I'm going to read off a uh, paper uh, of a script that I am memorizing, essentially. Because I don't speak Japanese, and, uh, yeah. There we go. Alright, good luck. Don't- no movements. One. Bring in pronunciation? No, because I found out I'm getting in literally last night. So, uh, yeah. Not much of an option there. Oh, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I think as long as I'm able to basically pronounce the words, I'm probably fine. There's kind of a certain point that doesn't get talked about much, but, uh, well, my buddy might insult my Japanese, apparently a lot of the actual Japanese speedrunning community members kind of like my endearing, uh, faults. Cars is one of the commentators. Demonic Robots, or Miss Scarlet Tanager. Uh, I commentated for Miss Scarlet, uh, Carsey commentated for Demonic. But you might be thinking of Demonics, which is right after Rushy EQ. There she is. Oh, prepare to die. Oh. There she is. Hate this boss. Oh, you dick. There she is. Oh. There she is. Prepare okay, to good. Die. Nice. This is the fight in the game. This one. This fight. Easily this fight. This is the hardest fight in the game. Uh, Sisman Ralph's hard, but Kuroder is just the most he runs. Every other fight's pretty manipulated. Barring him. He is one of the only fights in the game that truly wants to move. Which kind of sucks. Alrighty, let's see. 
Also, Twitch chat. Hey, really quick. Uh, if you want to... You want to... What's the word? Submit to GDQ. They are doing second wave submissions starting now. I might try doing the second wave submission to see if I get a run in. There you go. Huh. Let's see. Uh, where's it going to take place inside Japan? I have no idea, because I'm doing it remote, meaning I'm doing it from my computer. Uh, I am not going to be able to, uh... I, I can't travel. I didn't think I'd get into the event. I can't travel to Japan. Yeah, I'm doing it remotely. I mean, in the future, if I got in, I'd be down to travel, which apparently me traveling a month out is a lot easier than I thought. Oh, no, you can again. You actually can. Uh, they reopened it up. You can do that again. They've reopened travel. Maybe if I get a game into RTA Japan Summer, I might consider it. But, uh, yep, they reopened travel. Uh, people can go again. But I'm doing it remote, because I have no idea how the fuck a trip to Japan would work. Reopen, sure. It actually is reopened, yeah. I mean, you saw the jump through a couple of hoops, but you can still travel to Japan right now. It's really very, it's very recent. That was in Foxbit. Yeah, can't complain. I'm doing alright. Oh, nice trick. <laughs> As in Twinblade. Yep, very recent. Hmm. Uh, yeah. There we go. Alrighty, chat. I could have moved better there. We're fine. Alrighty, let us continue. I'm gonna make all my time back during Clock Tower 3. It is Brian 80s. Alright, good shit. Catch. Oh, what the fuck? Bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit, man. That was a throw? It bounced. What a bastard. Tell me to catch? Well, I did, Yami Carver, so I did. Right, let's go. Okay. I got a like on Twitter. I feel good about myself now, chat. Their serotonin is pumping through my body. Can't believe it. Fucked with the wires. Oh, that's weird. Right, there we go. God, I fucking love the song, man. Is that Mars Cakes? Hope you're having a cozy day today. I'm just grooving to the song. That's a good song. Kowski, then with the four bits. Hope you're doing good, Mars. Hope you're cozy, Calorette. 
Up next is Haunting Ground, and then we do Night Cry, and then three mothers. Yeah, I can't complain. I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm happy because I don't have to work tomorrow. I don't. Yeah, I don't have to do a meeting tomorrow. Bro. Never seen this one? This is Clock Terror 3, I missed a cap. Uh, it was made by Capcom. He was heartbroken? Nah, he wasn't heartbroken. Well, if they accept me to G they accept me to GDQ, then I can do the uh, GDQ is now my friend again, like the meme. Oh yeah, I go far, kid. Yes, I've been going for like five and a half hours of game. Okay, thank God that whiffed. I got greedy. I did not have to get greedy there. I don't know why I got greedy. <laughs> Very nice, Caliban. Ain't nothing wrong with that windmill. Exactly, now, like you. Exactly. Oh. Nope. Haunting Ground is totally like comes after this. Oh, Clock Tower Three is not even the third one. Clock Tower Three is like the fourth one. It's weird. We did, Nicole. We did. I'm not going to Japan. I'm going to be running in a Japanese speedrunning event from the comfort of my own home, because I can't exactly justify going to Japan last minute for one speedrun. I feel like I'd have to plan longer for that. I wasn't planning on going to Japan. I submitted as a remote runner. In the future, I'm down to submit in person, maybe. But, uh... I don't fly first class. I'm fine with them putting me on the wing of the fucking plane, practically. Okay, I'm running Dead Rising. Dead Rising. I mean, apparently I looked it up. I can actually fly pretty cheaply. Uh, I didn't actually realize that, but me going to Japan is actually more likely than I thought it would be. But it's more the fact I didn't plan on that. It's a lot of time to take off. I was kind of planning on streaming that whole week anyway. I didn't think I'd be getting in. <laughs> but now I'm in. So, expect Dead Rising... Yeah. Come on! You can't get away. Yep. Come Thank on! you, Mars. I like to think so. You can't get away. Come on. Come on! Ah, bad RNG will take it. The funniest shit is that's actually decent RNG. Like, it's weird to describe it, that RNG is actually good. Oh, hey, I, I just realized, I think the bit leaderboard reset, didn't it? It was like, wait, how are you second place? Oh, right, the bit leaderboard reset. Yet yeah, second place at four bits and 10 bits. Wait, the bit leaderboard is four bits and 10 bits. That's powerful. What a, what a leaderboard. What a leader. Yeah, you got it. I, I, I noticed it next to your name. I may have ruined it by uh, saying that, but we'll see what happens. For all, for all you know, you might get to keep it for a bit. I get what I'm worth. So, punch in the back of the head. I mean, he does send us to the shadow dimension, so. Anyway, Twitch chat, really quick. Um. Ah, uh, nah. i I probably not best to do it here. I'll probably just do it later. Thanks for the honor. Well, you have the honor until someone decides to take it. They might. We'll see. That's all love? You forgot the Ecdysis heart emote, Tetsuya. <laughs> Yami, yeah, maybe the hundred biddies. There's the oink. Yank. You can have even more love. Oh, and the, and the giant love uh, post. You have all the hearts, but you're missing a heart. 
right? All the the posts with all the uh, the love emotes in it, you know. All the hearts, but you don't have the you don't have the Ecdysis heart in there, so that's not all of them. That's like some of them. You'd be missing one. That's what I'm saying. All of them would would be that one too. So, not all of them. Fix it, yeah. Exactly, Dragon Square Nation. Oh god, it's not time for the mosquito for the longest time. They're good when though. They're fun stuff. I'm glad you like them. But uh Yeah. Oh Clock Tower 3 Mosquito Room is awesome, isn't it? It's just running through these three sections. Normally I'd play an ad here, but the problem is I'm pretty sure that'd make Haunting Ground have an ad in the middle of it, and honestly, I'm fine playing the ad of this after the System and Ralph fight. It's just running, I think. Or maybe before that, and I think about it. We'll see. Or I I I I guess so. I guess I'm confused. I guess I'm confused now. Alright, there we go. Oh, and they're fun. I love the wobble arms. I like the noodle arms. I think it's really fun. Shit. Where the fuck's the ghost? Wait, where did the ghost go? Oh my god, I wasted all my water. Wasted all the water I had with that. My god. Well, I tried. Exactly, Mars. Exactly. I mean, it was a good attempt. But, uh... They're not gonna remake Clock Tower 3. Capcom doesn't want to pay for it. The game bombed, and Sunsoft doesn't want to do it either. So, no, uh, you're never gonna get it. Plus, they would probably want to stick to one or two for the good ones. Yep. The game was not well received. Why did I get that one first? I don't know. There's a reason. Oh, it's fine. It's all good. All good. Yeah, how you doing today, Tetsu? I hope you've been well, by the way. I think I forgot to ask. Oh, Lord. I miss having background music, man. I get a little bit of grooves, but this is just the fucking mosquito that fucked my tinnitus. He's a dick. Ah. Alright. Let's go. Let us go. Done doing things. Well, there you go. All right. And the funniest part about this run is that you go from absolute fucking, like, uh, just walking to hell. All in a single split. You ready for a chat? Wait, my goal is here? Jesus Christ, I suck. Wait, wrong one. Go there. Tetanus is a little bit different than tinnitus. Yeah, exactly. Nicole included the, uh, the Ecdicey heart emote, the love. I like that emote. It's actually one of my only character emotes, because I really like Jennifer, so I was like, she gets to hug the hearts, because the Jennifer model is sweet. And then I kept it since, because, I don't know, I just like it. Oh yeah, it's very simple, it's very nice. Alright. Let's see. Now it is time for hell. Because the mosquito room, this one's cute too. That's just the rip of sad cat though. That's why it's free, because it's just the sad cat. And he's so sad. Okay, let's go. All right, how do I wanna play this? Alright, let's play it safe. I'm gonna try this out. Maybe I get it. 
Oh, I got two. Oh, we're good. We're good. I got this. I got this. Oh, nice trick. <laughs> I got the one. Okay. Alrighty. One. Let's see. Where's he at? Wait, did he just vanish? Wait, he's gone. Wait, he's gone. He's just not here. What the fuck? Where is he? Where? He's coming. Okay. Why can't I get this RNG normally? Oh, nice trick. <laughs> He literally isn't even showing up. I love this. Wow. There he is. Wow. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, chat. This is literally the best chopper section I think you'll ever see in your life. I'm not even kidding. Like, yeah, I played that amazingly. Jesus Christ. Like, it sucks that the Corroder fight sucks so much. Like, I'm not gonna gold because I skipped the last split, but this is amazingly good. I try to guess, it's probably right here. I mean, it's kind of good to be able to get that in general, though. Like, it reminds me I can actually do good shit with the run, right? Which is nice. Alrighty, and time to finish it up. Chat, let's go. Casual gold chopper. I was that would have been an actual gold if I had my uh, my actual splits, but it's fine, it's fine because like I I never got hit. No, probably would have been better if I didn't have to use the item, but like you always have to use like I always use the invis rings because it gets rid of the flies on the moths, and then chopper just vanished like that. Well, this is a Capcom game. But also, Clock Tower totally predated Resident Evil. But this game in particular was made by Capcom, so that would also make sense. So, yeah. That would do it, Golden. That would do it. Yep. Uh, Capcom does not own Clock Tower. They were licensed to make it by a company called Sunsoft. So that is the case. One. Jesus Christ. I almost died. I almost sort of quit my, my, I, I almost sort of quit speedrunning this fucking game. Jesus Christ. I mean, over having the best soundtracks? Maybe, they're good. That was an actual goblin ever. He'll be doing good. I don't know, the best soundtracks No More Heroes though, so. I don't think Capcom made no more heroes. All right, let's go. All right, time for the trapper fight. This shit's easy. Check it out. How are we gonna whip this out? Easy. Chat, if you must know, aim green. It's going good. He's gonna attack me. A counter attack. He's gonna run away, like a coward. I'm then going to hit him. Oh, hey, look at that. And then I'm gonna bind him with a full charge. Pop. I'm gonna reflect arrows back, or axes back into him if I have to, and, uh... Just keep hitting him. Come on. 
he should be dead after this hit. Alright, he's dead. GG. He's dead. Easy fight. See, you get him bound, you just keep hitting him with shit, and then, uh, yeah. And you're good. He dead. He dead. D E D. Dead. Hold on. One, two. Terminated. He was- he died. Yeah, he melted. He got melted. On the moment. Uh, hospital time. We have fucking weird That's Dennis. It was Ron Weasley. Hold on. Ron Weasley has joined your party. He has. He really has. All right, let's go. His name is Dennis. But everyone calls him Budget Ron Weasley. I mean, it's not wrong. How unlucky, Jesus Christ. Aren't escort quests the best? He literally exists for one screen. It's not even an escort quest, it's a single screen. It's barely an escort quest. How did he get here? He's British. He found a way, Banana. Come on. Alrighty, time for the hospital. Here, he, he, uh, he, uh, yeah, he, uh, yeah, he aberrated. All right, they're all British. That's why this is a horror game. It takes place in the UK. I can't believe it. Exactly. Mars. I've watched her scream. She is spooky. She's a nice spook. Ow! That was a good fucking crit. Jesus Christ. I thought that like my ear. No me? I'm not British. I'm American. <laughs> hey. Let's see. There you are. I love these are. Oh, thank you then. Thank you. Okay, that one's. Okay. I'm not even French. I have no there French in me at all. Yeah. I just have the flag. I guess in theory, like, blood-wise, I am British, but, like, that just makes me American. That's all it really means. I'm just American. I just have the flag. I'm not actually French. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, let's go. Phase two. That was a bit risky, but you know what? It's not that bad. We good. We good. I mean, this hasn't been too rough in general, has it yet? All right, good. There's one. Good. The B key. And now we head back. Oh yeah, I got grabbed by the ghost. I'm not French, I already said that. That's why you're just kind of forcing a bit more than it has to be. No, I'm not French. Yeah. 
Like, I can't tell if you're fucking with me or not. Like, it feels like you sincerely believe I am French to a degree. So, no. As well, are you trying to say I am kind of fucks with the joke of me having a French flag? Which is not like it's a bad joke, it's more just kind of the irony that if I'm not French, why do you have a flag? I like it, the French are my friends. But no, I'm not French. Oh yeah, well once it's fine, more than that's kind of forcing it, you know? It sort of depends on what it is. How it's going. No. All right. Well, I hope the ending's good. How many yellow? Fuck it. Well, that was a terrible idea, chat. That was a terrible idea. Mistakes are made. I should not have yelled at it. My God. You know the funny part? I probably would have lived if I hit the if I hit the actual wall. Uh, because I didn't hit the water apparently. Which I guess is kind of funny. I blame assisted. You know what? It's a safe claim. I blame you, assisted. There we go. Oh, that was yellow. I mean, at this point, like, I'm probably saving time by not watching cutscenes anyway. Also, they do Clock Tower Mobile at some point. I guess we'll do Clock Tower Mobile after Clock Tower 3 while I'm setting up Haunting Ground or some shit. Oh, I need to play an ad. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forget about that. When do I want to play the ad? After Shizma and Ralph, I'll play the ad. It's just Jemima. That's what I'm trying to do. Throw water on the door. There's a trick where you can throw one thing of water and hit both, uh... Ralph and the door, but it's risky and overall pretty hard to do. Hey. No, I had to play the ad, but like during this run. It's not I'm during this run. So once Scissorman and Ralph's done, I'm playing the ad. Meaning, once you're done with the next room chat, it's honestly just Mima's easy. It's the shimmying section, it's nothing amazing. So, once you pass Ralph, I'm going to play an ad. It's going to be three minutes of ad. You want to avoid it? Uh, ad block. There you go. Good Sherbo, also an option. And then as well, uh, if you want to help support the stream, subbing's an option. Gives you emotes and scissors. And ad free viewing. Prime Gaming exists too if you have that. Anyway, let's see what we do. Shit. Comrade, I'm getting five subs of the community. Going to Nikki Knots, to Brucible, uh, Shark Stinger. Oh, that's me bad. Rhoda and Rasputin. Nice. Going. Nice. Alrighty, we beat Scissorman Ralph. Yeah, she can, but the door wasn't open. It was locked. Thank you again, comment for the five good subs. I'm playing the ad now. It's gonna be the Jemima portion. It's not anything too amazing, so it'll be all good. Alrighty, Twitch chat. Here's the ad playing now. It's gonna be three minutes. Ad block Twitch Turbo sub. Okay. Ad time. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Adding time for part. Hold on. Yes, adding time. How are you doing, though, sister? I am. God, my voice has really been paying for the uh, days straight. Making the same Genshin ad all night. Perfect. <laughs> They're trying to get you to do it. They're trying to get you. Let's see.
Mint tea with honey for my throat? I think I have that. I'll do that for the stream. And that should be good. That should be good. See, chat, this is the perfect time. It's literally just shimmying. Alrighty. Showtime. There you are. Exactly, Jazz Jupiter. You got it. Oh yeah, sister, do you hear? I might be making another YouTube video. I think I might make one on uh, the Clock Tower series as a whole. I've never actually made one on Clock Tower, and I really should. It's a good fucking franchise, what can I say? And I have a really neat idea. With Apparently, the world of video essays is actually in bad for me. Although I feel like I'd want more concise thoughts to a degree, like not entirely concise, but like at least topics to talk about. No, not Cock Tower. Oh shit. Oh. We never found out if it exists or not. No one ever found a recorded copy. Some guy just came in here and said he had a version of the game called Cock Tower. Then I, you know, then he never showed it to us. Slice and dice. It was full of shit. I mean, the idea of having a weird 90s porn parody of a niche horror game sounds kind of interesting to at least try for shitposting reasons. Like, obviously I wouldn't stream it, but like, I'm really curious about an era of old games, and if he had a genuine copy of a game as made as a parody back in the 90s, it's at least piqued my interest enough to see how much of a fucking meme it is. Like, it's a weird explanation. And then he never backed it up, so I just figured he was full of shit. Well, I mean, it makes sense. As you know, a lot of games tend to get porn parodies and all that. And like a while ago on the stream of stream Clock Tower, somebody said, oh yeah, I found an old PC, like 90s uh, Japanese game that was a porn parody of Clock Tower called Cock Tower. I don't think it actually exists. But, uh, oh, wait, this way. But if it did, imagine. Sounds fake? I, I mean, there's no proof, so. Can't, couldn't find it anywhere looking it up. Couldn't, yeah, the man never produced a source. So. But if it did, I'd be interested. Not like a modern made thing, but more of the dive of old media. There's a lot of old media. By the way, chat, oh, I, this isn't not safe. This is safe working. But also, Recon Beast, thank you for the 12 months. That's one year of Prime Gaming. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors once again, and thank you. Also, welcome back from the ad, everyone. Back to business. Let's see. You know, I might end up playing one of the other ads after Clock Tower 3, because I have to set up for Haunting Ground, and I need a pee anyway. And that's gonna get us back on track to where I don't have to fucking plan out of the middle of a run. I was kind of worried that I should have done it after Ghost Head, but I kind of regret not doing it now. Because normally I try to time them so we get rollover time, and sometimes I get it. Let's see. Makes sense. But thank you, Recon Beast. Hope you have a great day today. And how's it going, Solid Spider? Hmm. Okay. Where did I leave off, though? I lost my train of thought. I like Sock Tower? I'm gonna like Sock Tower. Oh, yeah, so there's a neat game I wanted to play. Punchy showed it to me. It is, uh... A horror roller coaster game. I really want to play it. And it reminded me a lot of, like, uh... Yeah, yeah, I don't remember what it was called. It was, like, an old Japanese PS1 horror game about, as like a death coaster or some shit. I saw the clip and I was like, holy shit, I want to play this. Uh, I need to look up the name later. Am I dead? I might be dead, I think I hesitated. Good, I made it, wow, okay, good. Well, you know, once you get the name, I want to play it on stream too, it's fucking awesome. 
You want to play it? Yeah, I want to buy a copy of it. I don't know how rare. I think it's uncommon. I don't think it's like rare, rare, but it's uncommon. Oh, wait. Hold on. You wrote that. Were you here when we got into LSD? Is it translated? I don't think it is. I think it's uh, JPN only. No? Oh, yeah. For New Year, my New Year's special. I've been waiting the whole time. New Year's Day, or somewhere around New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, uh, to celebrate and reign in the new year, I'm gonna do uh, a speedrun of all of LSD Dream Emulator. Because you can beat LSD Dream Emulator, believe it or not. It has a win condition. A lot of people don't know that. Yes, Mad Panicoaster, that's it. Mad Panicoaster, that's the name. How long would it take? Uh, a whole stream. It's long. It does? Yep, I didn't know that either. LSD has a win condition. Under fifty dollars, I might buy that. That might be a, one of the games that do. You know, what? I'm thinking maybe like along with Yumi Nikki, I might do that next year too. And I might try to make a shirt off that. And I saw Mad Panicos. There's like that's fucking awesome. Holy shit! Like I don't know how long it would be for a game because I think the goal is try to stay on the roller coaster, but uh. LSD does have a win condition. Hold on. Um. Okay. It really does. The win condition is get to a certain amount of days. They're all based on days. Correct. Dick Burrows soon. is quite soon. Alrighty. I don't know when I'm doing it. I don't think I'm doing it exactly on New Year's Eve. Maybe New Year's Day, but we'll have to see. Anyway, time for the boss fight. You want to see the easiest shit? Also, yeah, in case you don't believe me, um... Where do I keep my stash? Where's my LSD? Oh, there it is. All right, easy pipe. Dead. Yeah, see, I have a, I have a copy of LSD Dream Emulator. Hey, Latakula, how's it going? Great to see you today. Oh, hey, the gift sub leaderboard reset now. What makes it reset? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> it's like earlier it didn't reset, but the bit one did, and now it's reset. Now Conrad owns the week. Oh shit, I had that. That's fine. Come on, Alyssa. Yeah, we have the uh, hyper and evil. Chat, you can spam McDicey uh, hyper or evil. Spectacular, getting six subs of community. Going to. Hold on. Evan Fox, Ragna, Acerev. Uh, Mr. Claude Balls, Mia Bell, and Mean Cat 19. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you very much, Spectacular. Hold on. Comrade, getting 10 subs from me. Going to. Uh, Zula Clues. Uh, Cannon 13, Galwin, Jay Blake. Penguins. YBJs, Miracle Walk, and Koho Maru. And Vita and GSF JIK. Thank you very much, Connor, for the 10 gifted subs. It's all good, Lemtacular. You wanna know why it's all good? I can tell you why it's all good if you wanna hear it. It's gonna be a fun one, I guarantee it. Hold on. Like that little. Oof. And the good news is you're beating me, Jessica. <laughs> I know you two have your rivalries. The Battle of the subs? I've seen it. I've seen him. He survives? No, he does. No self for doing me, Jessica? Exactly. Me, Jessica. Or should I say, she, Jessica. 
Yeah, but uh, for your LSD though, we're gonna actually, I, I wanted to speed run it earlier, but uh, I didn't want to do it day of because this game's fucking long. Uh, the speed run's like eight hours or some shit. It's super long. Also, I'm kind of afraid of using fast disk speed on that game. Like I kind of want to, but I kind of don't. Because I paid fucking 800 goddamn dollars for that fucking game. Do you know how rare that shit is? Hideo Kojima bought it for me. I'm wondering, why did you buy LSD? Because we did a sponsored stream and I was able to, you know, buy a weird game for it. Oh, I accidentally split a lot. Wrong. I, Jessica, me, Jessica, you, Jessica, he, she, they, Jessica. We. That is true. No, uh, super attack doesn't always kill the boss. There's a lot of damage. Exactly, Iris. I, oh, wait, how can I forget? Twitch chat. Iris just reminded me. We forgot the most important game. We forgot the most important game. Cool hat ja Exactly, to Google. Don't worry, Iris. We'll be doing it after this. The many versions of Jessica. Yep, we're doing Clock Tower 2021. Barbed wire, Jessica. Yep, Clock Tower Mobile. We'll be doing it before Haunting Ground because, you know, we're at the end of the Clock Tower series. We have to do the Clock Towers in order. I'm not going to end my fucking marathon on Clock Tower Mobile. I swear to God. That'd be funny, but no. All right, time for the final boss switch. Uh, ready? It's now time for Dick Burrows. Fucking Dick Burrows. What a name. Come on, ring. It says Lord Burrows, right? Okay, so why is it called Dick Burrows? They're not gonna remake Clock Tower 3. I think I already, I already said this like twice today somehow. You didn't ask, you didn't ask that earlier. Well, his name is Dick Hamilton, uh, combined with a man named Lord Burrows. So the combination of the two must be Dick Burrows. As you know, this man Burrows Dick. Anyway, let's go. Easy fight, by the way, is consistent. This fight's easy if you know what you're doing. You just do this. Uh, the reason why is because Dick Burrows will eat a five shot instead of a six shot. So you just dodge it, hit him with a five, they'll bind, among four bindings. Five bindings. Yeah, Dick is short for Richard. So it's just be Richard Hamilton or Dick Hamilton. We're good. Death. All right, GG. Go. Has no escape. Two, three, four. All right, GG. Has no escape. Fuck you, man. GG. I mean, a little bit slow, but refund. Can't believe he dodged that. I don't see my photo, but he's doing good. Why is he turning backwards? Because he's currently bound. play this game casually i apologize sincerely he literally it's easiest fight in the game literally the easiest fight you just do that if you can do the first part easily fight parts two and three are easy i'll say you can follow earlier i saw that now 
free. Literally a free fight. Yeah! All right, chat. By the way, let me show you how much I love Clock Tower 3. Not where yet. My dearest My Alyssa, dearest Andy, you were always a spirited child. A spirited child. But that's enough. Oh, enough. Now be a good girl. And, and then. My hand. What's the matter, Alyssa? Fuck these cuts. And this one's next. He's walking. Like for all eternity. Oh, that photo cut? That's in the fucking game! That's just in the goddamn game! It's fucking great, I love it! <laughs> Not done yet, Rome's done. Today is Alyssa's 10th birthday. GG. Alright, Twitch chat, so let me break it down for you. Uh, the end of the game is trying to make you like, oh, remember your grandfather? Because you looked at that photo in the beginning, but it just, you don't remember it, so just... Give up, grandfather. I won't allow the ritual to happen. Give up, grandfather. I won't allow the ritual to happen. Never! Never! Never. It's like a fucking Saturday morning cartoon up in this bitch. Jesus Christ. Banish him to the world of beans on toast. He really is like a Scooby-Doo villain. Looks like you're going to the Shadow Realm, Gramps. Oh, Lord. I should like Cassandra because they changed her clothes. Anyway, Twitch chat, here's the plan after Clock Tower 3. I'm going to show you what might be considered to be one of the best Clock Tower games in the whole franchise. So her mother is still alive? No, no, she dies. Uh, she dies. She came back as a ghost to give her a hug. That's it. Oh yeah, hold on. I better send out the DMs. Where is it? Where is... Where are they? There we go. Does anyone else need a DM about Haunting Ground? I don't remember. I'm sending out the Haunting Ground DMs. <laughs> oh, God. Haunting Ground. Dennis. Alyssa. Dennis. Yep. It is a beautiful game. Mom. We did, did it. it. We, we did, did it, Mom. Mom. Yeah, her mom died. Um, her mom came back as a ghost to give her a hug so she can accept her mom's death. But yeah, the mom dies early on. Love the end cutscene. I love the sad music. Why is Ron there? Because he survived. Hugged Ron Weasley? He survived. He's British. That's it. Alrighty, Twitch chat. So, the next game stops. I think it'll be faster. I guess I took a long break around Haunting Ground. Alright, Twitch chat. Are you ready for the greatest Clock Tower game? Before we go... Before we go to the next one. Oh, God. Why, why do you want this? Why do you, why do you want this? I don't even have a split for it. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna do a split for it, by the way. There's no point in even having a split for this. 
All right, chat. Wow, I can't believe it. You get to run a clock tower mobile. No way. Wow, you look at my kaiji background. God damn it. Why did that show up? I'm glad I had nothing up there. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine you saw my social security number and shit? Oh my god, Sunsoft. Oh my god, look, 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 cinema, chat. I can't believe it. It's cinema. All right, anyway, here's the speedrun. Watch. You go to the menu. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Ladder, I'll turn it down. All right, ready? Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. You hide on top of the box. Thank you, Yachchan. Well, I can't believe it. You hide in the bathtub. This is real? Yes, this is a real clock tower game. It's called Clock Tower Ready for the Next, or Clock Tower Mobile. And then you hide under this table. Wow, I can't believe it. Wow, look, I won, chat. GG. There, that's the game. No ads, I killed my network for this program. Add it on the firewall. Uh don't use that LASIK. Even sensor, don't don't use that. It's a mobile game, but don't 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 use that. Don't don't use that. Even sensor. What? Yeah. This is a real clock tower game, Kinza. It's called Clock Tower Mobile. Oh, here's what happens you hit next stage. Look forward to the next one. Where's the gameplay? That's the game. I'm glad you all wanted Clock Tower Mobile so bad. Can you imagine I made that as a sub goal? <laughs> okay, here's a sub goal. Clock Tower Mobile. If you donate a bunch of subs, I'll, I'll play Clock Tower Mobile. I didn't make them. I just fucking play this game. That'd be hilarious. 30 seconds of gameplay for shitposts. I eagerly await stage four. This game came out in 2021. Yeah, stage select. There's only three levels. That's it. This game out in 2021. It's a real clock tower game. Believe it or not. When's the next stage? I don't know. We're waiting on Sunsoft to gladly announce it, hopefully. But no, it's a mobile game. What happens when you die? Here, I'll show you. Oh no, she died. I can't believe it. No, you're not getting all deaths. Anyway, let's clock to our mobile. Oh, how do I close that though? There we go, it's closed. Okay, back here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before 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 that. Before that, chat, before that. Capcom at the time where they wanted to make another clock tower game, but they didn't want to pay for a clock tower license. Also, the idea comes from a lot of RE4 uh, stuff, too. So, Haunting Ground uh, uses a lot of similar assets from Clock Tower 3, and they also even straight up show you the scissors at the end of the game as a kind of cheeky nod. Same thing with a bunch of clocks littered throughout the area. Anyway, uh, game time. Let's go. And that should be good. I have a 108 for my marathon. How the fuck do I have a 108 for this? I'm already doing New Game Plus. I'm not doing New Game. Fuck New Game. No one wants a New Game. Maybe Chow wants a New Game. I'm not doing New Game. I'm doing New Game Plus. New Game Plus is uh, pretty tight. Although, in theory, New Game, I can do it now more consistently than I used to be able to. It just. Uh, I'd rather. Rather than category like. A New Game Minus? No. I'll just say, chat, I did do my due diligence. I dm the Haunting Ground people that Haunting Ground was happening. Although it's always funny because I end up doing Haunting Ground at the same time every time during these marathons. And I know it's a lot of the same faces show up during the same games. Like, there's certain people I only ever catch during Remothered Broken Porcelain because I'm doing Remothered Broken Porcelain at like fucking 8 a.m. And it's like, oh. Oh yeah, I'm actually up that late. Jesus Christ. You know? Which is funny, but still. Anyway, uh, I'll use my usual rule. Uh, if I'm ahead, no cutscenes. If I'm behind, cutscenes. 
No, you can't divide by zero. That goes bad. That's illegal. You can't do that. You're gonna break your legs and your arms. Oh, good shit. Nice, Peltus. That was only tough sauce, doing good. Thousand uh, Franklin's. I do. I do need to do that at some point, don't I? Alright. Uh, math. I almost fucking blanked. What do you get? New game plus items that prevent all the bad stuff from happening. Atomus is probably the most important one, realistically. Uh, powder is damn good. Uh, Morgan. And those. Salts. Sulfur, Mercury, and RL. Nice. Yep, no idea what the fuck I did in my PB. What the fuck did I do when I did a haunting round during this? How do I have a 108? I have no idea, man. <sighs> Like, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the run back chat. Cutscenes? Maybe, but even then, like, I didn't get a cutscene on that. That's the intro of the game. I think I just skill skill issue. Genuine skill issue. <laughs> Good yawn, huh? Good yawn, chat. Morning, Mayflower. Hope you're doing great today. Hope you are doing well. Cats. Think Devils didn't play nice in PV? Maybe not. I mean, either way, we'll see how it goes. No promises. Like, if bad stuff happens, I'll just... Cutscenes? We'll see. Runs are going good. Can't complain here. Cannot complain. Things, I would say, are pretty good. As well, my artist is finally getting back to the point of doing art, so I should be able to get some of the new emotes soon. I know, uh, I think Howdy's being slightly revised from what I wanted. Yeah, she's very, very bouncy, Trumpet. She is very bouncy. And just like the cheer emote. So that should be fun. Uh, and then I think the ones I wanted to add next were Howdy, Copium, and Riots. And then I have to see after that what I want to do. I could always leave an emote slot open to have, like, an American, like, Kakona emote, but more like a Johnny America instead of, like, Kakona. Emote soon? Oh, yeah. Because we also added the rat emote randomly, so it was like, I guess that works for, like, a cute style emote, because we like the rat. The rat is fun. I do like him. People have been enjoying the rat. He's a good lad. I'm glad Twitch Chat's been enjoying him. He tries his best out there. He's just like me. Also, what the fuck did I do in my PB? Oh, maybe I watched the Golem dance. Maybe yeah, I did. I'm not doing it now, but... Well, yeah, I mean, he's... He's he's nervous. He's in a scared world. Anyway, yeah, let's get this time back, shall we? Alright, let's see. Come on, Huey. Good job, lad. All right. Let's do this shit. Huey. Yeah, it's a real boogie, ain't it? And Huey. bop. Good job, Huey. Go, Huey. Good shit. Huey's actually behaving, Chad. I can't believe it. Ah. 
All I know, chat, is I'm quite surprised because there's been a shocking amount of people who have asked me recently if I've ever played Haunting Ground. <laughs> that has definitely been a bit shocking to me. In multiple ways. Which, uh... No, we're not petting the dog. Huey does not get pets. Is this first playthrough, right? Whoa. I can't believe it. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Have I though? Yeah. Come on. Nice. Let's see. I know you're memeing. Exactly, Mayflower is a working dog. Go, Huey. Go, Huey. We'll see if he does, Cepheus. We'll see if he does. I mean, last time Huey didn't, he lost world record for me three separate times. Uh, we'll see how good or bad this one's gonna be. But yeah, like, a lot of people actually asked me if I ever played this game, and... I think this is gonna, like, easily my, like, my top, like, screamed games of all time. There you go, top sauce. Huey. Yes? For what sense? I actually don't fall on that one, Brian, on item. I behaved. It was the earthquake. Huey didn't behave. He, uh, he lost the run at three separate points. The run could have made it if Huey behaved at any of the three points. Trust me. While the earthquake was bad, if Huey would have been better, it would have been fine. It was all Huey who fucked that one up. Oh. Get a fuck around more potentially. Oh, develop. God damn it. Hey, are you in a bad spot? Oh, gotcha. Oh, you also said yes. Pretty much function. Anyway, Chad, remember how you said he was a good boy? No. No. Although, in theory, this one can still work. I mean, realistically, I'm doing it for a meme, but still. But yeah, I guess it's always surprising when I do a game quite a lot, and then I I guess people just don't see it. Oh, it's me, Bell. I never know how. But I guess these things happen. Oh, that's not necessarily bad. It's more often I just put a lot of, uh... I try to keep uh, things up to date as much as possible on how, like, what I do, when I do it, all that jazz. I try to do the beginning top of the week schedules. I try to have a lot of my VODs on YouTube. I try to update on Twitter. Stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. Go for the memes? No, we're not petting Huey. You know what, Twitch chat? Fuck it. If you donate 100 subs, I'll pet Huey. There. Now there's a money value to petting Huey. Meaning I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Because I don't want to do it. Fuck Huey. I'm going to monetize him. The run is in like 11 a.m.? You mean the Haunting Ground run? You mean the Haunting Ground one that I streamed over 300 hours on Twitch for 8 hours a day? At several points? Well, sorry, t like 10 hours a day. For like a month. No, not the one run I'm doing at 4 a.m. today. The weeks I've done of eight-hour streams at different points in my life. We're not petting Huey, Yuppie. Unless we got a fuck ton of money, then I'll pet him. You know, Cock Tower 2? Yeah, that one was a lot earlier. But no, that's not... It's not because Haunting Ground today is late. Because I had plenty of other streams where I went from like 8 p.m. my time... Like, 5 a.m. my time. So. Oh, no, people can still miss it. It just, like... I feel like people would be vaguely aware to some degree, right? Like, I ran into GDQ. I uploaded all the time to YouTube. I talk about it all the fucking time. Uh... 
The amount of runs I've done of it, I put it in Discord, I uploaded it to Twitter. What that? And usually I'm not referring to people who just come into the stream because my ego is not large enough to go like, Ah uh, yes, I'm Mr. Haunting Ground himself. No, 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 it's not like that. Because, you know, if someone's a first-time chatter, they're not going to know my history of this game. But it's usually like, I, I can see who's a first-time chatter and who's not normally. Nothing wrong with that one, though. I don't say anything wrong with it. It's just sometimes I have to wonder, like, I don't really know. It's more of a confusion Huey. thing than a bad thing, if that makes sense. Huey. And I try to think very Huey. often do I make things clear, and, you know, my. Most Huey. of the stuff pretty easy to find. Huey. Huey. I don't see him. Where the fuck is he? Where's this asshole? Huey. Huey, where the fuck are you? No. Huey. Wow, he really is that much of an asshole. I hate this dog. <laughs> see, look at that. No, it's not Brown Eye. I can see it's not. There we go. Huey. That sounds right, Lucy Childess. That sounds about right. He's taking the day off. He almost killed the run. Alright, well, we're definitely not PVing. Cutscenes. Cutscenes. You like the Huey shot I do there, chat? I had to wait no. for Huey to enter the room. Still a good boy? No, not in the slightest. Come on. I believe in Brown the dog over Huey. Huey's a bad Huey. dog. Brown is slightly less bad dog. I even fall. You know, I hate dogs and I love cats. I have like five dogs. I've never owned a cat. Huey. Go, Huey. Actually, I think I had one when I was like eight. Something. Go, Huey. I never really owned a cat. Go, Huey. Go, Huey. Go, Huey. Good job. Cat's pretty cool. I want to have a pet cat someday. Not immediately, mind you, but no, at some point. Huey. Well, Brown can't do anything in that fight. It's more the first fight that Brown gets issues. So I was talking about my cat the other day. Yes, my imaginary cat that I one day want to buy named Bingles. I don't actually own a cat named Bingles. I want to buy one at some point. No, I did not name my dog Huey. I, I don't. I never actually, you know, named any of my dogs. Huey. The dogs I've had have been family dogs. Correct. Of course the game's Capcom. What do you mean? Are you a bit afraid of dogs? Nothing wrong with that. Cats are wild animals. A lot of dogs are wild animals. Oh no, I get that. I definitely get that. I don't name my dog Huey. Yeah, fuck Huey. It's an asshole. Also, I don't call myself Mr. Haunting Ground. That's the point. Go, Huey. Hang on, I'm not that vain. I think I'm still a minute ahead there. I'm not the natty daddy either. You know, chat, at some point what I'll have to do, Azure and Dranzis, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Welcome to the swarm. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and I'm glad you've been enjoying the stream. Thank you. Very much. And hope you're doing well. At some point, I want to ban all the words that are the incorrect spelling of Huey. Death so people will be confused when- Why are all the words for Huey banned? Not for any bad reason, I don't really mind it. I just think it would be funny. Fiona. But also, why, why is my chat message moderated? Did you type Huey? I'll just ban the word Huey. Like every word of the word Huey. The only word left aloud will be trash. I'm not going to ban the letter H. <sighs> One, two. Oh, I don't know how you're doing. Hope you're doing good. Although, chat, there's something else that's really cool. You know what actually I really like doing? 
I love when people ask me about Night Trap. And people ask me about Haunting Grounds, a little bit weirder, because I stream this game so much. It's like, wait, how have you not... How, how do you not vaguely know? Oh, that's how we even have the frog emote. It's because that's from Haunting Ground. But with Night Trap... Chat, a lot you don't know, but... I have a special talent, if you do not know. Want to hear it? My special talent is that I can beat the entirety of Night Trap and getting the best ending blindfolded. I mean, I'd have to practice it again, but it's something I can easily pick up in a week. A lot of people don't know I ran that game blindfolded. And a GDQ, in fact. A lot of people forget I did that. That's why I have a blindfold emote. By the way, the blind emote's really good. I kind of want to change that emote to, like, a thinking-type emote, because it's really fuck. I feel like if I just change the name, I think it would be better. And then maybe I get another emote slot. Although, I like think. I like the regular think, too. I can put it confused. You know what? I changed the name to confused. Or confused. That would be better because it has the little three question marks. I'm going to just rebrand the name and it'll be nice. Because I love that. I like that emote. I think it's a really good emote. Yeah. Because they're different emotions. One's a judging, the other's like a. You know, maybe I'll redo that. Maybe I'll just change the name branding. I'll make the uh, the emote currently known as Blind Think, and I'll make the emote known as Think. Hmm. There's definitely a different mood based on the emote. Yeah, that's a totally good idea. I think more people would probably use it too if I just put it somewhere more usable. As I really like that emote. And I feel like the name is making it so it's rarely used, because I don't see it as often, but I know it's a good emote. I thought your dog like that. Uh, what? Uh, what? I'm confused. They're, they're doing the Finding Nemo meme. Yeah, it's a meme. What? I don't think they're talking to your dogs either. I think they're saying that their dog's name was Sharkbait. Yeah, it's a very obvious Finding Nemo reference. That's the Sharkbait. Ooh ah. Uh, or ooh ha ha. Is that the one? It's in there putting him through the, uh, the corral or some shit. The fire. Fruit has nice emails. I like fruits. Yeah, you know what, Chad? I guess I have a good idea with that one. That would work. Maybe I can make the question... Nah, I think the question marks are good as is. I'm gonna change the names. That's a brilliant idea. And then I move them around a little bit. Rebrand them. I think rebranding is a good idea. Alright, nice. There's a volcano. Yeah! But it had like a certain name, and it was like a aquarium volcano. It was weird. Also, I was going Moncalf. The Bubbler. It was really just named The Bubbler. <laughs> this is the beginning. You seem to love the name. I'm glad that your dog liked the name Shark Babe. <laughs> it's not a bad name. Rope Seal. Thank you for for 11 months. You are. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Drev. Yeah, I was like, it had a weird name. It wasn't just a bubbler. It was something else. I can almost taste it in our nom. You're close, Rogue Seal. Then you get gold in the scissors. I hope you're doing great today. Enjoy the emotes in the scissors once again, and thank you. Oh, yeah. I might be removing the Pee Wee emote soon, chat. Not permanently, but for the month of December. No, not the Pee Wee emote, the Wallace emote. I was like, I don't have a Pee Wee emote, I have a Wallace emote. And it's not a Pee Wee emote either, it's, um, I'm, it's an emote I have on deck, but it only works during the holidays. In theory, I could make it a tier one, but like, eh, you know, maybe make it a tier one if I don't have any, you know, I'll make it a tier one if I don't have an emote slot. Never mind, there we go. You get to keep Wallace for another time. 
Nah, so every year I have the emote, and uh, it's actually a really good emote. And I'm the only streamer who's ever done it for some reason. Hey, I also had a cat named Bagheera when I was a kid. No, sad cat stays. Um. Any call vindicated? No. Yes, yes, I also had a black cat named Bagheera. Yeah, that's the one. But, uh, you know, Chad, they've all added during this stream, in fact. Nice. Okay, that was a bad file tape. I don't know what that means, no. That was an immortal. A Twitch chat. The emote in question that I made a while back was a mistletoe emote. I, as far as I'm aware, I'm one of the only streamers that's done a mistletoe emote. For some reason, no one does it. It's really weird. I think you'll have mistletoes in some emotes, but not just straight up mistletoe. So, subs get to combo that emote with whatever emote you want, because, uh, yeah. I might add it now, in fact. Is that me, Jessica? Well, no. It can't be. It's you, Jessica. I'll be doing good. No, not a mistletoed. Ontario's Clock Tower? Yes, this game. Have a good one, comrade. Take it easy. Have a good day at work. This game came as a result of, uh, what's the word? I mistletoe now? I think it will actually, yeah. I mean, you don't lose anything by having mistletoe in November, actually. You know? I wouldn't say you do. Yeah, you could have it now, though. I mean, I have the emote slot, so like, yeah, chat, enjoy it. Uh, whenever you refresh the page, you'll have mistletoe now. I literally just have the emote. So. Yep. I am not adding the Christmas emotes yet, but like, I literally just have the emote slots to do it, so it's not a bad thing. Take it easy, comrade. But yes, Haunting Ground came as a result of wanting to make a game after Clock Tower 3, but not wanting to make a Clock Tower again. But wanting to make a Clock Tower again. What does that mean? Clock Tower 3 bombed. That game fucking sold like ass. This game existed because they had a lot of assets ready in use and a story idea. I was like, hey, why don't we do blank? Sure, why not? It works. Yeah, there you go. All right, so if you're a tier one sub, you're gonna have a mistletoe emote now. You're welcome. You can combo with all the various things to make them kiss each other. Uh, you can put the wife next to the ugly bastard. Yeah, there it is. How romantic. And realistically, use that to combo in any any stream. I don't know why I'm the only streamer to ever have this fucking idea. It's so fucking simple. That took seconds? Oh, no, I have the emote. I upload it yearly. It just, it's only around during the holidays, so... It, I already had it uploaded. It's just a matter of activating it. Because Twitch has an activation system for that. And, you know, during Haunting Ground, there's certain parts where... I'm not kidding when I say I'm pretty good at one-handed gaming, and that's not me making a dumb joke. Like, I can actually do certain things pretty well. I am really good at multitasking. I've had a few people tell me, how the fuck did you manage to, like, type that? I just, how many emotes do I have? Right now I'm waiting for five new emotes, I think, still. Or six, technically. Like, we got a lot. Can I speedrunning it? Well, there you go. More oh, oh, too. Extends a marathon time? Nah, marathon uh, had issues with uh, what the fuck was it? I showed up a bunch of other stuff. Are those the rats? They're in love. You know, I always have to make sure it's right facing and left facing now. But yes. 
And for emotes, you're still working on them. Like, is that the commission them from an artist? I, I really like working with artists. I think working with an artist is really important. I don't think, I, I don't really like, I don't like the idea of just uploading my face. Like, it's not the end of the world. I know a lot of people who do it, but like, personally, I, I love the arts. I think they're much better that way. Good boy. Come on. The wife kisses the sad cats. Aww. Come on. Good boy. Come on. He's gonna get her? Good he boy. might. Come on. You really hate face emotes? Me too. Come on. Like, Good they're not boy. all bad, but like, there's a certain degree of like, please just hire an artist. Come on. Or draw them yourself if you can. Like, art is nice. Art is very nice. I think having like one or two is one thing, but like I, I wouldn't want to do that myself. Like I like artistic image quite a lot. I like the artists I work with. I like a lot of stuff. I think commissioning something is really nice. Or even just doing it yourself. Hell, even like having uh like me Jessica's fucking MS Paint drawings as the because all right, I give her shit because she didn't even make a transparent PNG. It's literally just the white background, but it has charm. There's a charm to it. You know? Like, usually the best cases of you see for face emotes are like, uh, Bok W. Uh, I think Cat has one. Um, Tell Talent? Oh, of course. Like, one offs. Oh, my brother has one, I think. A lot of shares have the one where it's like the one off and then they have the usual style. I think the one off is nice. A dicey love. Tuxedo Tito, they were the prime gaming. Three months. Enjoy the bloody scissors and the emotes. And thank you very much. Hope you're doing great today. Oh, Larksa has one that's really good. I think Distortion has one. There's a lot of streamers that have like the one face emote. And it ain't bad. So, it really depends though. Oh, Kyo has one. Like one or two. Keyword what I'm saying though. One. What one or two. Got the flu. I hope you feel better soon. I'm definitely sorry to hear about that, but hopefully you uh hopefully the bug will go away, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. Like you get it. Like I wouldn't be opposed to making like my own face Come emote on. if it was something very just, you know. What's the word? There? Oh wait, wrong, wrong button. That's fine. Like, if I had a good idea to make it, I would, I wouldn't be opposed. But like, ah, eh. what's RT in Japan? RT in Japan is a speedrunning event, like kind of thing like Japanese GDQ. Uh, it's been growing a lot lately, and it's pretty cool. So, yeah, and exactly. But like the thing with like uh, let's go like with dist for example like dist has the dist one he has like the uh some of the ship hosting ones but he also has a very consistent art style i think having a consistent art style is super fucking important to emotes yeah exactly like uh oh. dylan has that one but he also has the, all the cane ones and the frank ones go Having a uh, face emote or just an emote like that can be nice, but keyword, it's more sparingly. <laughs> but also, but the way I talk, oh my god, am I good? Please, please, please. Yay. Well, the way I mention things all the time, chat, you know how I feel about the artists. I think uh, the world of artists is very important. I think being able to just work with some is pretty good there's a lot of talented artists out there and it's very easy to find a style that fits oh honestly for a lot of streamers you know what i fucking recommend art don't you know about cinema pro well there you go and so works out a pro or what I, I, hold on that that depends what when i pro at because like i could be a pro at sucking in theory a pro coomer i'm not a pro coomer Wait, is that gonna hit me? Nah. 
professional haunting ground player? Well, technically, yeah, I literally do this for a living. <laughs> so in a literal sense, yes. Oh, I was going to let open, doing good. Yeah, and tell I am a pro streamer. This is my job. In a very literal sense, that would be the case. But, uh, yeah, it depends. Alright, now is the time I get to check Twitter while waiting. Exactly, it is. Hooray, people have been retweeting my RT in Japan announcements. You don't think I suck? Well, I do. I don't think it's uh, bad, but. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm looking at uh, Twitter and it's quite cursed sometimes. Dude, I found a cat hanging out in a dryer. Holy shit, he's chilling in there. How far am I in Haunting Ground? Uh, about halfway. About the literal half. That is true. Hey, he's, he's trying, dump like a truck. He's trying. He's a golem. He doesn't get a lot of uh, exercise out there. He's also addicted to meth. Yeah, meth is the Hebrew word for death, and the golem also has a meth addiction. And he died because of it. So. Yeah. Yep. But no. Like, uh, for anyone who wants to get into streaming, get an artist. Like, it doesn't even have... Right, I'm not saying you have to drop, like, fucking... 50 bucks on an emo from, like... I don't know, like, very, very popular emo artists. No, you can find someone whose art that you like. And then you can just do that. How is Signalis? I love Signalis. It's fucking cinema. Grade A cinema. Literally 10 out of 10. I have zero complaints about that game. The only mild thing I understand is people bitching about the inventory system, but even then, it's not that hard to work around. It's more of a quality of life than anything. God damn it. I do that every time. But, yeah, I, I don't think that's a very important thing to a lot of aspiring streamers. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. So, very often, it's being able just to find an artist that you vibe with. Like, my art... You know, I found my artist Twitch chat? I found my artist because years ago... Years ago, she drew fan art for me. And I was like, I really like this style. It's very cute. It's very fitting for what I like. And then, you know, I originally I commissioned her for a couple emotes. And then, after that, like... As, uh, you know, both, uh, I grew and, uh, her art has, uh, managed to flourish. It's been getting better and better and she can get a lot of what I want for her emotes. It works quite well. Like, you know who has a great, again, a great handle on emotes? I'll tell you right now. Bach. I think you want to look to, like, a grade A example of what you should have for emotes. Look at Bach. Easily. The man has nailed it. I think he has absolutely, like, hit the trend. I have a very high respect for that. Yeah. He has a very simple style that's enough on its own, but also it's familiar enough with Twitch vibes or it's not totally abstract. It doesn't be about wearing, like, indie art house weird. Also, holy shit, Huey, great job. Your ass are learning this from. That's pretty good. Now, I also want to mention potential Twitch streamers in Twitch chat. For the love of God, if you start streaming, you're an affiliate. You get you get affiliate, you want to add emotes. Do not do blank Pepe ripoffs. My God. Do not do it, trust me. Not for the reason you think from me. Personally, I don't really care about the usage of Pepe. However, understand, Pepe emotes tend to be very, very blank, and there's kind of an ugly canvas behind it. Again, this isn't about the actual usage of the emote. My idea of Pepe the Frog emotes is that they're freemium emotes. They're free. It's kind of like, you know, they're, they're there. They exist. Are they bad emotions to copy? No, if you're able to contort it to your own style, I don't think that's bad. However, understand that, how, you know how many Pepe clones exist on Twitch.tv? You're not going to stand out on your emote if you have all Pepe clones. Is it bad to borrow certain things? Like, oh, I want a, I want a character with his eyes, uh, you know, popping out. Like Booba. 
I don't know, have that. I think that's a good animation idea. Hell, it's been used for a while. You can look at a lot of old school animation uh, back in the old days of cartoons and even anime and shit. But the thing is, you can make a very much closer to the style you want. Like, let's say you're a weeb, get an anime style and have the, the eyes popping out. You can even make it similar to Booba. A good example here is I think Box is different enough from Pepe that where it works. Also, he has a chicken. A chicken's very easy. That's a good example. One of my first emotes. It does have the uh, the Monk S style, but it's also in my own style, and it's it's me. It's not doing Pepe the Frog. Also, chat. It's Ricardo Flick. The flicking of the Ricardos. You may spam it to bring good luck. Although I uh, might be a bit risky right now. We'll see. But you can kind of catch my drift. I don't think borrowing ideas is bad for certain emote ideas, but it's much more. Hey, don't directly just make like feels good man an emote. No. Like, don't, like, contort your body to be feels good, man. No, just, you know. Okay, have the idea, but have your artist do it more how you would be. And have an uh, art style that's not Pebbit Frog directly. Inspired is good, but, like, straight up, like, doing it? Oh, God, no. Yep. You stole Flick? Eh, nothing wrong with that. You know why? Because you credit the idea. You're literally saying you stole Flick. That's a better idea. That's a more credit than I get from most people. Good shit. Thank you, Twitch chat. You... Yeah, most people don't give me credit. The fact that you're even acknowledging that you stole Flick is the idea from here. I, I really don't. Like, you're good. Oh, you can give yourself a shout out. If you don't do it, I'll do it. So you better do it. Go, Huey. How's it going, Speedster? Good morning to you. I'm not talking about- you've been talking about Spec Ops line the whole time, but I'm not playing it. I, I don't know what you're doing there. I'm not, I don't plan on playing it. I'm aware of the game, but I'm not gonna play it. Inspire- that is true. Oh, I thought that one was funny. I, 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 that one was a funny emote. I, I don't want to play Spec Ops line. I'm not even gonna do the Is It Horror. We'll do- Will Eck play it. I have a lot of games I gotta do, and... I don't really think it's a game for me. I hear it's a good game, but not my game. I don't have much to add more to that conversation. Thank you, Wang Fu. Yep, she sent me a DM saying, I think I gone too far. And then I was like, what did you do? And then... Shake. And now Twitch chat still makes fun of me for the shakes. Uh, I heard it's good. I liked playing when I did, Tuxedo. I did enjoy that. I got sponsored, uh, I think, like a couple weeks ago, and it was really nice. That's how I'm at. Oh, you're all good to talk about. It. Just, I'm, I'm kind of confused. Like, it's. I guess it was more just like. I mentioned it like a few times more than anything. So I'm just like, are you trying to talk about it in general? But like, I don't really have much to add about it. I'm not going to do much more than just, I just read it. All right, Huey. Let's not kill my run, yeah? All right, buddy. Come on. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Come on. Where is he? I hear him. Come on. Come on, dick. <laughs> yeah, it's stuck? Nah, he's just lying behind. This actually isn't that bad. Come on. He followed when he had to. It works. Go, Huey. Cool, good shit. Hey, nothing wrong with that. They're really fun games. I really think you should check them out. And then, you know, there's nothing wrong with being scared. Oh, the first time I played Sonal 2, I remember I got to the apartments, I saw Pyramid Head, and then I was like, okay, I'm done for the night. I'm not playing this anymore, because I was scared. It's all based on experience. So, the more experience you get, the less scared you be. Oh yeah, I was fucking terrified. Dude, that, that cutscene, that, that scene when he shows up is like, oh my god. I'm making a Sonic 2 remake next year, yes. Stars and Warriors to be determined 2023. We'll see. But I, I, it could be a pushback. They haven't announced anything yet. I think we're just speculating 2023. Thank you, Swiggy. It's cool, ain't it? Well, yeah, keep in mind, it's all based on experience. There's nothing wrong with being inexperienced in horror games. 
It's like what I mentioned with drinking. There's no shame in being, you know, more on the sober side. If you get drunk fast, cherish that. It means you don't have to be a fucking alcoholic to get a buzz. Oh, in some ways, it's kind of nice. Hello, Jago? Nothing wrong with that. Oh, absolutely, right? The games do good. They do good stuff. Where are the little dudes? Did they just despawn or vanish? I think I despawn. Oh! Yeah. Thank you for the fight. Oh, are you taking the leaderboard for bits? Oh, yeah. Loftacular already mentioned, uh, because, you know, Loftacular and Conrad are getting into it a bit earlier on the on the leaderboard. But Loftacular is still proud for beating you. <laughs> I think for the five bits. I was like, wait, why five? Oh, I get it. I get it. Top 4 is the best thing you'll die on this hill. Counter offer. Sonal uh, uh, 2 exists. Sonal 3 exists. Sonal Play Novel exists. Sonal 1 exists. Sonal Homecoming exists. Downpour exists. Book of Memories exists. <laughs> I just thought this uh, exists. Let's take it. That's fair. Gex exists. I like Sound of Four and I've warmed up to it, but I don't think I'd ever want to call it the best. The second act leaves a lot to be desired and it's kind of a pain. Good game, but yeah. I said downpour over four. No, I like four actually. It's in the middle range for me. I don't I actually don't hate four. I'm just being I'm being a dick. I was gonna be home driven by the way, hope you're doing good. Sound 4 is the only one you own as an elite Sound Hill speedrunner. I have heard that you do Sound Hill speedrunning in your channel. How's it going, Frostwolf? Hope you're doing good. No, the problem with Sound Hill 4 is turning the back half into an escort mission that's kind of a pain in the ass. And also, in terms of continuing the levels, you're just sort of a replay, but with an escort. Well, it's not so much an escort mission, but it's like you're doing the, the whole game again, but this time it's an escort. Like, weirdly enough. All right, chat. Hot take. Hot take right now. Escape from Bug Island did level re revisits better than four. I earnestly believe that Escape from Bug Island is a good example of how to revisit levels. That is not me shitposting. That is a very genuine opinion. I think that game, weirdly enough, making you play the game again, I think is fun. I was gonna exchange for stuff Cars 2. Wait, this can't. What do you mean Cars 2? There's no beans in this game. Which one is the tow truck? Ricardo. Came back to, uh, from work 3 p.m. at your place. Nice. Nice. Okay. But anyway, that's it. I, I got I lost. I got away from my original opinion from my own chat. That's what I was saying, though. The, for emotes, make some good shit. There's a lot of cool emotes out there. Work with an artist. I think sparingly using one's face is cool, but like, if you want a good example of emotes, just check out Bach. I would say me, but I'm not that fucking vain just to recommend myself. There's a reason why the Clock Tower games are not simply all Clock Tower, because the franchise died in 2003, and I didn't want to make a marathon that was like four games long. As well, a lot of games are clock tower, but they didn't want to do it for a reason. Usually requiring money or licensing. That's why. So you get more games, so don't 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 complain. You get you get more video games. 
And they're all made with some inkling of clock tower relating to them. Yep. Huey. Oh no, I'm very consistent on that. The idea behind it is branding. Branding is very Huey. good. It depends on what you want to turn it into. Oh yeah, that's why. I mean, part one is a lot of these games drew late. Like this game comes from Clock Tower 3 because Capcom had all the resources to make another Clock Tower game. Um, and they had the idea from RE4, but the thing is, they didn't want to pay the license because Clock Tower 3 bombed. So why would you want to, you know, why would you want to pay for the license again of a game you know is going to bomb when you can just create an original IP, right? And realistically, you have the same gameplay type, you have the same general idea. This is a Clock Tower game through and through. And a lot of people who worked on Clock Tower 3 would go on to work on this game. Well, yeah. And then Night Cry happens because the original director of the Clock Tower series wanted to recreate Clock Tower, and he, he wanted to make his own IP too because of a few things. But he actually uses the phrase uh, official successor. Or like spiritual successor like he paid for the license to use that phrase i didn't know you had to pay for a license to use the phrase spiritual successor but like they paid for it it's i don't know why but they fucking paid for it apparently they did Huey. i guess it's the official one Huey. it's kind of hilarious Well, I mean, Hifumi Kono put a lot of work in the Clock Tower franchise. Um, and it is interesting to say what, uh, what his thing is. Yes, yes, that's what they did. Uh, the marketing for Project Scissors or Nightcry uses the official Clock Tower spiritual successor. So that's what they would end up doing. Yep. As you can say it is, but to use advertising, I think they're really writing the hype of Clock Tower and hoping that Clock Tower is bigger than it was. And realistically, uh... Yeah, Nightcry kind of famously bombed. Go. But it's kind of a chicken and the egg thing, I'm not gonna lie to you, like... Stop. Looking at Nightcry, there's a lot of cool ideas in it, but there's also a lot of bad ideas, and some of the cool ideas are fail because of lack of money, but some of the bad ideas are never going to be good. So it's like, okay, you didn't fail because of lack of money. This idea is genuinely kind of terrible. What the fuck? Stay. And then Remothered is more of a spinoff of uh, Nightcry, because Nightcry, uh, you know, being the official Clock Tower spiritual successor, had a lot of people who worked in Clock Tower media working on that. So it kind of fits as well, because it also wanted to be a spiritual successor in its own way. Not really horror. Well, unfortunately, we're talking about horror at the moment, so I guess sorry. I don't really have much more for you than that, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna focus on horror, I'm not gonna move away from horror from my, uh, conversation. So, that is why all these games are late. Honestly, it's not a bad question, but also the, uh, the other answer is I get more marathon out of it, and Twitch chat gets more content. Are you calling me Colonel? What? Don't do what? No. Huey. That's weird. Don't don't do that. I don't know why you're doing that, but it seems weird. Oh, there he is. Huey. God damn it! How do I get this fight in this? Chat, who wants to watch an older man suck off a younger man until he dies? Here you go. Ready? Watch. You? Hold on. Ricardo, you were always incomplete.
Hey, yo, chap. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh. You don't call me that? Yeah, I, I mean, it's more confusing than anything. All good, but say No, no, this is the right channel. You're good. He's gonna do it. There it is. See, the mistletoe emote works here. Yay! There we go. An older man sucking off a younger man until he dies. What? What an emote, huh? This is the content you sub for? Exactly. See, this is this is not this is the the content you get by subscribing to twitch.tv slash ignisis. I can't believe it. See, thank you for the fault. See, that's how that's what gets the follows right there, chat. Not invigorating gameplay or co a commentary. It's when I show off the uh the older man sucking off the younger man. That's that's stuff that goes on right there. Thank you, Mr. Bezos, for letting me be able to show off this content for you. Oh, he was sucking him like a golf ball through a garden hose, Iago. Exactly, Ash is born. God, that laugh emote is just... How do I word it? It's good, but I'm trying to find it. Holy fuck. It reminds me of, like, the scream painting. Like, you know the, the screaming face or, like, the Picasso melting shit? Or am I thinking of a different guy? It's powerful, though. Saturn Dose, they have a prime game for four months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you. Reminds me of the character. It's a good character. Honestly, it's a really good laugh emote. I'm not gonna lie to you. Huh. Like, normally I see Kek W's, but I like Kek W. I really like the OG Kek W, though. I like lefties, but I really like the OG. I like seeing the OG guy. He has the Dolly. Ah, yeah, thank you. Sal Salvador Dolly. Sal Salvador Dolly. Yeah, it's a combination of uh, Picasso and Dolly. Yeah, it has a lot of character. That's a really good emote. Who did that? I can't scroll over right now. You know, fuck it, I'm losing time anyway. Pumpkinberry. That's a nice emote. They have a good emote. But welcome to the stream, Ash is born. Hope you're doing good. And making that a sub goal? Wait, what do you mean? No, why? No, no, no. Uh, all I was gonna do was I was gonna make the, the blind emote into a new sub emote. Alright, sorry, I'm gonna change the name to Think, and I'm gonna change the Think to hmm. Night Trap? No, I'm not doing Night Trap again. Not doing, I don't do Night Trap anymore. And that's often. I do it during marathons, that's it. I don't really do it consistently. I can't grind that game for eight hours. It's a one and done every time. Trust me, I tried. I learned quickly. I cannot, I cannot grind that game for eight hours. It comes up, I'll probably be right before GDQ. I always do Night Trap before... No, I said I used to do it, but it'll take me a week to do it. I can't make that a sub goal immediately. I'd have to like do it for like a fucking week. <laughs> Any Christmas horror games? Yep. Uh, Parasite Eve, Lifeline, uh, Dead Rising 4, Paris, uh, The Third Birthday. Not two. Funny enough. Do any current sub goals? Why? Blue Stinger? Why? Why? Honestly, just curious. There's one. Because a lot of people have asked about it in the past, and I feel like, eh, just kind of a way if people want to do it, they can do it. Um, I said I'll do Deadly Premonition, because honestly, I've never beaten Deadly Premonition. I just kind of am aware of it. And I said I would play the game again for, uh, I think at 1,500 sub points. We're not that far away, actually. We're like, I think 62 away. But I don't really push it. It's more just, it's there. It's an option if you want it. Yep. I'm not really pushing them. Like, I'm kind of chopping through a lot of goals already, and, like, I kind of understand chat. We're not going to get a new emote slot anytime soon. Like, we, we've, we have definitely peaked on emote slots for a while, I think. I don't think we're going to hit the point where we get a new one unless, uh, I don't know, something, uh, bad shit happens. Like, we're, we're not going to get one anytime soon. And as well, especially with my, uh, you know, very, very lazy style of doing it, doing it in a way. Isn't the Clock Tower from Konami and Capcom? No. The original Clock Tower was made by a company called Human, and then later on, a company called Sunsoft got the license. Capcom was licensed to make Clock Tower 3, and then they own this game, which is Haunting Ground, which is original IP. Oh yeah, Lone in the Dark 2. Thank you for that one. There's a good few, actually. How do you do that? Do what, Chavacosta? 
the skip I just did, you get a luminescent to follow you while having the candle, and then you go down to where you'd normally do. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you get the luminescent to follow you, the blue orb, and then, uh, that will allow you to skip the spawning of the boss. So you never spawn in old Lorenzo, and he'll never follow you, and then you just go to the machine. And then since he never spawned in, the game assumes he must have died, meaning you instantly win. I'm glad you caught that, Chapa. I'm glad he caught that. That is indeed a skip. That is a huge skip, in fact. Well, come on in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't like pressuring people without the gift subs. Like, I'll mention things like the ads. Like, oh, if you want to avoid ads, you can do this. I'll mention, like, be supporting or the cheeky shill. But, like, no, I don't really like strong arming or trying to heavily pressure people to having to do things. I kind of feel like, for my own content, if people won't enjoy the stream, usually they just donate. And the whole patron of the arts thing, I suppose, and people tend to enjoy that. Like, I couldn't imagine trying to do much more than that. I think it's kind of weird. Which, oh, you mean the emote? Oh, yeah. I wonder if this didn't work. Kill him! Grab his dick and twist it! I yell at you not to? I literally said, why are you asking? Yes. I literally I had to say, for the, for the, like, oh, do you have any sub goals? It's like, why? I guess that's a difference right there. It wasn't like, oh, yes, here's the, the mountain of sub goals. It was, why? I want to make sure that you're all good. And now, you know, in people who donate, you know, you're charging your own money, but like, I always like to just double check and be sure because, you know, while I do this for a living, it's still the point where I'd rather people be able to, you know, make sure they're going to be good. Which, if you're good, you know, you're ready to go for it and all that, but, like, it's the, it's just a little check on my end that I like to do. Alright. There we go. It is good CBT. Alright, you should be dead. You're not dead yet? How the fuck are you not dead yet? There. Alright, not a bad fight. Ah, oh, of course, Jogging. I start shaking a can, uh, a can with the, uh, against my cam. Exactly, assisted. All right, thanks for the follow. All right, you're allowed to enjoy things. Oh shit! Uh, am I gonna be dead? I barely saved that. Holy shit! I try frenetic. I really try. That's okay, Huey. You got hit by the rocks. I can't believe it. Definitely wasn't me on accident. Me. Any man and morals breaks to the business model? I mean, yeah, I do this for a living, but also there's kind of the measure of my own scheme, so to speak. All right, good shit. Hey, chat, you see that movie Man on Fire? Oh, I never get old. Oh god. Right. Apparently the movie Man on Fire is not actually about a man on fire. It's about Denzel Washington, I think. It was also the name inspiration for apparently me, Jessica's duck. Thanks, yep. Because the, the game alright, so chap, what happens is you activate the boss fight, but then the boss fight ends. You know? He has a plushy duck. Kind of like the one I have. So, that's why it happens, Shappa. Um, By starting the fight, the boss has never spawned in, so the game must assume you must have won, and it lets you win automatically. Kind of? Kind of. She looks like Heather? No, she looks like Jill. Or Ashley. You had mine before you had yours. But you you can't... Look at Dick. Look at him. Are you really saying that Dick is the fake? 
To you she is? No, not to you she is. She's literally the model of Jill and, like, Ashley. They literally use this model for RE5 Jill. Like, it's straight up the case. Like, this is where it comes from. It's not, like, to you she is. It's straight up where it is. Yes. Like, it's not... It's not me saying, no, 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 your opinion is wrong. It's, no, no, you're, it is, I, this is a fact. Like, it's not an opinion here. Huey. I see this saying your opinion's wrong. And it's very much the RE5 Jill model. And apparently it's based on Jill's, uh, actors, I think. Yeah, they stripped her out of her outfit. That's why you don't wear the frog, actually. Well, yeah, that's why you get to do it. Monica should be in the background. She is. She's lying down, though. She's behind the plushies. I know. I take great care of the body pillow, don't I? Huh. Hmm. Yep. Well, this game is also Clock Tower 3 assets. There we go. God damn it, I can't believe it. There's a tied world record for Clock Tower Mobile now. I can't believe it, chat. Uh, did I get a record on ending C? I have record on ending C, but I don't have record for this one. It's you? It is you. I just saw it. I'm not doing milliseconds. Because then I'd have to upload my other video and I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> so you can have the tide rolled record. <laughs> Unless there's an overwhelming demand for milliseconds. There you go. Somebody else? There's been four fucking runners. Is there way more runners of Clock Tower Mobile than there ever should be? Alright, Twitch chat, here is the plan. Up next, we have Night Cry. Uh, no, now that's not me what I plan on doing later tonight. No, 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 no. What's going to happen is this is going to be... Night Cry, the video game. Uh, it's the next one of the Clock Tower uh, spinoffs and all that. So, first off, I'm going to go here. And second off, Twitch chat. I am going to do a quick ad break. I'm booting up the game. I'm setting things up. You're not going to be missing much. Yes, we're on Nightcry. Nightcry is fun if you've never seen it. So, while I set up the game and play an ad, that will make it so the run does not get ads. That is good for all of you. Now, if you'd like to avoid the ads, download an ad blocker, get Twitch Turbo, consider something to the channel, or Prime Gaming. Those are your options. Two of them get you emotes and scissors. One of them, you pay Twitch money, and then the other one, you have to look it up. So, there's all your options. Anyway, I'm going to set up Nightcry. Da -da -da -da. All right, ad time. Yeah. All righty, chat. Let's see. I'll play Rain on Brick, by the way. Oh, you might be our ass. Jason, they've been tier one for five months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you very much. We're doing great today. Oh, yeah, Iris, did you add me on Steam? Thank you, Jason. Are we having a great day today? Possibly? Did you actually? I don't know what possible. I mean, you mean possibly. Did you actually? So I can't tell if one of these accounts is you. It seems like it could be. Message me was assisted. It was assisted. He called me a nerd. The answer isn't no. What's your Steam name? You'll be out three dollars. That's so. I have a backlog of games that's fucking large. 
is ever growing. Uh, I cry. Lena. Yes, I think so, actually. Fuck it. Sure, why not? There you go. I'm pretty sure that was ours. I'll add it right now. We're just gonna snarling my skin chopped off the game, right? I played the better RE3 make option. No. I'm not gonna play your fucking D-Gen game. No, I haven't. I don't even know what the fuck that is with you typing it. PSP game, gotcha. Am I like control me? Oh, they do. They do. Well, the game is sisters. It's the same one. I cry. What the fuck do you mean it's the same one? Yes. Thank you for the follow, by the way. All right. All right. Night cry, Chad. It's what I plan on doing later tonight. Let's go. Ready for Nightcry? Is this a Nightcry? Wait, do we have Eurothug here? I don't know if she's here or not. She might be here. If she is here, I'll give her the full rundown of this fucking game. As I think this game is absolutely shit post. 60k points, you're getting them. Oh, I already- I'm already doing a Kumu. Uh, I have to make new 1 million point rewards. I never remove them. I'm making two more. I'll probably make them later this month. So, I already have the ideas. I think it's gonna be RE3 Inferno, and I think it's gonna be uh, Evil Within 2 Akuma. Anyway, chat, ready? Who, all right, before I begin though, who here has never seen Nightcry? Every now and again we do the clock time marathon, a lot of you have never seen Nightcry. Who here this time has never seen Nightcry? Anybody, anybody? You? All right, dice. Where's the dice? Trans has never seen it. Uh, Windmill has not. Zero coin does not seem to. Dry Crow. Uh, Mi Chan. Smox and King Why do you have not seen it? I'm not going to be reading all names here. So, Night Cry is one of the games of all time. Before I get into that, you may be wondering where the fuck did the name Clock Tower go? Trenton, thank you very much for the Prime Gaming. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and welcome to the swarm. Hope you're doing great today. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream thus far. I'm assuming you probably came in from YouTube. Usually, whenever someone hits the combo of Prime and uh, showing up, it's usually YouTube. But I hope you're doing good. You haven't? Well, good job. Good. Well, not good job. Good news, Rudolph. You'll see it now. So, Nightcry is a game that came out back in 2016. This game's weird. Why is it weird? Well, Haunting Ground came after Clock Tower 3 came out. And Clock Tower 3 was meant to sort of be, you know, the next step of Clock Tower to the PS2. And Haunted Ground came because they still had all the assets and they wanted to make a new game. By the way, I'm going to talk while closing my window because my window's open and I don't want to... I don't want the sun to come in later. But continuing onward with this... Continuing onward with this idea... Let us continue to move forward, chat. Fumi Kono, the director of the original Clock Tower games. Yes, the first one and the second one. Where's Peter? He's on my bed. He's right there. Fumi Kono decided he wanted to bring Nightcry to the modern generation in 2016. Oh, it's a classic pile gut. And he kickstarted this game called Nightcry, also known as Project Scissors. Um, it started off as a mobile game, and then they wanted to bring it to PC gamers. People can truly enjoy it. They had all these ideas. They hired a bunch of people. 
and they officially used the phrase clock tower spiritual successor in the marketing they paid for that so that is where this comes from that's why this is a clock tower game when you see it as well it's gonna be super clock tower it's gonna be you're not even gonna think oh wait what a clock tower is this it's night cry anyway without further ado let's go uh, cause you've never seen this game. I show the cutscenes. I like to fuck around. This game is one of the dumbest games I've ever played, but I love it. This game is a genuine negative 10 out of 10. That is a phrase I want to mention out loud right there, chat. Get the idea of negative 10 out of 10. It's a Kickstarter? Yes. So, uh, all the characters look like this. This game came out in 2016. Uh, you see my mouse? Yeah, this game has a point and click. It is a fixed camera angle point and click game. 2016. Uh, they wanted, I think, $300,000. They made about $314,000 or $19,000 or some shit. It's on Kickstarter. You can check the total value if you don't believe me. They had a lot of stretch goals. They barely made it. Uh, yes, uh, she looks like a dolphin who shat herself. I, I get that. Um, also, yes, yeah, she's very busty because Fumi Kono likes sexy women. I mean, I don't judge the man. I, I agree with him, in fact. You know what? Good man. Uh, this guy right here... Uh, there's no voice acting, but the one time that guy speaks, he's voiced by Barry Burden from Resident Evil, because him and Barry Burden are friends, apparently. And this is the tutorial. I know you're thinking, oh, this game is fun, right? Well, you'll see. Are you doing the fucking Rune 5 meme, DP9K? Damn, that body of yours is absurd. I should. Oh, God. When that was trending, I should have done that. God damn it. She looks like the parasite. She does, doesn't she? She does. I fucking love that meme. It was funny. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, before going more into the history of Nightcry and all about it, and before I start hitting you with the hard facts, um, I'm gonna let the game introduce itself. I always do this to people. Because, you know, I'll be thinking, how good or bad can this game be? Also, I want to say right now, what do you mean negative 10 out of 10? So, I watched a YouTuber named Jello Apocalypse a while back and I adopted this idea, but I firmly do agree the idea that bad media does not mean bad. Just because you're a bad media does not mean you're bad media. A bad experience can be a very enjoyable one. It doesn't matter if it's shitty quality, it's like eating McDonald's. Sometimes it hits just right and be the best thing you've ever eaten. Also, here's Dante from the DMC reboot. I, I think it straight up the model. I don't actually know where the fuck they made this or got this, but like, he looks just like Dante for some fucking reason. Anyway, enjoy Nightcry. Here's the intro, as long as the game doesn't break around me, because sometimes it does that. Yes, the so bad it's good experience. Don't get yourself worked up that doesn't hit nobody. Anyway, enjoy. Buy you drink. Here's Nightcry. <laughs> you think a soda will get you on my good side? Hey, you're thirsty, right? Here we go. Yes, so Dante, uh, like Terminator of, of Demons. What is it now? Well, uh, as I was again. He's grabbing my hand. What? I said something inside here grabbing my hand. Oh, it is. Gary. It is Dante. It totally is. is anyway, um, I'm serious. Cat. <laughs> yeah. By the way, nothing here is edited. Uh, the, the lighting effect, the soda machine, the scissor walker. That's Nightcry. Okay, so as you can see, we're entering the clock tower part of this game as well. Remember, fixed camera angle, point and click. It's fucking awkward. It's better than Dawn of Fear. I don't know what that is, probably. That's the scissor walker. It is uh, a female scissor man. It, scissor walker. It's actually really well designed and one of the coolest parts of the game. So chat um that's night cry oh i accidentally opened up something because i play this uh, uh, fun. oh i didn't open up notes i don't think i opened up notes we're good that's night cry and night cry has a lot of fun stuff like this that you're going to see we get the complete breakdown of the plot or story uh yeah there's a school field trip upon something called the oceanus and cultists want to you sacrifice people to go to super heaven? That's it. How long is the game? Probably like 10 hours casually if you don't know if you're, you know, if you're doing this normally. Yes, it is actually spelled the Ocean Anus. 
The Oceanus is what it's called, though, but it's spelled the Ocean like Ocean Anus. Correct. I do have a Scissor Walker figure. Me, Jessica, gifted to me. Watch, Trish Chat, Trish Chat. So you have to use in game Facebook to make a post. I'm not kidding. It is literally the Oceanus. Not Ocean. Oceanus. The Oceanus. But it's called, it's literally Oceanus. Yes. I'm not kidding. That is actually the case. The plot of this game is dumb. Don't worry about it. Why not? Also, you may be wondering about this layout over here, right? So, Nightcrawler is originally meant to be a mobile game. Also, they're on a cruise ship. They can't call a boat. They're on a cruise ship. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm, I'm dumb. I can... Oh, huh. okay. I don't want to hear about your favorite YouTuber. Normally, you don't want to... Like, no. And sure, you can say your favorite YouTuber, but like, uh, no, we're focusing on, we're focusing on this. As a mother's pride. Speaking of focusing on this, chat, um, this is an actual cutscene. This is gonna be an actual thing. Enjoy Night Cry 2016. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten uh, you. Uh, Are you all right? You look very pale. Are, are you... alive? What? He's dead! If you fail that, you die too! That's why I had to mash the mouse in the middle. By the way, anyone do me a favor and clip that? I just do a clip of that last whole thing until I said that last sentence there. Anyone do me a one favor with that? Also, they have a bunch of Kickstarter backers too. Look, you have a... You have like a cake. Or not the cake. You have a... Koichi Yamazaki posting his dog and Aiko, Aiko Tanimoto posting her cat. I think they paid like... I want to say it's either $300 or $800 for that. I don't remember. Are you alive? What? Yes. Also, yes, his name's the Fat Crew Member. That guy's canonical name is the Fat Crew Member. That is straight up the name they gave him. Hey, man, you got a voice editing. What's your character's name? Fat Crew Member. $400. Okay, $400. $400. I haven't looked at the Kickstarter page in a while. $400 would be right, I think. Am I just... You know, I've been told I look like Distortion. No, we're not related, but we are friends. We are friends, Savvy. No, we're not related. But I definitely know what you're talking about. Like, I, I see it. I know it. Uh, I, think, I think we've talked about it before, funny enough. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know you're not wrong. At least, it, at least it's not the fat imposter. I hate that so much. I hate that so fucking much. Oh, yeah, but those people uh, posting their cat and their dog, yeah, they paid $400 to show up on this game. I'm not going to lie. If I if I had money back when this game came out, I would have fucking done that. The problem is I never find cool Kickstarter horror games anymore. I don't know where to look. Like, nothing alike. Me and Distortion look totally alike, but, like, there's definitely similarities enough where, like, I've, I, I, I get it. Like, it's enough there where, like, some if someone says it, I don't like, like, no, we look nothing alike. Like, no, I... It's kind of there. Like, I kind of see it. Yep. Like, it's one of those things that I was like, oh, yeah. Also, it's not a bad comparison at all. You did that for the Soros Clothes? How did you find that, by the way? I know you did that, but I've been wanting to do that for a few games. But I don't ever know what games. Also, look at her to jam her fucking hands on this thing. No, I'm not getting world record in this. That's the answer to the puzzle. Just jam your hands on that shit. The mall's in decline right now. I know me Jessica found one. Hey, zero coin. Thank you very much for that. Okay, cool. Thank you, Wondrous. I'll use. I'll look at both of them and pick one of them. I wanted to upload a bit. Uh, that's all like TikTok or something. I'm trying to do more TikTok stuff, so I'm trying to make moments for that. Oh, that's the paranormal tapes. You just have to like the Unreal one, right? Like the Unreal PT kind of thing. I want to play it. I really want to play that. It looks cool. Yeah, I want to play it. I'll play that when I can. 
Tiger Dog is so cursed. Hey, I went to a TikTok party and I like to go to more of those. So I want to start doing more of that. <laughs> Twitch chat. Why, why, why is Texas wanting to more on TikTok now? I went to a party and I want more of those egg sliders. Okay. They were literally like delicious bread, egg, and like cheese. I know I liked it. I have to curate. What's a TikTok page? Oh, it's a TikTok party? It was a party for TikTok. That's what it was. Egg sliders? Yeah. I want, of course, I want more sliders. I invited me, Jessica, uh, because, um, with, uh, with, uh, what's the word? With TwitchCon, there's a lot of different experiences that you can go with this stuff. And, like, you know, if I know people who I hang out with, I, you, a lot of these things you get plus ones to. It's like, oh, hey, I want to go to a party. You're, you know, you don't get a good old lot of them. So it's like, yeah, let's go. On, let's go. And also, I don't like waiting in line alone. No, we're not egg spiders. And also, uh, it works because I get additional drink tickets. <laughs> so, uh... I, I, I was able to get additional drink tickets that way. Now, let's go. And then this way, and good. But yeah, Michel, it's good, good stuff, though. And then live action Hercules. Yeah, I heard about that. All right, good. I got a goal of that. Sweet. Anyway, here's Leonard chat. Leonard walks like a powerhouse. But, yeah, for events, though, there is something neat, especially with TwitchCon, because, like, I feel like depending on where you are on the area of Twitch, it all really changes. Like, in some cases... You can just go to a lot of the official Twitch things, that's fine. You can meet up with a lot of the people. Oh yeah, Leonard walks with every step. No, Leonard walks exactly the absolute swagger, Yaga. You got it. Every step Leonard makes is sheer power. Like, I guess what I'm trying to say though is I think depending on especially creator size or anything like that, you can absolutely have uh, a difference in, I guess, experience. There's certain things that you won't be able to see. Uh, until you're like certain levels and it's like a different it's a really weird fucking thing there's also why when like he'll talk going to twitchcon it's like oh do you know any friends on twitch yeah, he does he totally does it like us he totally does yes he does the dr livesley the the bum 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 ba -da -dun -dun -dun. leonard's a man before his time well leonard's an absolute king every step of this man is absolutely chad based he has the dr Le live what livesley 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 I want two conversations, by the way, and I love it. So, if I know, like, other, you know, if I know friends, other streamers who go to, like, events and, like, oh, well, hey, I have a plus one. I try to invite people so they can kind of see, like, oh, yeah, you know, this is what this is like. You can get an experience. And, like, especially on, uh, you know, like, one thing uh, Edisco was able to see was a lot of the Twitch hypocrisy, which is fun. Like, Dice, what are you talking about? You know all the people who are complaining about uh, not having mask policy? Oh yeah, dude, none of those people were masking parties. You know that, right? People who are actively like bitching on Twitter like, Oh my god, there's no mask policy. I'm not gonna go. No, they bought their ticket early. They're gonna go. I mean, I like a mask policy, don't be wrong. Oh, I like that GDQ had it. What's this? What do you mean? This is Nightcry. Are you talking about the eggs? I was talking about egg sliders earlier, egg buddy. And Nightcry is a, a clock tower spin-off game, it's very fun. Yeah, a lot of people are hypocritical, but like while we were waiting in line, I really pointed out, I was like, hey, look at all the people in there. Look what they're not wearing. <laughs> right? A lot of Twitter points to the outrage. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I just follow whatever rule I get told to follow. I am very just I'm not making the rules, man. Well, you have to understand, from what I learned going to TwitchCon, if you, if you, uh, you know, in the convention center, COVID's active, so you have to put on the mask. But the moment you step outside, it deactivates. They have, they tip, they turn off the shield. <laughs> I'm obviously, I'm being a smartass right now, by the way. It's more the fact that a lot of people are just being hypocritical. I like wearing my mask, I, you know, I'd wear it around. But, yes. Hold on, here we go. Exactly. I'm so mad at Twitch that me and other big creators are going to boy boycott them on my day off. Remember the big fucking day off, by the way? Like, they're like, oh, we're gonna boycott Twitch on this day off. They planned the boy- the person who planned the boycott planned it on their day off. 
There's a lot of this shit all around. Anyway, chat, for something positive, let me show you an absolute king in action. Ready? Something positive here. Leonard's gonna take a baseball. Gonna toss it. It's gonna hit. And then... He sneaks. What a god. More importantly, chat, more importantly, Leonard actually killed this man, because when I go back, he's gone. He's vanished. Had COVID once and being back twice is terrible. It is terrible. It is actively terrible, like buddy. I agree with you on that one. Like, dude, when I go out, like, I follow mask rules. Whatever the mask rule is, I follow it. I've got my I got my vaccine, I got my I got my first, I got my I think I got my booster. I got one of my boosters. I had to get it for GDQ. Because Leonard's powerful, he actually sent him to the baseball dimension. And now he's dead. Like, that's not, like, I feel like, you know, when I, alright, so chat, when I talk about some of the stuff, it's not the, it's not the point I'm trying to make. Also, look. Leonard, like me, solves his problems with a wine bottle. But, the point I'm making is more the general hypocrisy of people on fucking Twitch sometimes, man. Like, a lot of people, I remember, and you know, right, I don't disagree with the idea. I liked Evo because it had, a, you know, the vaccine rules. I liked wearing my mask at Evo. GDQ had a really good one. Like, no one got fucking sick from GDQ. And TwitchCon, I don't mind that they had it. You know, like, yeah, yo, I'm glad they had it. I I got, I had my Vax card, I had my mask, I got all my shit. And also, they handed out masks, too. Days, you never had to pay rents. What do you mean, are you okay, I'm confused. Do you mean for the Leonard, or do you mean for something else? I'm confused. I don't follow. He did, Meat Shield. He did. You don't know. Well, you just said the days in order to pay a rent. What are you referring to? You you do know. You typed it. But anyway. Some of you have personality parts against real lame in places. Oh, yeah, but it's kind of fun to see a lot of the people who are making big deals not follow them. That's the main thing. I think if you're able to, you know, it's probably smart to get the vaccine. Some people can't get it. People get raw deals. They're shit out of luck. They're unable to. It happens. It's okay that they can't get it. It's not the end of the world. As long as you're able to follow the respected rules of the events, it's all good. Mine of the days back in high school, chased back to elementary school. With, with Leonard playing baseball? Well, there you go, I guess. I guess it makes sense. Right, I can't believe it. Better in the first two days. I had COVID twice, and I had the vaccine boost. And I'm also, uh, you know, I had the vaccine a while back. Yes, your mother does too. Those are people that can't get the vaccine rely on everyone else to get it. Yep. Some people... Oh, yeah, no, not Rooney. Yeah. Also, hey, chat, look, rope. I'm gonna show you the world's heaviest man. Yeah, some people genuinely can't get it. I don't know people's deal that they have. If I follow the rules of the event, more power to them. I don't fucking care. I'm probably gonna try avoiding people who look like they're, you know, diseased or sickly anyway. Are already on cam? No, I'm not the world's heaviest man. As well, how can you say that to me? I know for a fact I can name one low hanging fruit I'm not gonna do, because there's not a joke in the game yet. Oh yeah, what if like it injects in your body and like, you know, you're allergic to shit? Some people might be, that happens. Poor Leonard. Yeah. Oh no, no, I know that, I know that much. I know that much, Hank. I'm saying I got it, tw I know why I got it twice. It's more the idea that for, what's the word? For TwitchCon and a lot of events, a lot of people will make large deals about we must have it. You made it ran over and missed the first event and I cry. Oh, you missed the Rooney parts, yeah. But right now we're on Leonard. You missed it a little bit. Hey, someone can post the clip though about one of the best parts of Nightcry. I agree with that, Drans, as well. Like, there's definitely the other end as well. I'll say it again. I'm vaccinated. Like, this isn't this isn't me saying, oh yeah, you know, the government. No, this is very far from that, in fact. It's mostly just calling out the hypocrisy of people who are trying to bait Twitter. They're trying to farm uh, things, and they're trying to get good good boy points. 
But at the same time, if you actually go to the events, the amount of people who just not practicing. Also, jump scare. Now he'll not practicing what they preach. Yeah. You can only see it in every fucking thing, and you know, I went to a lot of these. Lots of chat on my end, dude. I was drinking the whole fucking time. I don't even say that's on my own end. I'll say as well. I wasn't exactly doing it. Why? Because I'm an alcoholic. I like to drink. I was cramming food down my throat the whole time. Where is his mask? I was eating. I was drinking. <laughs> the whole time? Yes. And then you know what happened? When I got back to the convention, I put it back on. But the thing is, I wasn't making a giant stink on fucking Twitter about it. That's the difference. Mm. Drinking is it's a fun time. You eat breakfast, enjoy your breakfast. Oh yeah, Night Cry is certainly a game. There's also the soda death, stuff like that. But boom. We're gonna get a lot more Euro Thug. Don't worry. The silliness is not over yet. You're actually doing one of the best parts. By the way, chat, spam Icdicey Boogie. Please do. It is now time. Why are we this guy now? We're actually gonna be another character right now, too. You ready? Spam Icdicey Boogie. There it is. No, we're in mask. It's not a big deal. Hey, if you like wearing the mask, we're part two, egg buddy. The only downside of the mask, though, is, um... What's the word? If I remember correctly, the mask more prevents you from spreading as the other way around, which is really good. It's honorable. It's noble. Like, if I'm sick, I'll wear my fucking mask. I'll be, like, full-blown quarantining myself. No, not that. No, no, it's not that. It's more the fact that if you're trying to avoid getting sick, like, yeah, it's not gonna help you. Like, it might help you a little bit, but, like, the main thing is other people are gonna have to be reliant. So, I wish more people did think like you. Anyway, good chat. If the game does not break on me, I'm gonna show you a cutscene. Nero Thug. This will be good because it'll kind of describe the mood of Nightcry. That one happened too. Let's see if it works. Oh, the game, never mind, the game broke. Uh, the game does that, by the way. You don't get to see that cutscene. I'll show you a different one. Uh, the game literally skipped the cutscene. My hands were off the keyboard. It just happens sometimes. Oh yeah, that just happens. Uh, I actually discovered a speedrun skip because of this. Uh, if you mash all the buttons on your keyboard, you can uh, create lag in the game, like game's program, which will then just let you skip cutscenes that are normally not skippable. It happens on loads too, so you can make loads instant. It's really dumb. Like, let's see if I can get it. Nah, not quite. Oh, I tried. Oh, I've got a. Rooney is a queen. And that's good. That is good. Anyway, there's my conversation there. Every like six days in a row? Me too. Tell I'm working more than that. Tell I'm working like more. She tries her best. I like masks, they're cool. I really like wearing a mask. Chat, you know what fucking happened to the same fucking people, the same people who I see preaching on Twitter made fun of me for wearing a mask. I remember that. If I wore one at like AGDQ 2020, I was the only person who wanted to wear one. This is before COVID started. Why? Because I thought that wearing a mask would prevent you from getting sick. That's what I thought. Oh wait, I forgot to do the thing. Hold on, I forgot to do the thing. Yeah, I wanted to wear it because I thought wearing a mask would prevent you from getting sick, right? I I don't know a whole lot about masks at that time. I just, I, I kind of figured it does help. It helps a little bit. But I figured that, you know, a lot of the people in Japan wear masks and you're on sickness season, so that must prevent it, right? I'm a dumbass who didn't realize it was a politeness thing the other way around. But I still wore it because I thought, hey, maybe this would prevent it because I got sick at TwitchCon the previous year 
Because, you know, before the whole COVID thing, people were still getting sick at events, and I hate getting sick. Yeah, I didn't realize it was the other way around. Yeah, I hate Conqueror. I really hate Conqueror. Like, this is a genuine thing. That's also why, again, for events, I really like having the, the, you know, the rules. I actually really like that. I don't want this to sound like, oh, Dysus actually hates having rules. No, 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 I like them. I just, you know. Most of my stuff is more, I just avoid people who seem like they're diseased. I just will try to keep my distance. Alright, there you go. Oh, yeah. But, no, I, although I was the only one who didn't get sick from that AGDQ. I'll say it right now. I didn't get sick. Uh. Go! Go, Rooney! Go! Ah, oh, of course, the Raccoon City... Of course, Dark Presence. How can you forget? Oh, hey, I got the glitch where the game breaks and just gives you the saw Mackley. Also, look at Rooney hiding in plain sight. Rooney, you must escape. My running joke is that, uh... Rooney is wearing the same outfit as the chair, so she's perfectly camoed. And that's how she's able to get away. Oh, I forgot to show off the Leonard ones. Oh, that's fine. He knew we were blue today. Exactly, she knew. Hey, I'm just saying. GDQ, uh, GDQ, uh, 2020, the, the last one we had to happen, 2022. Good fucking event for, uh, not getting sick. Literally, like, nobody got COVID from the event. If they got COVID, it wasn't from the event, I'll tell you that much. That thought was on top of it. I say that to the guy who, uh, like, I, I, Chad, I was absolutely drinking like a fucking tank. Of course I'm so like Edric. There. Got it. You know, you're not wrong, Iris, but I think that might be for a different reason. I'm not going to lie to you. Is that serious? I'm single person that's part of the time instead of positive. Oh, yeah. Well, at that point, like... You know, there are two days you're mixing, mingling, and drinking. Yeah. I got to have a, a nice drink with Assisted and his a better half. Also, chat, look. It's uh, Bubble Ball, Dave Bruno, Leo Popolovsky, Orlani Allegio, Stephen Wagner... And tomorrow, Carrion. That's unfortunate, Willsey. That's unfortunate. Oh, no, not you. That sounds right. One. Yes, I gotta have a person, I gotta have a drink with assisted and- Assisted, would you say that you're dating your wife? Hold on, hold on, don't say anything wondrous. Assisted, would you say that you're dating your wife? Nope, that's me. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, the ex-girlfriend, who went for the ex-girlfriend one? Alright, fine. Guess you got me on that one. That's great. Yes, yes, yes. I know that one. He's not wrong. Yes, I know what he's saying. I know the one. I said earlier that technically you can say you're dating your wife. Like you can you can say you're dating your wife. That's not an incorrect sentence to make. No, I don't have a wife. You can't date my wife. I don't have a wife. Also, I wouldn't let you date my wife if I did have one. Yet. Yet. Get a wife. 
No. Also, I'm not the wife. No, I'm definitely not the wife. That doesn't need her nose. No, no one's allowed to become my wife. Go. That is true, everybody. You're not wrong. Oh, we do get eat it. That was. Anyway, Eurothug, it is now time to amp up the game, because lately you've just been using Nightcry as it is. Uh, let me show you more about Nightcry and how this game kind of gets. Also, some of the speedrun stuff, and, uh. Yeah. Cool bug fact is, Dice just doesn't have a wife. Oh. Cool bug factus. You know you're not wrong, Solid Spider. Hmm. Uh, oh god, I'm getting sleepy shit. Uh, uh. Anyway, uh, here's the smartest thing Rooney can do. Oh god damn it! I keep why can't I get this normally? What the fuck? So the cutscene is that the scissor walker is waiting at the end of the like the conveyor belt, and then you're able to just like she crawls away like ah! and it's stupid, but the game is breaking and giving me the speedrun skip actually, which is good normally, but bad here because I'm trying to show these off. By the way, yes, Nightcry is that buggy. I'm literally not touching the keyboard when it happens. On every known planet in the galaxy, Dysus does not have a wife. Now you're not wrong. Right, Mars? I can't believe it. Nope, the game is just that way the game is kind of busted it's not really a thing i have any control over in fact i made up a skip yeah i call it the dumbest skip in speed running one of them at least i won't say the dumbest dumbest but like one of the dumbest all oh, right that's right welcome back man core also hero thug enjoy this here's how you open uh, a crate From the mind of Uhumi Kono, the original Clock Tower director. <laughs> she just fucking rams it. Chat, you must understand. I don't think Rooney is forklift certified. Are you alive? She's so fired, Voxy Box. She's not forklift certified. I'm sorry. She just rams it. She does. I mean, it's in the sh no, in the Shenmue universe, they're forklift certified. Rooney is not forklift certified. She crashed that shit, dude. You wrecked it. Anyway, Twitch chats. I'm gonna give you a heads up. One, if you are subbed, get ready to spam the emotes. Two, if you're not subbed, you can use channel points to unlock an emote, and that will be fun. The emote is a dicey assets. Soon. I'll be spamming it soon. You'll know when. That's the whole reason why that's the emote, by the way. This that's a Nightcry emote. Soon TM. Nightcry reminded that I got to drive a scissor lift back when I worked my old job, and they're cool, man. You know what? I kind of miss it sometimes. Not a lot, but like a little bit. I like driving scissor lifts. I think they're fun. Exactly, Bezra. Alrighty, Twitch chat. Alrighty. One.
Game. Game. There. Bad RNG on the loading. Well, I have no idea if the phone battery can actually die. I think it can, but I've never seen it die. All right, Twitch chats, get ready. It is almost time. Spam Ikdicey assets. All righty, here it is. Rooney's booty. I don't know why they gave me this angle, but Rooney has a fat ass. Look at her go. This isn't the only one you're getting, by the way, chat. There's a long, long crawl. Oh yeah, you have to understand. Rooney is dummy thick. Why do you think the sister man's able to hear her so much? Kumi Kono, you've done- also here's a skip. You click on that with an item, it'll tell you you can't use that here and it'll skip the death. See? She just stands in the vent. That's some regular booty? Oh no, look at the- look at the angle here, man. It's literally taking up the majority of the screen. He hides it well. He's waiting for the vents. Anyway, there we go. Yep, I don't know why that is, but it just is. Also, Twitch chat, you remember that one guy, Leonard? Anyone here really like Leonard? Like, were you a big fan of his character and wanted to see where it, where it would go? The devs knew what they were doing? Of course they did. Loved him? Oh, I have some sad news for you. They took his skin. He's now the king of not having skin. Alright, Twitch chat. Now, you want to know why Nightcry is cinema? For the love of God, I want to show... I want to show you with, like, one cutscene. For the love of God, please. 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 Please, game. Thank you. Alright, let me show you how to write cinema. By the way, this weird humming in the background, that's the music in this game. So, without... Uh, if you know the answer, don't say it. Twitch chat. Who do you think wrote the music in this game? <sighs> Professor Leonard. Leonard Skinner, Koji Kondo, Be Be Beethoven, Hans Zimmer, Mozart. The person who wrote this riveting song. Oh, by the way, I'll tell you after this cutscene. Incredible! You killed him. You really By the way, him. this girl right killed here is the Henry. one good voice actor Killing in this game. Killing me wasn't enough, was it? <laughs> Closer than you think, Nazar Fox. I'm curious. How does it feel to kill someone? He's the only good one in the game. She also voices Meg hey, from the Ring Terror's Realm and the sexy clown from Arms. He was a father to you, you know. Uh, Barry? No. You aren't gonna act <laughs> no. as if nothing happened like you did when you killed me, are you? Cinema. Shut up, Connie. Huh? I remember what really happened that day. We were on a boat. I was reaching to grab your hat because the wind had blown it into the lake. What? What? Chad, yeah, you noticed something? But you, you tried to push me in from behind. The game's not frozen. It's been on this no. camera angle the so whole that's time. Why? You're lying. But it was you who fell in, and you got caught in the boat's propeller. That's. What really happened? Lies, 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 lies! You're twisting the story to make yourself look good! Ah! Yeah! No, that's what you've been doing, Connie. You were <laughs> always mean to, to me. It's a solid angle. It's the idea. Why use burgers die? if you can have steak every night for dinner? Connie wasn't ejected into the I boat. She tried to murder Rudy. your forgiveness. I... I'm going to go on with my life. And then Connie was never heard from again. Oh, yes, it is Ashbourne. Now, I'll have fun with that, I guess. But let me tell you something. This music you're hearing right now, this track, 
is made by a woman named Nuboko, Nuboko, Nuboko Toda? Or Nubuka Toto. I'll tell you where she's from afterward. You can look this up if you don't believe me. But first off, let me show you what the game did to the Kickstarter backers. Bye, Kickstarter backers. Oh, look, it's about 100 bit alert because it's fucking hilarious. No, it's Nabuka Toto. Uh, I want to say it's that one. Uh, the idea was behind her, though, you can look so you don't believe me. She did the music for Metal Gear Solid. Actually, Metal Gear Solid. The chick who did the music for Metal Gear Solid. Yes. Yes. I think it's like Nabuka Toto or Nabuka Toto. I don't know the exact name, but you can look it up. Which one? The one I'm saying. You can, again, look it up with the exact name. I don't remember the exact pronunciation. Yep. Oh, did I tell you that all the game developed? Nabuko, Nabuko Toda. Thank you, Nabuko Toda. I was right. Nabuko Toda. Yep. She was on the, all the games. Like, all of them, all of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, game the game designers. What did they do? Uh, they made Castlevania. Like, I think Symphony of the Night Castlevania. Uh, directed by the guy who made Clock Tower and the director of, uh, the original Juon Grudge movies, like the Japanese ones. Oh, so look at this. How did we get here? Good question. That's why I wanted to make a video about Nightcrap for so long. And then he just, she just walks away. Why didn't they use it? They did use it. Um, oh yeah, it had Masahiro Ito design the monsters. The Scissor Walkers designed by Masahiro Ito, which is why it's like the best part of the game, clearly. I'm not kidding, the design's good. I have a fucking statue of that. It was a gift from me, Jessica. And it's a really good fucking gift. It's awesome. I love that statue. It is on my slot machine. Yes! Talent does not mean a game is good. I love pointing that out to people. Oh yeah, one of the funniest part about the Kickstarter goals, it's still up by the way, if you don't believe me, you can look this up. Uh, so they offered that if you paid enough money, you can get a custom drawing of Mas from Masahiro Ito. But he would not draw Pyramid Head. He would physically refuse to draw Pyramid Head. That's kind of for a while I knew that he hated Pyramid Head. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he, he refuses it. He, he does not want to drop Pyramid Head. Oh, it's long, Zexon. It's a long one. Oh, the film called Night Cried. Let me tell you that. They made a 12-minute short film to advertise this game. In the film, uh, it's about a mother and son on a cruise ship, and the son's on his iPad playing a mobile version of Night Cry. The mobile version that never came out. What the fuck? The mobile port's still waiting. They said they would make a mobile port years ago. It never came out. It also features the Scissor Walker coming out of a fucking iPad or some shit. Watch it. This movie is online. You can find it. Hey, but don't worry. Uh, did you know that this game actually has a... Yeah, I don't know how they did it, but they featured my YouTube comment section in, in the game. Like, watch, I'm about to walk that door and you'll see what the YouTube commenters do to me. And reviewers did the Night Cry. Straight to the trash. Oh yeah, by the way, it's not done yet. So one of the puzzles requires you to get a bunch of uh, like eight balls or like a billion balls and uh, watch. A doll? By the way, the Vita version came out in 2019. They still need to make the mobile version for like cell phones, like actual cell phones. I don't mean the Vita version, they made a Vita port though, for some fucking reason. Oh, you're a thug. You, uh, again, this is a great time because the end of the game gets better and better. It's not uh, going down, I'll tell you that much. 
but you can kind of see what I'm talking about. This game is like everything's so rough, but like I was gonna give you reviews. Good question. It has passion. Like some of the ideas in those original shit you'll ever see in your goddamn life. It's on a cruise ship, fixed camera angle, point and click horror game. You use a cell phone as one of the main mechanics. One of the puzzles requires you to post on in-game Facebook. The deaths are unironically some of the most original shit you'll ever see in your goddamn life. Like, this is the only game I know that does what you're about to see. Which, by the way, yes, if I fail the QTE, I will die. I'm not going to fail it, but you will die if you fail it, and that's exactly what you think it does. You like it? Oh, I love this game. For me, I rank it negative 10 out of 10. I think this game is literal cinema. But the thing is, it's not good. I'm not going to tell you here that Nightcry is good. But it's fun. You're going to have a great time playing it. <laughs> so yes, the Scissor Walker... The Scissor Walker decided to throw darts at you. Yeah, have a good night, Tetsuya. Hope you get some good sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen a horror movie or a game where the kill was the killer throwing darts. That feels like Friday the 13th shit. It's hilarious. Like, a Fumi Kona had fun. By the way, you know, like, if you haven't seen it, the opening kill in this game is a man gets sucked into a soda machine. And he looks like Dante. Like, the 2013 reboot Dante. A, you can die in a washing machine. A, a bunch of shit. Yes! Uncle Sun Puppy, you're probably thinking of the same one I mentioned earlier. Uh, Jello Apocalypse. Uh, that's where I got the idea from, of negative 10 and regular 10. Um, you might be thinking of that one. That's not darts. Those are knives. Those are knives. Those are not darts. Those are very much not darts. Those are throwing knives and glass ones. That. I think it might be the same model. Yep, that's where I get the idea of like negative ten to ten. I think it's a really good scale. I think more people should use it. I even quoted it when I mentioned it the first time too. I always quote when I use things. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, cool thing about the speedrun, I'm actually doing a lot of speed tech that you might not know about. So, you're supposed to do more things to get to special endings, you need a ring, which then lets you get one of the eight balls. What do the negative ratings mean? So, a negative rating means that you're, it's enjoyable, it's very good, but it doesn't mean that it's actually good. Like, if you were buying this game expecting, like, a genuinely amazing horror experience, like, ah, oh, scary, like, Sonal 2, you're not getting Sonal 2. You're getting a steaming pile of, uh, passion on your plate. Alone in the Dark 2008 is absolute dog shit, but it's fucking great. And honestly, playing it's really good. But the thing is, very often with games, you can still have fun with bad media. Bad media does not mean it's necessarily terrible. It just means that it's not traditionally good. So with Nightcry being negative 10, it's, you should play it. You're going to have an amazing time, but you're not going to have a traditionally good time. This isn't going to be something that's going to make you feel emotions. You're going to have fun. That's what it means. Oh, I bet. A uh, game highlights two big issues in uh, game dev. Firstly, producers don't find a role in game dev, uh, mainly because of the game is great. It's hard to show what you can do. You have know, a weak producer with lots of passion and talent to get this. And so ugly is cute. Yep. Anyway, you want to see something cool? If you walk forward, you get a bad ending. However, using an item while walking into a death cutscene cancels the cutscene. What does that mean? You can just walk past it. And then this is only two options for this puzzle. One and two. I got one. Right, has a beam. Has a beam. Also, this is one of the best endings in the game I've ever played, actually, not even kidding. Shit. 
Yeah, I could have gone faster than that, but I'm just nice and safe. I do love the ending. I think the ending is kind of good. It has ups and downs. Also, look, a safe full of money. Rooney steals the eye. Good job, Rooney. Good job. I think the note that you read that I read earlier is the thing that tells you how to get the eye. And it tells you what the eye does. Here, that's why you have to read the diary. That's how you learn how they're controlling the scissor walker. Hold on. All right, let's see if I get a cutscene. Here's the ending. By the way, there's a big speedrun skip. This is an unskippable cutscene. If it automatically skips, I save two minutes. Otherwise, I kind of want to watch it. The game broke. You don't get to watch it. Sorry. Anyway, I just golden. Save two minutes. Anyway, here's the ending. Uh, Rooney, I'm sorry. The, I literally let, had my no, hands you, up when I did you it. You still haven't let go of your death wish? You still get to see one of the cool parts, don't worry. You just don't get to see the explanation of going to Super Heaven, or you don't get to see the plot twist that right. the subtitle saying Jerome Sorry, is Jerome. Who is that guy in the match that says Jerome in the subtitles? Oh, it's Jerome. I can't believe I'm it. gonna survive. No matter what it takes. No matter the cost. Yep, it is the official Clock Tower spiritual successor. Rooney? We will, Pianfroni. We will. We will. Anyway, uh, here's the ending of Nightcry. Fucking love it, by the way. Spam devotion. There's the Clock Tower. It was literally made by the original Clock Tower developer and uses the name Official Spiritual Successor. Yes, it is definitely. Exactly, cookies. Revenge is yours. Revenge is yours. Destroy the man who turned you into a monster. Hey, chat. Here's here's me when I got rejected from GDQ, uh, like a couple weeks ago. Wait, wait. This can't be. No, no. This can't be. Wait, wait. Exactly. Also, it can be said, here's Barry Burton. They told him they ran out of money to pay him. Hey, no, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> He's like slowly stuck even running. No, wait, wait. By the way, think of the climax. This music is what plays during the climax of the game. This is the finale. Like, this is the game's over. It's done. Like, this is the finale music. What do you play for a thrilling finale? How about that hum? God damn it, you're a genius. I did run Nightcry at GDQ. And they don't call me Mr. Haunting Ground or Mr. Nightcry. I don't get called either one. Hey, this song was made by uh, Nabuko Toda. You pay her respect. By the way, I will show you that Nabuko Toda still does have it very much. She has very good fucking music. I don't know how they wasted her on this. This is Rescue 103. We found the ship requesting oh, yeah, rescue. Okay. It's definitely the Oceanus. Over. Roger that. How long is the game in development for? I don't actually know. But good shit. Uh, I'm going to let the credits roll out. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But for this, I have to show you. If you don't believe half the shit I'm saying, look at these credits. As I'm going to scroll through names. Mugo Toto, you just kind of gave us ambient noise. We kind of need actual music. Holy shit, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Actual. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Got it. <laughs> there you go. Actual song. Thank you. Thank you. I think Kiyoshi Arai might be a big name. I know Chris Darrell is the guy who went on to do uh, Remothered. Um, we have a lot of the environment artists. There's a lot of fun stuff in these credits. If you recognize any names, chat. 
Feel free to go from that. I'll check my phone too, because I know uh, the Kickstarter. I learned all this from the Kickstarter. They really hyped it up. Like, that was a big thing they did. And it's still up. What happened to the thick dude? They stole his skin. Also, yep, Barry, uh, this is Barry Burden's voice actor from Vigo. And Kobe, apparently. Sana Stevens also voiced, uh, um, Meg Rainman from Ring Terror's Realm. Yep, there you go. Michiro Yamane and Nabuko Toda. There's the music. Donna Burke? Apparently she was in this too. I don't know if she plays. Yep, don't you like fat crew member? My favorite man. They put a quote from Shinji Mikami in here. Uh, Kuichiro Toyama is apparently a creative director at Sony. He hyped it up. Koji Igarashi, art play game designer for Castlevania Symphony of the Night and other Castlevania games. Did Shinji Mikami work on this? Also, Sam Raimi. Yes, Sam Raimi supported this game. It's kind of awesome. Um, Fumito Ueda, game designer, Eco Shadow of the Colossus. Takashi Tokita, game creator of Final Fantasy IV, Live Alive, Chrono Trigger, Parasite Eve, a few things like that. There's a lot of names in here that they have who recommend the project or worked on it. There's a lot of positive words. They put the whole thing here. And it's created by Fumi Kono and Takashi Shimizu. I'm doing a long one, Peter. We're doing more games after this. I'm just trying to look at that crime information on my phone. And it's gonna get more fun in a moment, by the way, Chad, because I haven't even hit the fucking bottom of it yet. Because we're waiting for her to see, uh, not Kickstarter, but the next one. Oh, yeah, it had the same music from Castlevania Symphony of the Night. All right, Chad, have you ever heard of something called Campfire? Do you know what Campfire is? It's like Kickstarter, but I think in Japan. So, if you look uh, right around here, if my mouse is moving really quick, you may notice there is a name on there that simply says Anal Master 19. Very often, uh, they'll just kind of dump the backers into this list, and if you donate like five bucks, you can get into the credits. So, some guy named Anal Master 19 donated money, and I guess they never wanted to remove it, or they were cool having it. So, you're going to see the name Anal Master 19 in the credits here. That's an actual fucking thing. He defeated 18 other Anal Masters. No, that is Anal. That is absolutely Anal Master 19. Yeah, all right. Concept artist for Final Fantasy, Masahiro Ito, who did San Hill, Nukotoda, Mi, uh, uh, Michiru uh, Yamane, Tsuki Matsui. Also, there's Masahiro Ito on creature design. Uh, a lot of, uh, let's see. Game animation was made by Akira Uchiyama, who did Tango Gameworks and Platinum Game. The Evil Thin? The guy who did the fucking Evil Thin animated these characters. Holy shit! The guy who animated Bayonetta Vanquish and the Evil Thin animated this. So the Monica animation? That was that guy. Uh, Shinji Aramaki did Creative Advisor. Uh, looks like Tekken. Produced by Joseph Chu. What did he produce? Halo Legends. And I don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck he produced. And then plays and published this. Originally planned and announced for iOS and Vita. iOS, Android, and Vita. There never was an iOS version of this game, by the way, chat. There never was. How old was this game? 2016. This came out in 2016. It's recent. 
By the way, chat. This is the uh, let's you know what let's say hey, chat hold on you know what I need an, an exchange of value here. If you donate one bit, anyone, donate one bit, I'll show you the the washing machine. A single bit. I donate if I could, but I can't. Thank you, Angus Hootsman. Oh, two bits. Oh, we're not doing it for time. Just one in general. Thank you for anyone who donated one bit. Oh, no, it wasn't this one. Hold on, it wasn't this one. Okay. So I mentioned this game has a lot of dumb deaths. Oh, the one really cool thing about this game, really quickly while I'm here, is uh, they actually give you a really cool chapter setting, which is the, hey, here's every path you did, and then they'll give you hints like, oh, did you do blank? This is actually really fucking good, genuinely. I wish more games had this. Did you find a wedding ring? Did you make a post? Did you find Jessica? Like, it will tell you what you missed. This is actually fucking great. Like, earnestly, non -ship posting. this is good. Like, really good. Like, more games should do this good. And it'll tell you straight up what you missed and show you the different paths. And it'll show you like all the way down. Oh, did you request help via radio? Did you get the gloves? Did you use the gloves? And it'll let you go back. It'll also give you checkpoints too that lets you go back to do the thing before reasonable time before it. Anyway, oh hey, Eurotha, you still here by the way? Because uh, anyone who missed it, I'm gonna show it again. If you missed it in case earlier, you can have this on me, because I need this as Walker chasing me. Don't get yourself worked up now. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> what? You think a soda will get you on my good side? Hey, you're thirsty, right? Here we go. What the? What is it now? Well, uh... The funniest part is they actually hand. ran out of stretch. They actually didn't yeah, even I have stretch goals beyond a certain amount. Grabbing my hand! Oh, Harry, the Gregory Peck. They wanted to bring it to PS4, game, but they ran out of it. They didn't get enough money. Serious? Here you go. Say goodbye to Dante. Chat. Go! Dumb way to die? Oh! I'm gonna show you a dumber I'm gonna show you a dumber one. Let's pants go. Throw it a machine. Allow me to show you one dumber. Also, oh my god, rear view. Good job. And more to mention tripping's a vital part of clock tower. I wasn't kidding. Alrighty, Twitch shot. Here's what you wanted, right? is full of shit like that. I didn't even know. I didn't even give you a, uh, let's see. Wait, well, I don't have these unlocked. That's weird. I think I removed all my unlockables when I changed computers. That's fun. Potentially. And I don't know what actually causes it. Actually, let me do one more thing really quick. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, I tried to remove the limit of capture frame, right? Let's try that. Hey, 
please, this way. Oh, that actually might look better. Bad habit. Smoking? Yes, a little better. Such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how it's much blue light. Well, the problem is I crank my settings low as shit. That's a little bit better, I think. Expensive. Money and time wasted. Hmm. I have so much to do every day. Very tiny, tiny stutters. Time is such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh, no. From midday to 8 p.m. I'm wondering if it's my internet. Oh, I have one more idea for a fix. I'm going to do it during this game because this is a good test. I think maybe it's keyframe intervals. Near here. If needed, he can contact me with a page. No, it's still happening. It's won't be it? Okay. Cash OBS. No, I see it actually in the I see an OBS too, actually. I see the minor stutter in the OBS window. I didn't think I'd see it there too, but I do. I like how you knew I was going to keyframe intervals. It could be the compatibility mode. What compatibility mode? For OBS or for the game? Just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. I do run it in admin mode. OBS? I didn't know. I'm on OBS Studio. Home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over. Let me capture the window. I. You know what? I have an idea. Hold on. Let's try something out. I'm wondering here. Okay. Oh, no, I don't mind waiting right now because I want to fix this for other games. Oh, look, my live split. Thank you, live split, for showing up first. Um... Still there? Maybe? Yes. No? I can't tell. I'm tired. I think the two one for five months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And thank you very much. Hope you're doing good. So there are tiny stutter, but less. I put it in windowed mode. There's some tiny hitching. Putting it in windowed mode kind of helped. I'm on 28.03. I think there's an update today, but I don't think that'd be it. Even less than before. Is Meatloaf Monday? Well, there you go. I was trying to figure it out the other day, and I know Remothered would be a game that would be a good test for it. Yeah, I see it every now and... I see it every now and again. So, window capture helps slightly. I do have a good amount of game captures open. I'm wondering if it's because I have a lot of game captures, because I've been putting game capture for like all the games I've ever ran or done. I'm wondering maybe I just go to one and do a day of and set it up then. Might be a little bit more work, but it'll look better. Alright, I cleaned a lot of it the other day. Hey, sad? No. I was like, music. Now I want to have Dead Rising reacts to. I want Dead Rising to be good. That's what I really want to be good. I want Dead Rising to be good. A GPU and encoder, uh, thirty eighty and NVENC. The record player got jammed again, right? Yes, I. It's not surprised. Like this shouldn't be a problem. Oh, telling me. Ah, as in runs green, but will be doing good. Like I have no idea what's causing. I know I have a good enough computer to run this shit. How can I say no to you? One color preset for the end bank. Max quality. Max quality. Wait, what, what's performance? RB Chambers. Repairing the monitor. I was in RBD Chambers. Hope you're doing good. Welcome, Raiders. Thank you for the shout, Tally. I don't use low latency ones. I use regular ones. Name the shout. Hold on. How do I check? Uh, let's see. Uh, display settings. 
Important point of desync between monitor and OBS. All right. There's a way to check using display settings. Right now, I'm trying to find out an issue because it's been bugging me for a while and I really want to fix it. Wrapping settings in the game might show too. I have three monitors is the problem. I'm wondering if it's trying to pick up on many of them. Oh, here we go. Uh, refresh rate, right? Our right, monitor 160, monitor 260, monitor 3. They're all 60. Refresh rate's all 60 on all of them. According to this. I can crank it up, though, from the refresh rate, right? I did see Dead Rising say 59. Maybe that's why Dead Rising has the issue. Hmm. Like, Windows lying to me? Is there a way for me to check, then? Anyway, let's go back to the game. Sorry, everyone. I'm trying to troubleshoot my shit because I get minor stuttering in all my games. I'm trying to figure out why. You know what I'm gonna finally do? Maybe I'll just buy the bullet. Anyone have any recommendations on monitors for like in two days? Maybe order shop Amazon or something. Because I honestly believe at this point it's probably my monitors. You've kind of diagnosed it at this point. I've affected a lot of settings. No, no, bitrate I cranked up. I cranked up bitrate recently. I tell OBS to be in 59.94 instead of 60. I'm not going to restart today, but like in general. Of your OCG 7. Can you imagine you get God RNG, by the way? Yeah, how was the stream RPD Chambers? And thank you for the shout outs. Tally. How's it Boris Johnson? Doing right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so fun fact. Uh, chat, you hear this music right now? The chase music? It's pretty decent, right? Yeah, thank you. You're right. This song is made by Nobuko Toda. You know, the same chick who made the fucking Nightcry music? Hey, wait a minute. I didn't get hit. Shit, I'll do the old route. Sounds good. I bought the K. That's fun. I'm glad to hear. Chad, if you do not know either of the people who raided RPD Chambers, I, I've heard the name. Like, I know them vaguely. Hey, I got the thing. Holy shit. That works. And then Botsuke is a good friend of the channel. He does doing Clock Tower 3. We're doing all the Clock Tower games. Uh, Kon the Bon Noa. Genki Des. Uh, Wakashi wa Ekudi. Don't go away. I have a gift. Horoge. Uh, Horoge. Speedrunner. RTA. I'm learning more how to craft the intro, chats. Oh yeah, it's polite. We get a skate. I'm getting better at it. This is not a place for tourists. Unbonha. Unbonha. Uh, yes. 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 I'm getting better. I'm getting slowly better. Alright, let's do this. Uh, about them. Who's playing around in my house? Yeah, I'll try to... I, honestly, I'm gonna buy some new monitors. I've been long day. I'll just get rid of my old monitors and get some fancier ones. I'll finally upgrade my setup. And it's about time, chat. Anyway, the person who voice acts the naked guy here is, uh... I'm trying to remember the name. I don't remember the name of the actor, but I know what he did, and some of you might know the name. He voiced Bigby Wolf and the Wolf Among Us. Among Us. Oh, there's a glitch. What's the old dude? He's just trying to live in his house. I can't believe my monitors would be causing the issue. It's so weird that monitors would cause the issue with the OBS. Like of all the things I thought would do it, I never thought it would be a monitor issue. Adam Harrington? I was gonna say Steve Harrington, but I think that's the Ram Ranch guy, isn't it? No, that's the the like the the, the gotcha base guy, right? I was like, it's Harrington, but I don't wanna say Steve Harrington.
Will they approve? Exactly. Wait, Steve, who the fuck's the guy? Who the hell who the hell's the gotcha base guy? I thought that was, Oh, that's Billy Harrington. That's Billy Harrington. Okay. Thank you. There we go, we got it. Yeah, the main character is the home invader. We're actually the villain here, Chad. We're breaking and entering. He's just defending his house. Yeah, we have the three famous Harringtons. We have uh, Adam Harrington, who voices this guy in Big D Wolf. Steve Harrington, who's the guy from Stranger Things. And Billy Harrington, who's I guess, famous for gay porn. Go around and oh, Adam Harrington does a great fucking job. He does really good here. He does sound like Mark Hamill. He definitely does. Billy is not Harrington, but it's pronounced Harrington, right? Anyway, I like how the run's finally picking up because I saw I didn't solve my tech issues, but I tried to solve them. Bad yeah, chat. You hear this game actually has music? It's not just a faint hum in the background like Nightcry. Yeah, uh, apparently they decided, wait, Buka Toda, you make music, don't you? And then she went, yes, I do. And then they had her make music for this. Stop! Pouring out for him? Cheers to that. Well, pour, definitely pouring out. Like, you know, the condolences to that. So not cheers. Cheers makes it sound bad. Condolences to that, kid. But yeah, how was Clock Tower 3? Bought the K. Konbonwa. Konbonha. I hope you had a good time, RPD Chambers. We have a little fun here. There you go, Yuppie. Alright, also there's a glitch. You can open this up and then you can keep skating. You had a great time. Was it Reverse? Because I saw the game name really quick and I was like, alright, internalized it, but then I was trying to... St oh god, I got better RNG. Yeah, maybe it'll be fine. Playing around in my oh. You weren't inviting. Ah, shade ramen. It was reverse. Ah, yes, the reverse. I've been hearing fun things about it, and hopefully it was fun. Although I definitely don't. There's one thing I wasn't a big fan of from what I've heard. I don't know how accurate it is. I don't like that. I guess all battle rails do it to some degree, though, don't they? How can I see in the dark? I have special eyes, you have no honor. <laughs> Old man ass, he's gone. Welcome on in. I'll be doing good. You have fun playing it? So the only complaint I had is I heard, I think Punchy mentioned it, but maybe it's a battle royale thing. When you have a win condition being a point game, Having points scored on final hits is kind of weird because it really rewards being an opportunist. In theory, why should you even, like, try fighting? You should just pick something that can last hit, right? Where's the guy? There we go. That was weird. I don't know why he didn't spawn earlier. That's strange. Cool. Stab with the cleaver? Absolutely. All right, let's see. Yeah, also, this game is nicer because they actually do the... Uh, it's not fixed camera angles, actually. I think following the character really helped this game out. Gives you a lot more freedom of movement. For a clock tower game, that's surprisingly a quality of life thing. Shockingly enough. Who did you voice in League? Yeah, the game explains it. He has like a regeneration sort of deal. There we go. Rise? He voices Rise? That's, I hear it. I hear it. I totally hear it. That's cool. Car this ride, Mord Mordekaiser. Wait, new car this or old car this? I like Shaco. Oh my god, I totally fucking hear it. Oh my god. I absolutely hear it. I fucking love playing Shaco. You know why I like playing Shaco? Because I'm a fucking asshole. Chat, I'm sorry. If you play Shaco in League of Legends, you're a certified asshole. I want you to know that. I play Shaco. Fight. 
If you play Shaco, you're a dick. You don't play Shaco because he's good. You play him because you're an ass. And you embrace that, and I'm proud of you. You know, I'm something of a Shaco man myself. Actually, I played Shaco support. I fucking love dropping down those boxes. No problem, Nick Von Rorington. Well, oh, absolutely. So I want you to know, though. Shaco, you're not picking to beat the enemy. You're picking Shaco to destroy the enemy. Also, listen to this. Listen to the song. Listen to this. Tell me the song is good or bad. You hear the song right here, chat? This song? Maybe the same chick who did Night Cry. I knew it. Right, but it actually fits a fucking horror game. It's not. It's actually pretty good. Hey, I got the skip. You can knock the old man into her and then it blocks him. Why does this run into the skip? God damn it. Not enough opera and horror? It's cool. Yeah, you can see the difference between having just a, you know, like, either a producer or a creative lead who just more just... I don't know. It feels like it's a directional issue. Hey, wait. Right. And, like, with this game, like, the music's actually kind of nice. It, it's pretty fitting. Jennifer? There hasn't a single song in the game that I felt wasn't fitting for this game. It sounds nice. It's very fitting. Like, extremely so. Oh, yeah, the open new. I hate the new OBS layout. God, I can't believe I have to buy three new monitors. I need three. I really only use the two. I'm not going to lie to you. They may downgrade back to two monitors, chat. There's. Yes, uh, not landlord, but uh, you'll see what the new enemy is. It's changed the default. Oh, really? Oh, okay, I'll change it. Thanks, actually. All right, I'm gonna do that uh, when I'm done. Thanks. Huh. Well, that didn't change? Yeah, it did. They, cha they made it all, like, bubbly and shit. It's like a weird thing. It looks more modern. What's the colors? It looks different. Everything's different. Like, everything, everything. I mean, shapes? Right, but I like my shapes. I like my shapes. How do I change it back? Tell me. You know what? If you tell me right now, I'll change it. How do I do it? Where do I find this? Where's the setting? There's this theme. Either way, maybe theme then. How do I change it back? I hate it. Opening OBS? Thank you. By the way, the Red Nun's fucking awesome. Also, it's the Twitch chat. I want to talk a little about the history of Remothered, too. Remothered's a weird game. Hold on, settings, general, seven bucks. Now. Okay, hold the fuck up. Settings. Actually, what if this crashes my OBS? Seven bucks down. Hey, hey, it fixed it. That's normal. Holy shit, that looks so much better. Oh my god, thank you. My god. Holy shit, thank you for that. That looks cinema. Alright. I want to make a cinema now at some point. Maybe I have to do that, just cinema. I'm willing to eat time loss for that. Yep. I didn't like the new theme. I know what's it talking about. So, Remothered Tormented Fathers. A lot of people you might hear complain about this game. I don't think you should take those with a full, like, a full glass, I guess. Don't take that with a full... Take it with a grain of salt, that's it. I think a lot of people who don't like this game don't like this type of game. And this game will never get fairly reviewed by those people. They don't like Clock Tower. They never liked Clock Tower games. A lot of people are used to Resident Evil. They don't want Clock Tower. What's the difference? Cat and mouse. Dream Mother is a game where you're never going to be able to beat your opponent. Oh, I was going to avium. Dream Mother Tormented Fathers. 
is actually kind of decent. It's not a bad game. Doesn't have issues? Yeah, there's some, but it's a it's like a it's not even a double A game. This is an indie game. A brand new studio decided to make this game, and for all it's worth, this game is very well made. How are you doing, Avium? Got you. The problem is most people are used to your Resident Evil, where you can get rid of the stalker, you can kill them. Oh, I, let me kill the. Oh, why aren't they dead? It's cat and mouse. You have to stealth around. You have to sneak. It's not it doesn't play like that. I understand a lot of people like that type of game, but yes, a lot of people who complain about it do not like cat and mouse horror. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. It's merely just if you listen to their opinion, you're going to think that a game you might enjoy is a bad game. This game is... I have. I have been Ilioni. Oh, yeah. I guess I haven't done it yet. I've been going hard today, chat. So I'm going to plug myself. If you haven't enjoyed the stream, hey, follow the channel. It is appreciated. It supports the stream and it's free. Uh, check out social media if you want to stay up to date. Uh, YouTube, uh, Discord of the good ones, I'd say. Uh, and then also Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. And then uh, if you've really been enjoying the stream, hell, consider subbing if you want to. You get emotes, scissors, and after viewing. I give my plugs and I do long, long streams because it's my way of, uh, I guess, keeping myself in check. As in Solid Snakes. Yes, a lot of people do not like the uh, immortal monster. Three acts. Thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Now! And the gift sub debut is all going to page. Uh, page. Uh, let's go. Page. Ronimo. Ichimiya. Break Core Soul. Gray Fox and Xenonox. Enjoy the emotes and the decision. Thank you very much, Three Axe. I'm glad you've been enjoying the stream. Also, here's a cool skip you can do. Oh god, I fucked it up. It's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe getting something to eat ass for Jesus. What a name. Do you think people who didn't like this game would have liked Alien Isolation? Yes. But for a weird reason. Wait, what are you doing? Where the fuck she go? One moment. There you go. Oh, there he is. Welcome back. Yes, you can hide right in front of it, but I didn't get the, I didn't get the pull. Brick! She's a brick and I'm drowning slowly. That sounds too really dark, but when I think of the word brick, I think about it. Here's what I think. So, Alien Isolation won AAA. Harder to pick on. More popular, triple A. Familiarity, first person view. And as well, you end up getting a lot more traditional weapons. So you get flamethrower, you get guns, you still have common enemies that can be dealt with this way. Familiarity is a huge reason though. Funny enough though, this game doesn't give you instant kills. This game gives you a three. Where you destroy? I think it's a two one for 15 months. Enjoy the emotes and the decision. Thank you. Why is the nun here? Uh, it's actually a major plot reason. It's really cool, too. You'll see. You'll see. But thank you, Nervy Destroyer, for the 15 months. I'm doing good. A lot of people don't like Cat and Mouse, but a lot of people who don't like Cat and Mouse do like uh, a lot of Cat and Mouse games. People love RE7. People love, uh, you know, Alien Isolation. They love Mr. X. The rule... <laughs> you know that one meme of the... It's kind of a it's kind of a dark meme or it's kind of a like the the weird one of the workplace. It's the uh, uh, flirting sexual harassment meme. People are more willing to pick on indie games. They're absolutely more willing to. Wait, what? There's a meme around. Uh, it's been more popular lately, and it, it's something. It's actually it's not it's not a bad meme. It it just it, it depends. An attractive guy and like a uh, heavier nerdy dude, and it's like workplace workplace dynamics. And sort of like a really good looking like CEO guy. And it's like, hey, yes, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. So the hello HR. Correct. The indie game isn't. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I get all the mirrors? I think I got, I got you. Got you. Got you. Also, this is a boss fight skip. I'm missing one, aren't I? No, I got them all. Oh, wow, I'm being dumb. Yes. 
That is what I'm referring to there. It's a very specific meme that's making the rounds lately. And very often, people are more willing to look away from certain flaws in a game because it's more popular. Let's go for instance. You get caught in this game, if you get hit, you can still run away. You get three, in fact. There's not an instant kill in this game that's, you know, not tethered to a QTE. Because there are instant kills. They do exist, but they're not, you know, the only way to get it is if you're in the QTE. I was the five sand biddies, me, Jessica. By the way, I'm glad Twitch Shut knows what I'm talking about because that phrase alone is definitely a little bit, uh... Yeah, I can definitely see that. What? Because it's not, it's not like a, it's not like a bad meme. It's just the, uh, I've been seeing a lot more lately. It's the, oh, how sweet than the human resources. Oh, I could have said that. That's easier. It was. There's a lot of moths in this game. Also, creepy woman stabbing above you. I fucking love this part. Bone sword into the fucking ground. You have to walk around here. There's QTEs, but it's so fucking cool. Like, this is a good use of, I think, like, jump scares. I think this is a really good one. By the way, chat, the punishment for failing the QTE is very real. Let me show you something. I'm wondering. Oh, by the way, gore warning. It's gonna be, uh... You know. You know. I get a checkpoint, though, so I'm gonna show it. If you misclick or, fa or miss a QTE, this is what happens. Damn! Bone sword in the fucking eye. You do not have a lot of time to react to that. Yeah, right? That's cool, yeah. But also, like, nothing in the game has done this yet. You just see QTE. If you fail QTE, you die. Pass the QTE. There's been a few QTEs in the game at this point, but, like, yeah. Oh, I love bow. I love eye horror, though. I love eye horror. Like, I love, uh, I love, uh, shit happening to the eyes in horror games. I think it's really cool. Do like, same for the tier one for 23 months. Enjoy the emotes, of course. Enjoy the emotes and the series. Thank you, Open doing great. But I do think, like, because I've heard a lot of people say, like, oh, I totally hate Remothered, but then I'm like, wait, what did you hate about it? What did you hate? And then usually they're complaining about the general gameplay loop. By the way, I see a cool speedrun skip, so run back here and I throw a brick. I have now removed the whole boss from this area. There's a boss you're supposed to avoid while you turn three cranks. Um, you'll die. I, this is one of the only one shots in the game. Um, you, you can get one shot. It's rare. But it's a nail gun, and you do have time to react normally. You run away. That's where the reaction is. But by doing that, you actually get rid of the enemy, and they don't spawn in at all while you're doing this. It's really cool because you're in a wine cellar maze. Like, look at this shit. By the way, I would unironically call Remother Tormented Fathers the best horror game of 2018. Not for the reason you're thinking, though. I'm hyping this game up. It does have flaws, but, uh... 2018 was kind of a bad year for horror games. I think the uh, the major game of that year was meant to be Agony, which I think Agony got a, uh, Agony was supposed to be the big game that year, and Agony bombed. Uh, other than that, you had I think Welcome to the Game Two, and uh, that's about it. Sometimes speedrunners just find things out. So much, so much was in twenty eighteen, wasn't it? I thought that was like twenty sixteen. I'm pretty sure someone was way earlier than twenty eighteen. There's no way in hell someone was twenty eighteen. Also, there's a, sp there's a speed running skip. By pushing this uh, in the wrong order, you can do this. That was like 2015. I'm pretty sure Somo was an AGDQ 2016, by the way. Yeah. Oh, oh Somo's great. It just came out in 2015. So he doesn't compete in games in 2018. Yeah, I'm not a fan of him, Manico. I've talked about that before as well. What's the next horror list I'm excited for? Slitterhead. Silent Hill to all the Silent Hill games. Alone in the Dark, baby. Fucking Alone in the Dark. Uh, Closest Protocol wants to hand me a key. I'll be excited for that. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'm kidding. I'll, I'll probably play Clister Protocol. It looks cool. Um, but for the next level that I'm... Alright, it's chat. Chat. Chat, let me tell you a good one right now. Who here likes Signalis? Who here is on the Signalis sweep, yeah? Who here is the Signalis fan? Yes? Okay. There are three... There's another game coming out that gives me strong Signalis vibes. Very strong Signalis vibes. Look up a game called Conscript. Like, Conscription. Yes, Conscript. I've been hyped out of Conscript for as long as Signalis at this point. I say it a lot. Conscript. It's a World War One horror game where you're in the trench warfare. It has very similar vibes so far, and it's looking really fucking cool. I've been waiting for that game for a while. I am pumped for it. I love World War One horror. I think we get too much World War Two horror. I want World War One. I. I think we get too much World War Two uh, games. I want World War One. Give me World War One. It does have a demo. Anyway, chat. Uh, anyway, plot twist. The maid's the red nun. And uh, am I gonna get my eyes ripped out? Yep. No. Hey, chat. You ever see uh, you know, like bubble wrap popping? Awesome, right? I meant to do that. I didn't fuck it up. I have not Necrovision. I have not Manicore. Not sure I got Necrovision, but I should. Oh yeah, I fucking love eyes. Necrovision is bad? Oh. You're eye horror phobic? I fucking love eye horror. That's why I made a shirt. Oh, I didn't make the shirt. It was gifted, but I ended up making it into a shirt. Me, Jessica, commissioned a shirt by the eye horror. I actually want to play that game. Unironically, I want to play a Luke Goblin. That seems dumb, and I really want to play Choo Choo Char- uh, What, Choo Choo Charlie? Is that it? I want to play Choo Choo Charlie. Also, look at this shit. The music? The slow- Dr. Reed. Oh, there's just a flashing light here, but I turned on all the- By the way, check. The game doesn't normally look like this. Normally, the game actually looks pretty fucking clean. Uh, I just cranked it all the lowest settings. This game does look decent, actually. I just lowered everything for speedrunning. I, I need to do that, so. Alright, Twitch chat. Uh, it's actually the old man. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, Lutaro. So, if you're wondering why his uh, mouth is covered in blood, uh, they they cut off his tongue. I want to see how I show you the cutscene, because I forgot all about it. Yes! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why did you come here? Who is my daughter, Celeste, for you? What? What? Is it both, or is it one? Hold on. This game does some good things. Is running games on PC with low settings the way to go? If you're speedrunning. You're not speedrunning now, but I'm speedrunning, so I need lower settings. Who added me? Everyone. Hey, thank you for the follow. I don't remember when the cutscene is, so... Uh, hey, you know what? You know what? Waiting chat. I have an idea. Uh, I'm gonna look into buying a monitor. I wonder. Wait, wonder. What monitor should I buy? I want to buy new monitors. I'm finally gonna upgrade my shit because I think it's breaking my OBS. I think it's probably my OBS. What monitor should I get? Funfire. You need to type actual words. You're just typing LPP. I don't know if you're in emote. I don't know if you're a thing. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and tell me right now. Something cheap, but good. No, no. I want something deluxe. I want something fucking good. 
We have the Twitch ad, I think, this month. I want something that's not... That's something that's fucking actually decent. You know? So, but I need to be able to get it quickly. I need to be able to get it quickly, too. Like, two days or some shit. As I'm doing... Uh, buy on Amazon. Four, 1440p and 144 hertz minimum. Okay. Anything on Amazon? Because I have, like, a Super Prime. I'd rather have it, like, faster the better. I want it at... I want it now. As soon as possible. I'll look after the stream, but, um... 1440p and for 144 hertz. Okay. Why not 4K? What the fuck is 4K? Isn't 4K when you try to get in Dead by Daylight and then I start crying because I didn't? People will think people are, who are cute or trust untrustworthy. She has freckles. What's wrong with having freckles? Chat, what's wrong with freckles? You don't like freckles? She's adorable. Next step up. Wait, do I have a 1080p now, though? So when I just have to buy a, a 4K at some point? I require a new graphics card? I have a 3080. I'm pretty sure I could do 4K, right? I like freckles. Exactly. Freckles are nice. Wait. You don't get in 4K unless you have a 27-inch monitor. Yeah, I got everything. I'm fine with 1440p. I just want something that will make my games lag less. That's all I want. I want something where I don't have to worry about my games lagging. I'll give these monitors to my brother or some shit. I'm pretty sure my, uh, my uh, older brother would be cool with some monitors. All right, chat. Welcome back from the ad. Don't worry, ads are over. Uh, we'll talk about Remothered now. I was asking chat about monitors because, you know, I'm in the monitor thing. Alrighty, so... Hey, Twitch chat. You know all that cool stuff I just said about Remothered? You know all that cool stuff I just said? Remothered Tormented Fathers was a hit. Knocked it out of the park. They kicked ass. Uh, I have that game for a reason. They're really good. And then they wanted a sequel. They picked up money. They worked at the company called Modus Games. And they went from indie to double A. They went up high. They, they, they're not AAA, but, you know, they're probably, like, they're probably a bit closer to the, you know, like, uh, Plague Tale style games. Not exactly there, but, like, I would say AA. They, they got to a nice thing. They're working with Modus Games at this point. They got money. It's looking good. Like, this looks, this looks good. I think this character model is really nice. Like, for not a true, for not AAA game, it's good. Now, I will say that the current game on Steam will not play this way. However, as speedrunners, we know a thing called down patching, and I'm going to show you how the game was on release, because that's the interesting part. It's not interesting just to run a game that's now, because they fixed a lot of the shit. I'm going to show you what they did. Starting now. Now, this isn't exactly released. This is 1.03, which is one of the third... It's the third patch. Uh, mainly because it made certain fights easier and not be fucking terrible. Some of them are absolutely awful. So. Is it playable now? I have not played it. Uh, so I've only played the bad version. Uh, I don't know. I've been wanting to try it. Wait, so it went 40, 40p. Okay. Maybe I'll have to do that. Maybe I'll have to do that. Alrighty, chat. Anyway, let's go. So, remothered broken porcelain. Modus presents. Um, I want to say, by the way, what you're about to see, I found in the first few minutes when I play the game. Uh, casually. I see him with playing. Here we go. It would be like erasing time itself. Memories and time go hand in hand. Adam C. Thank you for the tier one for three months. Enjoy the emotes and the season once again. Thank you. 
would be no separation between pre and post trauma. So I found this glitch immediately because if you try vaulting immediately, uh, the game breaks. The game doesn't want you to do that. Uh, but turning back immediately. I have tried this on the modern patch, and you know how they fixed that and that bug? They made it so you can't turn your camera while vaulting. Overlapping and threatening one another. That's how they fix that bug. To the detriment of the one truth, Bump, buckle up. We're going for a ride. The so, -called so, I remember when uh, Let's Players started playing this game, you know, spooky horror game. People were stuck on this for an hour. Because people didn't realize this is Silent Hill. What does Silent Hill mean? It means you're meant to die in the intro. The game doesn't really explain this to you because you're locked in here and people, players think you must win. So, no, we're actually eating a death as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. But Remind the Broken Porcelain is a pretty good looking... Wait, is the stuttering happen or is it minor? I think it's more minor. I think I did fix some of it, but I think the minor refresh should be the big thing. Actually, you know what I wonder? I wonder if unplugging my third monitor would fix it. Like, maybe I have too many monitors, now I think about it. What if that's the problem? Do I need a fourth monitor? F3 monitors, no lag. Do you stream on OBS? Because it's not a lag with my game. It's a lag that you see. I don't see the lag. It's only OBS. Yes? Oh. Run along. Yeah. What games are you playing? The bathroom in room number 212 so. has to be cleaned. Oh. And don't forget that you'll be helping Elisa yeah. in the kitchen. Oh, I was doing lunch. WWE. Okay. FK. You've really done it this time. Hey, nice. Sure hey, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I've been wanting to do some of the other ones. At some point, I think death. I want to do Little Mr. Hope, Phantom of Madan, and House of Ashes. Here. But yeah, I love that one. I'm actually really glad you like those. Yeah, I like the quarry a lot. I loved like Until Dawn. And, uh, and I'm sure the I know at some point I want to do the whole of that, like, for the nearby Dark convent. pictures. Have you seriously yeah, I definitely welcome in. The and and the wife. Flames one day. You and your wife. Even this building was partly damaged. Today I'm doing all the clock the tower games. They're fun stuff. Mr. Ashworth's Five sister, Gloria. Cool. Well, I guess I'll figure them. more on my end. That's terrible. They had contracted some sort of disease. They practically went blind. They had gone mad. And that Dr. Wyman? Sure as hell. Maybe hey, you're making them all different resolution feeds. She was locked up in there by her own parents. Devil in me? I want to play Devil in me. I want to play that. I really want to play Devil oh, in me. That's like in like a like saw. It's about a death house. It's about like saw. I guess on a real life uh, like killer. Yeah, WWE. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And I'm glad you've been enjoying the YouTube stuff. It's always nice to see. Alrighty, Twitch chat. So let me show you the dank tech of remothered broken porcelain. It's not a bad looking game at all. This game is actually really cool, right? It looks good. It plays pretty much like the other one. A little bit less fluid in all honesty, because she just feels more rigid to me. But I think it's because her arms aren't swaying as much. Also, a bird jump scare. Ready? Bird jump scare. Anyway, let me show you how to do stealth. What we're going to do? I'm going to run into this closet. Guess what? Let me show you how stealth works. All right, I'll leave the closet. She opened the door. Watch. Poor Merlin. We just sort of run past her. Come here! Come here! This must yep, be that's stealth. Older wing, the one which was engulfed and destroyed by the fire. Anyway, this is a preset cutscene. You'll always be getting this. Also, uh, does anyone want to, I, I love showing people the weird fucking game design that this has. As like, every time, like, I know there's like a, you know, like, with the streaming, I make a lot of, like, like I know I start knowing a lot more mutuals and streamer friends, and people who love the, like, you know, stream horror game crime. media, and I fucking love showing them this game, because this game has one of the fucking dumbest settings I've ever seen. Dumbest mechanic ever. In, like, you saw I was hyping up Tormented Fathers. I believe in Tormented Fathers. That game is awesome. This game had issues. Anyway, step one, uh, we're just gonna hide. It depends on how long we take. It could take long, it might not. 
We're just gonna be running to the closet immediately. This is all based on her. I'm trapped. Oh yeah, Ravel, it'll be fun. You'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, just hide. I wouldn't know say little nightmares, but I like little nightmares a lot. It is a fun one. Oh yeah, there's nice characters. The story is not bad. The story is really good. Door? Nope, not yet. Oh yeah. It would be I'm tormented about it. Well, I mean, I don't work with crybabies. It's just kind of funny how they dealt with some of the shit. Like again, the more you hear about it, chat, it's gonna get funnier and funnier as you progress. So when this game came out, uh, it was actually really, really hard to uh, what's the word? I to I don't even know what exactly I would say. But also, here's a mechanic. You can't sprint in this room. Spread this room, the birds squawk, and then you get found. And uh, the number is going to be uh, two, one, three. What the hell? I have to make sure not to get caught. Oh god, I hope they don't find out. Hey, I just realized does this game have the pausing issue? I can't see it, but you might chat. Oh yeah, so when this game came out, um, all right, I remember what I was gonna say. The models were thick as hell. What does that mean? You couldn't run past this model in this hallway. This is not funny. Oh, did go? You don't see the pausing issue? Really? Yeah, you literally couldn't pass them. Wait, yeah, I don't see the pausing at all. Like, I don't even see it. Is it... Wait. Chat, would it be a problem with Steam? Because I'm not running this game through Steam. Yes, I did it. Yeah, it's not stuttering at all. And this game is much more graphically intensive and on higher settings than Tormented Fathers. But you should be able to see. I think I saw one. I think I just saw one. Maybe not. I don't know. What could the code be? Oh God! Let me run away. Yes, yes, yes. Any game specific? This story is for it, but I do run that game on Steam. So Twitch chat, let me show you something really cool in this game. So, you see this. It's interactable. You just die and there's no cutscene. You just die. Uh, game testers asked, Hey, is this a bug? And they're like, no, no, no. We kept that in there. And the thing is, it's cool to have a joke death scene. But you need a death scene. You can't just make a joke and then have you load. It's like, what What happened? What, what happened? But like, a lot of people were asking about that. Oh, yeah, they wanted you, they want, because, you know, that's a fun thing. I don't disagree with that notion. I think the idea of having, like, the, the cheeky death scenes are funny. I think they're really funny, in fact. What are all these cages? Felt. The mirror. It couldn't have shut it by itself. I saw it. What's going on, kids? Mommy is coming. Andrew, I'm tired. Where am I? Oh, yeah. You still see the stuttering? Okay, never mind then. Never mind. Alright, but I'm still buying new monitors. I'm still buying the new monitors. I'll get them. Well, I mean, all my monitors are kind of that way. Wait, with different monitor? I mean, they're all... I, I don't really mind upgrading monitors. I've had them exhausted. for a while. I really don't mind. One of these days, you're all going to make me crazy. 
Hey, actually, this game isn't full screen instead of windowed mode now I think about it. Because I want full screen this time. Which might be why this one's better, maybe. Ah, yes, of course. Anyway, let's share, share a really cool boss fight. So, boss fight time. How's this gonna work? Check this out. I mean, I said I don't think buying, I don't think buying new monitors bad at all. All right, so we throw something at her, and then I'm going to get behind her, and uh, I'm gonna step. Game, thanks. Never mind. Uh, well, different strat. We're gonna grab this bottle. I'm gonna throw it at her head. I'm gonna run behind her, and uh, I, she's dead. I say it might be my ram. I have a lot of ram. It shouldn't be ram. Ram should be pretty good, I think. Like I have a lot of ram. Anyway, she died. I'm gonna steal her keys, right? Oh no, she's back up. Don't worry, I crouched right behind her. Oh god damn it. I said. Oh god damn it. This boss is being really mean to me. Get up. Oh, that's fine. Ah, screw you, you should be dead, right? Uh, ramen? I have a good amount of ramen, I'd say. Ah, it was a misclick. Where the hell's the item? Oh, there's. Where the hell's the item? I just saw it back here. There we go, thank god. Oh, I killed her. No mind, she did. Bad fight. Yeah, the thing is, you throw an item at her, crouch behind her, stab her, uh, spawn behind her, or, you know, stand behind her when she goes down again, you get an immediate double stab. Oh, wait, you didn't use the key? Use the key. Thank you. I right, think of the follow, by the way. I mean, in all fairness, have you ever eaten a cup to the head? Also, chat, look, Booba. Signed by Flemington Institute. Missing. Booba. There it is. Yeah, exactly. Pot kills. I can't believe I have to buy new monitors before fucking Black Friday, man. You know, I guess Cyber Monday's, you know, doesn't really have that good of sales, right? You know, I bet I bet Cyber Monday makes the, the monitors taste worse anyway, doesn't it? Booba? Exactly, Mars. Right? I hope so. Shit, they drugged you. Listen, you have to leave. You have to get away from this place. Who added me? This story. Everyone. Again, everything you said before, I believe you. I can't say Van Sarah Monday. Sometimes I do. Saw. You heard Andrea. He. He hung himself. Years cool. Ago. It's him, isn't it? Well, I mean, I have to buy new shit anyways, the thing. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? Hmm. It was all an act. There One of the funniest no parts is you pause the game during this, you can actually see the blinking his. animation. I don't. I don't understand. Watch. Dad, no time it continues and persists through the menu. Can... I tie that perfectly, by the way. They know. You know, I have had this monitor since I started streaming. There is a very good chance a monitor is giving out. What are you talking about? Anyway, Twitch what chat, you ready to see to how the game got broken? So. I tried to warn you. I tried to, to get you This is a glitch. You By you changing the settings option. By changing the settings option, you're allowed to move during parts of the game you're not meant to move. The game will frequently try to lock you into different parts, right? Oh God, Lynn, I can't remember. They found you and they brought you here to use. I don't know, Silverwing, but I've been having issues, so maybe. You are. You have to run. Fucking. You're not meant to run here, and you're not meant to like. You know, the game wants you to embrace the cutscene. See, there's a lot of buttons. I can't move, right? However, if you go to settings and then you go to controls and find any control during this part, you can move. This way. Hey you! I'm here. Hey, I'm here. 
Hey, you! I'm here! And they know it! This way! Look me in the eye. Hey, you! Look at me! Hey, you! You mustn't do anything. This or way! Or trust anyone. Is this the reason why we met? Have you been... Hey, you! Okay, so this is absurd, but the idea behind this is that this glitch is super situational. The only way that you're going to do this glitch is on accident. You're never going to on purposely do this glitch. You have to edit your menu, like, you know, your control setting, uh, you know, while you are uh, in a cutscene like this. And right now I can do it, but I'll kind of break the game a little bit. And this is a speedrun glitch we found. Juo asked one of the game devs to please not remove it. To keep it in, because it's super situational. They immediately fucking removed it. How do they remove it? They removed accessibility settings. They're back up now, but from what Juo said, the way that they fixed it in the interim while, you know, trying to quickly patch, they quickly removed the accessibility settings to spite Juo. So they can actually fix the issue. Right? A telephone. It's coming from Ashman's office. And this is stuff like key bindings. They don't like Juo. They really do not like Juo. It's kind of unprofessional. It's fucking hilarious, though. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I fucking laughed. Also, speaking of the speedrunning glitch, it does some amazing things. Just check this out. You can do it right here, and uh, I'll have to be as quiet as possible. I be as quiet as possible, chat. Hey you! I'm here. Come here. This way. Hey you! Hey you! You know that's true, actually. That's true. Anyway, let me let me show you something really quick. Hey chat, do you see this stray box? Do you see this stray box? In Remothered Broken Porcelain, there is a hidden mechanic. The only way to access this mechanic is by interacting with this box right here. By clicking on it, the game teaches you that it's an RPG. You have upgrades to um, your, your barrier, uh, your escape, um, stealth, sharpness, health, tools uh hell like uh, additional like stamina uh luck and um moth powers these are gotten by collecting keys throughout the game moth keys you do know what moth keys are but you don't know what they do the game never tells you what they do what does that mean well it means that what's the word you might go through the whole game never actually upgrading everything. Which, you know, it's kind of bad, isn't it? A little bit. Because the game kind of expects that you found this, and some of the boss fights are tooled around this. This is huge. So when the game came out, by the way, you can use the box, it spins this. The game is actually designed around doing these upgrades, meaning late game boss fights expected you to find this box. No one tells you about this boss. This box, I should say. You did not. Nobody does. The only way to find it is to randomly find it. It's horrible game design. It's... I think having it in general isn't bad, but the idea of never telling the player that you need to, like, or, oh, hey, here's a box, here's what it does, you're just kind of expecting to find it randomly. But the thing is, a lot of the game's bosses are designed around that box. Shit! I missed it by a second. Wait. How's the user? Welcome back. Ariana? Richard? Yes, your mother stems from the Clock Tower franchise. Uh, it relates to uh, Nightcry, which is a spiritual successor to the original game. Anyway, chat, here's a boss fight. Check this out. How do you win this boss fight? Watch, let me show you. One, grab the fire extinguisher. Two, spray in his face. Hide behind the pillar.
after two hits of the fire extinguisher. Get hit! Stop, you little coward! That's how you win. This game loves to make you lose boss fights to progress. Alright, so this is me being a dick. This isn't the game being poorly programmed. But you're meant to learn about moth powers at this point, right? Oh no, I don't know about the moth powers. And I can't pause the game either. Guess what? If you alt-tab, you can go to settings. It pauses the game automatically. Then you can do the trick again. No, you can hear me. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. Hey, chat, look, she's waving hi. Hello, Crystal, if you're watching. I like your games. I'm re excited to play the new one. I'm gonna play it. Don't hate me. Not an illness. It's a gift. A gift. I don't think he watches my stream. I don't think he likes me. If he does, though, hit me up. Anyway, this game is Suspiria. It has moth powers. What are you joining to? Lizzymon, this is Remothered. Broken porcelain. Also, here is generally one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. This isn't me fucking around. This is actually a really good part. I like it. It's funny. I think the lights went out. Kiss my ass, dickhead! I don't know. I just think it's kind of fun to have angsty teenage girl kiss my ass. I don't know. It's funny. I like it. Like, that is, like, one of the best parts of the game. Unironically, I think that's good. That is actually good. Kiss my ass, dickhead. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. If only this whole project... Oh, yeah, Chuck, you want to see a full compilation of bugs? I uploaded it on my YouTube, actually. It's uh, Remother Broken Porcelain's a well-made game. I think it's the name of the video. Anyway, remember Stealth? I'm not doing Stealth. See? No Stealth. Can I move during this? Let's see. I'm actually curious. Shit! There has to be a way to shut him up. Also, a uh, dog murder happening uh, in a moment here. Just heads up. Also, the dog just explodes. I think it does trip. Have you it's guarded by dog? Hey, it's part of the game? Oh yeah, it's dog murder. By the way, I'm not gonna eat the death here, because if I eat a death here, you have to watch dog murder again. I don't want Twitch to have to watch that again. Yeah, it wasn't a real dog. Dogs don't normally explode. It's like the dogs and zombies and neighbors. Oh, that doesn't trip hippie. You'll be doing good. Why don't they patch this out? They patch it out because they hate Juo. The actual reason why they patch it out is because they hate Juo. Anyway, speaking of the trick, once again, check this out. I'm gonna do it again. Me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Too late. I already did it. You're meant to use your moth powers in this section while you fly around permanently. Uh, and the enemy actually doesn't see you. They're not programmed to see you. So I can just sort of run through here, no problem. Beep. Pop. And then uh, I'm gonna use moth powers right here. Uh, the moth powers right here are going to put me back in the game. I do have to use them a little bit because you can't beat the section without it. I'm outside, I've already opened the door, and my escort's right here. So I kind of get part of through an escort mission already saving are. time. This should be a key somewhere. Ashman usually hides it here. Where the fuck is it? There we go. Also, if this looks wobbly, I guarantee you it is wobbly. That's just the way the game works. By the way, yes, you bounce off walls. Do not hit any walls. This is as janky and awkward as it looks. Trust me. Also, the nuns on skates. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. Hold on just a Is little longer. Hey, see her over there. I like how the old woman's still speaking over there. Anyone see something funny? Wee! Jen, you can stop her. I beg you. Stop her. <laughs> oh, God. This is Remother Broken Porcelain. Anyway, you can't run here. Guess what? Yes, I can. We're doing this again. Bada boom. Where's he coming from? 
Uh, I, by the way, the glitch I've been doing does break the game. This doesn't normally happen. Normally, this is an actual cutscene. But for some reason, by doing the glitch at all, it blacks out the screen. I assure you, the game's not broken. It just... It blacks out the basketball scene. There's a weird line cut off, too. That's not me fucking with the game. It just does that. I'll let, I'll let you know when it happens. Anyway, I'm gonna check out Twitter while playing basketball. Actually, I'm gonna check out TikTok. Do I get any likes on TikTok chat? I got some. We could talk to Ashwin about it. Yeah, the dream one. <laughs> I got five it's likes. Only two weeks away. All right, one of my videos got 800 together. views. I can feel good about that. Music sheet and a bit of practice. I know the piano so well that it's basically a part of me. But the lyrics are nowhere near finished. My father used to kiss my to basketball, music. dickhead. Ah, yes. Get in the way of something you truly desire. Where are you from? Don't you love the black screen basketball chat? <laughs> it's not a nice story. Anyway, watch. I'm not skipping this cutscene. Fail. Ladies and gentlemen, we it just cuts here winner. for some reason. I don't know why. Abdul Jabbar. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. It just does. Because like the subtitles say Abdul Jabbar lead this body. It's like Kobe, but Abdul Jabbar. It's just weird. No, it did that casually. When I play the game casually, it just does that. That just happens. That's the game. I did the same thing casually, Tally. When I play the game casually, day one, or, you know, like, day early days, same thing. I think it might be better now, Jinx the Sphinx, but I like to show... I like to show how this game is when it came out. Yep, check out my, uh... I think I may have had it in my VOD, but I don't remember if I have the whole VOD, but I know it for a fact to happen. I've never heard the full line. I didn't know there was a full line in this game. What is this place? Also, dog. It's not too late. Oh, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Twitch chat, Twitch chat, Twitch chat. So, this game's a dick. I'm not going to bully you because I appreciate you, Twitch chat. I appreciate Twitch chat. I'm not going to bully you. This is the tinnitus split. Couldn't what does that mean? It means if I let the audio play out, this you'll get tinnitus. So... Cut it. Gloria I hope that's sound effect. If it's not sound, I'm gonna be pissed. The coming mother. No wonder. Well, every that noise right there would murder your ears. So you're welcome. What happened? What's that? It looks like there's a light coming. Exactly, Trim Abdul Jabbar Bar Banks. It's a hidden door. <laughs> to the projector thing. Wait, why, 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 why am I scared? I, I protected your ears. Also, I like the name Jinx the Sphinx. That's a fun name. Fuck! Not again! Okay. What, what, yeah, exactly. What the hell is Lava. going on now? Also, cool thing about this game, if you know what's happening, you can predict the jump scares. What does that mean? Oh, Dice's cares. So, you see this? See this mound of babies? That's a man. And you can see the outline of the man if you look at Moth Vision. See? Oh no, I never expected that jump scare. Oh no. Is that baby floating? That baby was fucking floating. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh no, remember that dream earlier? Now I know what to do. He's dead. It's three lights. That's the boss fight. Hey, chat. Why is the baby floating? I... What? Why? 
Why have I never seen this? I, I can't move past it. Fucking great. Test. There we go. Anybody there? Lynn! Can anyone hear me? I'm trapped down here. Can somebody help me? It's chilling. Lynn! Lynn, tell mm. me you're there. Anyone? I'm just chilling. What's the no. baby doing? We did win a boss fight, Kelahi. We did. Explain to me. What exactly are we looking for? Dork. Shh. We have to be quiet. Ashman always keeps some cash in the office for small emergencies, etc. Yes, yes, yes. I like getting myself into trouble. I wonder if I'll also find my violin. I haven't played it in ages. It will be two years. I feel so bad. They're having a conversation from so far I away. Roof over my head. Ashman was rebuilding his new project, the hotel. So, here's the new maid. What about you? How was the Flemington girls and whatever it's called? Mm, it was, we're here. And before that, I ran away. She's trying. She's trying her best. She made it. Good yeah, job. I'm proud of you. You did it. I left it in the past. Bye -bye. Do you ever feel the urge to rewrite it all? Change life, change name, feel like a whole new person. All the time, locked up. All right. Now uh, we had fun time at the bar, King Rimstone. Bars are fun times. I heard that. Um, no, but I've seen it being done. Also, here's a fun speedrun tech I invented. It's easy. You just ram the store. Why is it speed tech? Because you do it like this. It just puts you more in the room. Alrighty, Twitch chats. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're all thinking. Hey. Alright, that last boss fight, you know what? The last boss fight was decent, right? You know what it actually was? The three lights. You know, I think that was a good boss fight. Would you agree, chat? I I I would genuinely say I think that last boss fight was kind of decent. Right? No, no, not again. It was the boss fight of all time. Get up. So. Good shot. You remember how I said... Okay. Do you remember how I said that this game was designed around you upgrading your moth powers? Listen to the dialogue here and what they say. The game assumed you would probably upgrade the moth power at this point. I, I have to do something. Uh, the boss fight really is this. Ready? Hope you enjoyed the boss fight. Thanks for the follow. You see that moth bar on the right? It has to fill up. I have to hide. At least until I manage to build up some energy. Exactly, Katana. Oh, yeah, the Red Nun is cool. There's a lot I like her mother, but I'm willing to call out some of the shit that's wellfully deserved. I can do it now. That line right there. The game expected you to refill that better. The game expected you to get one to two upgrades. I don't want to die. The game fully thought you would get upgrades at this point. This is entirely based on how that moth bar gets filled. You can't do anything until that bar is filled. I have to try again. It assumes you may have even failed. Depending on how long the fight takes. To give you hints. And I kept thinking, wait, why why is it telling me that? And then I thought for a second, I was like, oh. The game thought I would probably upgrade my moth powers at this point, didn't it? Fuck! Lin Moon! 
By the way, try getting... Awesome, thanks game. Thanks, thanks game. Hate this game sometimes. Oh, and I mentioned the moth power stop if you ever get seen. And also you have to put it through a vent. Also, you automatically get the nail gun. You can shoot her in the ass. It's funny. Anyway, phase two, uh, you do this. You shoot the light, get rid of the moths, and shoot him. All right. Now chat, you see how her ass jiggles whenever you shoot her? That's accurate. Now what if I shoot her head? That's right, her ass jiggles. Did you hit me? Also, more importantly, um, he just sort of chills in here waiting for the game to happen. You can actually find him. Like, he's just waiting. He doesn't actually care, he's just waiting. Also, look, clock tower, CT. I am. Your ass jiggles in the... <laughs> You know what? <laughs> you know what? Infinite ammo? Yes. You know what? You know what? I can't. I can't judge that one. I guess that's fair. I can't say if I've ever uh, worried about my, if my ass is jiggling, I get hit in the head or not. Why did you do it? I. I don't understand. I ended the sequence. Mm. You're free. That's exactly what they wanted you to do. The exact reason why you ended up in this fucking place. I, in one way I, or another, porcelain kept us all guarded. Someone else will take his place now. And it's going to be ten times worse. It's only a matter of time. Oh, Shen, you shouldn't have. They will never let me leave. Why are you involved in this too? Explain, for God's sake. Car's floating? Oh yeah, it's also on the same loop. Not to touch anything. Not to trust anyone. Are the moths not moving? They're trying their best. Yeah, do you think Chris Darrell watches my stream? Let's let's see. Maybe I wonder if he live tweets anyone. Yeah, I don't think he live tweets me. It'd be funny though. Chris Darrell. I wanna play his new game. It's, it's Buy Please Sweet Carol. It's like a Disney horror place. game. I actually want to play that. Not kidding. What the hell was that? They found us. They never left us. Let's see. Why did you do it? Hmm. Oh no. He tried. We needed that goo. Alrighty, chat, ready? Why don't you rebind while driving? I don't think anything happens. You can't have to wait anyway. Five, okay, so you might be asking about rebinding while driving. I'll show you something funny though. So right now you're not able to move because you don't have the controller of the wheelchair yet, but I have to keep trying. You can actually move early if you do the glitch. But you don't really want to because you can't hit the cutscenes until you do this. So. That'd be hilarious. I would laugh at that. I would laugh at that quite a lot. The remote. Come on, read. I would laugh, chat. It. Anyway, uh, let me show you how to do this part. Yes. This is a uh, yes. wheelchair yes. drifting. Also, yes, booba. Yes, the door. It's giving in. See the the most necessary of angles. I, have I assure you, it's absolutely necessary. Focus here. Anyway, oh, I didn't go fast enough. Shit, I didn't go far enough. Anyway, you get more booba. Ah, uh, my favorite part about the, uh, the guy who made this game, he actively retweeted porn of his characters. Bop. I mean, more power to him, man. More power to him. It would just. Strange. Fuck you. Yeah. Piece of shit. My things. The cassette player. Also, let me show you a cool, uh, cool part of this game. Someone uses item, right? And right next to speaker. I have to get a full recording. 
Got it. Bingo. You know that silence? I recorded it. I have a I have a puzzle on fucking Chad. You know what? He's a Chad. I'm just saying that. I thought it was fucking hilarious. Why won't you give up? Don't you understand? Well, I mean, it definitely was effective because he made this character in the sequel a thicky bitch. I can't believe it, Chad. Also, I'm a true American, so all I need is gun. Alright. I don't need anything else. You just need the gun. Alright, Chad, here's a boss fight. Check this out. So. From your hypnotic we're gonna use the gun on this door. We're gonna open it. And now I have a gun for the boss. And they're wondering, how am I gonna defeat the boss? It's gonna be the porcelain boss we just avoided, right? He's back. How do I beat the boss? Now, did you answer? Talk to the store. Guess what? The answer was talk to the door. I beat the boss. That's it. No, it's not possible. This is the Red Nun's convent. That's pretty base, not gonna lie, right? Yep. Was Lin one of them? Alrighty, so Twitch, remember how I mentioned the game is kind of designed on you upgrading your abilities? Wasn't there another way to stop them? I'm not entirely joking about this. But it looks like they retreat from the fire. The monsters are protecting her, but it looks like they retreat from the fire. One, line dialogues me repeating out the ass. This is closer to how the game came out. I think they vary it more now. But uh, you're gonna hear, let's count, chat. How many times do you hear that fucking bitch there upstairs? Maybe I should use my power. Count them. I have to be quick. I have to find that One. fucking bitch there upstairs. I know she's there. Maybe I can use my power. Anyway, how do you do this fight? You run. He's going to stop. And then you have to use your moth powers on the person running above you. Quick, I have to find that fucking bitch there upstairs. There Maybe I can use my power. Now, why is it based on moth powers? You only get them a certain amount of time. It's really hard to hit this with the base power. In fact, I missed it. So if she runs... Yes. By the way, what else can cancel it? If this chick sees you, it gets canceled. She can also run away from the moth as you're actively doing it. The game expected you to upgrade the power because that's the only way in hell I can imagine it lets you do this for as long as it wants you to. To also change directions. Help me! I beg you! Lin is being controlled by her. I have to find her and stop her at once. Hudson, they were the tier one for 18 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. 18 months. Enjoy the Twitch baby, the Don't emotes and the scissors. Thank you. You're doing good. No, I'm good. I'm good. Air shot. What the fuck is she? I have to find her and stop her at once. She is. That's here. I I'm not hitting this one. I don't even know why I tried. Well, it was a good attempt. Lynn, I beg you, stop it! It's me, Jen. Hold on. I have to go find that. Turn around, you dick! Maybe I can use my. Oh God! This is why I mentioned it's based around you upgrading the moth power. You can still do it in the speed run if you don't. It just, if she sees you, it's gone, and if she outruns you, it's gone. There we go. By the way, that one got cut off. I saw that one. I have to be quick. I have to find that fucking bitch. Didn't just chain them because it's fucking hilarious. I was going to change them. I got those. Uh, that was two. That one. I just want to go home. Oh, I'm seeing. Okay. Yes. They're really begging. I have to go find that fucking bitch upstairs. Maybe I can use my power. Please. No, come back. Thank you, mods, by the way. Hey, I got her. Holy shit, I actually got her. Help me! I have to go find that fucking bitch upstairs. Maybe I can use my power. 
All right, we won. Not over yet, though, Chad. We're going to hyper mode. I have to be quick. I have to find that fucking bitch there upstairs. Maybe I can use my power. I have to go find that fucking bitch upstairs. I know she's there. Maybe I can use my power. And then a nine to finish it up. That counts. Yeah, uh, by the way, chat, that's the toned down version. When the game came out, that's all she said. That's the toned down version. They had to patch in a uh, voice line Ken, diversity. Are you okay? No, uh, I, I don't know. I Holy shit, we're going now. for 11 and a half hours? God damn. A couple of days of a hard man, chat. Everything. Lynn, where's Lynn? Who the hell are you talking about? Go, get a rag. Jesus Christ. It's in the utility closet, Jen. You do remember what you the race. Don't you? But yes, when you start thinking about it more, though, of the design, uh, the line, design philosophy of this game, the game wanted you, it kind of, I think the boss designers kind of expected you to upgrade the moth power, because like it runs out way too easily. It feels like deja vu. And you can tell at the other fight when they give you dialogue saying, hey, uh, I can do it now. Giving you the hint, it's meant you are meant to do it earlier. Glory. How's it going, that? cynical pixie? And why can't I remember pixel? anything else? I said pixie, it's pixel. Before, I'm illiterate. But everything oh, we're doing good. Different. I can't shake this feeling. Oh, so this is just a weird one. I don't know why. The hotel. I think the wind yeah, thing carries in this room for some reason. Because her booba is like magnetic Lynn. with the little it bolo tie she wears. I don't know why. I remember. I have to go back. It just... Who? Who are you? You can stop it. I only slowed her down. That's hmm. all I could do after letting my consciousness be fragmented in my body, become a host for the parasites. Mm -hmm. One who can awaken my... Awaken them all. Alright, let's go. Yeah, can't complain. We're going long and a little bit sleepy, but we'll be doing good. Damn. She can't hear me. How do you wake locked? Oh wait, I'm dumb dummy. It's uh this way. The song! My tape recorder. I could hook it up to the No, no, no. Oh, so here's Shit. a fun thing. If you know that the enemy spawns, you can just do this. What now? What am I going to do? The film! Oh, so the dialogue continues to the load. I have to our card for the money? Do I record for the money? I guess. Managed to move around in that case, I guess I'll plug myself. I don't know. Follow the channel. There you go. I'm good. I have to reach the cinema. I got Twitter, the YouTube. Yep, they are Osaka. They count under the umbrella. What weapon do I have right now? Did I remember? Did I pick that up? I don't know. Fuck! It's locked. But why? Jump scare. Anyway, back to business. Same controls apply. It's just still faster in a moment. I'm not going to do that. That's fun stuff. Okay, now I can have a look around. I have to hide and try not to make a sound. At least until she's here. Stealth. Yeah, I always do, yeah. Okay, I have to find the film. Gotcha. Well, actually, no. It's only a place after Clock Tower no, Mobile. No, no. Now they know where I am. Oh my God! She's hiding behind chairs that are waist high, and I'm pointing my gun at her. Maybe I should walk up to her and hit her. No way! What a guy! You know, Chat. I'm willing to believe that it would be funnier if that was just an empty gun he uses to smack you around for some reason, because he never actually fires it. I think he fired like one bullet earlier on accident. 
And like he points it at you, but then he just walks up to you and tries to hit you. I guess it's fairness, but it just seems kind of silly if your intent's to kill and you just smack someone with a gun. Why not just shoot? Hey, Twitch chat, anyone know Dead by Daylight? Gloria. I'm about to teach you about toxic survivor mains. Oh, just a BB gun? Good question. Never heard of it? Oh, of course. Good question, dear Freka. Hard to say. Anyway, you get to play as this guy, and the final boss is Gloria. She's the mage from the other game. There. Do my forward. I'm very wondering, what kind of excellent gameplay do we have here? Let me show you. You walk up to the boss. You get shot. And then you do it again. Five times. You can damage the boss. It makes her slower. He won't get to the location as fast. You will never kill her. Getting too close, she'll shoot you early and slow down. So, you're going to go to five locations and get shot. That's the boss fight. It is, yes. Uh, she steals the bone sword at the end of the game. Because the character playing as dies. This is a prequel, but also a sequel. Yeah, this is what Decisive Strike used to be like so long ago. Yeah, it's a really cool callback. I remember hating Decisive Strike. Now it's laughable, right? Yes, it's called Carrion. I actually want to speedrun that game again at some point soon, but I need to buy a certain version of the game. Uh, you might like it, Hellblazer. It's really cool. She can't help us. Yep, carry him. It's really good. But short. But I liked it. I haven't whooped it out in a while. Yeah, chat, I wasn't kidding. That's the actual boss fight. You go to four spots, you get shot, and then you go to one more shot spot. And guess what I'm gonna do there? Also, the character can do all the actions, apparently. So you can, uh, halt this. It's awkward and janky. It is Raven the Wraith. It is the last game for the day, yes. <laughs> and then, um... Uh, yeah, we're almost done. There's also uh, multiple choices on the boss. ending. They don't really matter. They end the same. Out of the way, she ends up crying outside of a car. And then, uh, the actual final actions are, uh, reading a book. See? Book. These are the collectibles you actually got throughout the game, if you're wondering, which is the idea behind it. GG. Cool. Sister. I am. I'm a long man. She would have been long man, a hard man assisted. Anyway, 11 and a half hours of stream. God damn. She was one of the other Jennifers. GG, one of the good 14 lord. gone missing. Kidnapped, killed. Long, long, exactly. That's a new K. GG, thank you. GG. Me. Oh yeah, Lynn the old woman was the character we played as. With it. Uh, Rosemary was the other chick. All these years, They're in love. Oh, do I get it? The long lips of the gum, yeah? To my memories. Her own. And those of the other victims. I know she went back. To the top ah. of the world. 
many times. Hmm. Hoping that. So, Twitch chat. Hey, it's actually a sweet ending. Day. However, Chris Daryl changed, man. He made it so you can't skip his name in the final cutscene. But speedrunners can. Watch. So, I'm gonna show you when we get there. You can't skip this cutscene at all, right? It's considered the ending. They don't want you skipping it. You're not allowed. Now you're gonna be mashing with keys. Or my, 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 my mouse. Can't skip the cutscene here. You can't skip it until you get to the actual credits. Which is after Chris Daryl's name. However, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I don't know if it still works in the modern version though, but this is 1.03. <sighs> oh gosh, sleepy lad. God damn, it's already 9 a.m. <laughs> no, it's gonna be funny. Check it out. And... And... You don't have to close the game. Because you got. Is it a shake? Theater. Everyone's been mocking me with shakes lately. On the stage. Talking about, it is a milkshake. I knew and it. Alright, chat. You see this? Oh no. Goes to black. I can't skip it. However, if you alt tab and go to the main menu, you can skip Chris Dale's name. And that's the, that's the credit skip. My favorite part. <laughs> 